Oh my goodness, this daycare is so boring. I wish my mommy and daddy would pick me up so I can go back home and do stuff with my life. Because there's literally nothing going on here. Yeah, this is literally so boring, Spickle Man. But I have an idea. Wait a second, TV woman. You have an idea? Yep, I sure do. No way, I've never heard of an idea before. Okay, well, what's your idea? I think we should escape. Wait, what? You think we should escape from the daycare? Yeah, it's literally so boring in here. I mean, yeah, it really is. But I'm pretty sure if we escape, then the daycare lady will be super duper angry. Are you sure we wanna? Oh, who cares about the daycare lady? I just don't want to be here anymore. Yeah, me neither, honestly. And she's literally in the bathroom right now taking a big poopy. So you know what? TV woman, I think I'll escape with you. Yeah, okay, let's go. All right, yeah, TV woman, let's go, but we gotta be super duper quiet. Yeah, be will we, will we quiet? And oh my gosh, we would we just escape? Yeah, we sure did. Oh my goodness, look at this. We're literally walking outside by ourselves. This is crazy. Huh, that was a good poopy. Oh, uh, Spookle Man, she's literally right there. Wait a second. Oh my goodness. Why did she walk outside? Uh, wait a second. Where are the kids? Oh no, I think she's realized that we're gone. Maybe if we stand still, she won't be able to see us. Yeah, you know what? That's a good idea. Let's stand still. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good. Where are the kids? Wait a second. What are you guys doing out here? Uh oh, she saw us. Spookle Man, what? No. Oh my gosh, get out of here. Hey, get back here. Oh my gosh, you guys are too fast. Oh my goodness, TV woman. Let's go somewhere and hide real quick. Okay, Spiegel man, let's go in here. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. And phew, I'm pretty sure we lost her. Oh, kids, where are you? Oh my gosh, I lost them. Oh my gosh, Spiegel man, I think we lost her. Well, what are we criminals now? Yeah, we literally are. We are so crazy. I hope the police don't arrest us. Yeah, me neither. Well, Spiegel man, since we're alone, I want to tell you something. Wait, what? Uh, what do you want to tell? Me. I will be having a crush on you. Wait, what? You have a crush on me? What in the heck? Yes, a huge crush. That's why I wanted us to run away together. Bro, are you serious? Well, honestly, I do not have a crush on you, TV woman. What? Why not? Well, because I just don't. I'm sorry. Hey, that's not nice. And you know what? I'm going to make you have a crush on me by the end of the uh, day. Okay, TV woman. Well, how are you going to do that? Oh, don't worry. You'll see. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. What are we going to do now? Well, Spiegel Man, I stole some of the teacher's money, so let's go get some ice cream. Wait a second. You stole her money so we can get ice ice cream? No way. Yes, way. I'm so cool. Yeah, you sure are. Well, that is actually awesome. Well, TV woman, let's go to the ice cream store. Okay, look both ways before you cross the street. All right, yeah, let's do it now. Let's go. Yes, speak of man. Well, what are we who? I can't wait to get some ice cream. Yeah, me too. This is gonna be awesome. Oh, hey, yo, guys. Welcome to the ice cream store. Hello. Thank you for welcoming us. Yeah, thanks a lot. Well, I would like a bubblegum piece. A bubblegum ice cream? Uh, okay. Yeah, what do you want, little boy? Hey, I'm not little, but I I want vanilla. Vanilla? Uh, okay, I'll get you vanilla. Okay, dude, thanks. And that will be about $10, please. Uh, so we only have three dollars. Wait a second, you only have three dollars? Uh, I can't really accept three dollars. Well, that's all the money I have. No, take it. Well, since you guys are babies, I guess I'll just give it to you for three dollars. Here you go. Wait a second. No, wait. Thanks a lot, dude. Yep, no problem. Well, you guys have a good day. Yay, yeah, thank you so much, mister. Well, TV woman, where do you want to go now? I think we should sit in this booth and talk. Uh, talk? Okay, well, what do you want to talk about? Well, I want you to get to know me a little bit more so we can wouldn't we be boyfriend and girlfriend wait what you want us to be boyfriend and girlfriend yes so ask me some questions oh my gosh okay okay i'll ask you some questions well huh let me think real quick oh huh, wait a second i came up with one okay what is it what is your favorite color huh i think my favorite color has to be wet because you're wet and i love that you're wet wait what you like red because i'm red yes you are my favorite color oh uh, okay that's cool well uh, what other questions should i ask you uh, how about what my favorite animal is. Uh, okay, what's your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a giraffe. A giraffe? Uh, okay, that's cool. Well, mine is Skippity Toilet. Uh, Skippity Toilet is not an animal. I think you should go back to the daycare and get some smartness. Oh, uh, yeah, you know what? That's actually a good idea. I really thought Skippity Toilet was an animal. No, he's an evil bad guy. And none of us like Skippity Toilet at all. Not even that mister over there. Oh, yeah, he probably doesn't. Well, TV woman, can we leave now? Huh? Oh, what? But the day is not over yet. Uh, okay. Well, where do you want to do now? We are gonna go to the park. The park? Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Well, let's look both ways and let's cross to the park. And we made it to the park safe and sound. Yep, we sure did. Well, TV woman, what do you want to do? I really want to go in the swings. All right, yeah, that's a good idea. Well, I'll go in the swing next to you. Uh, hey there, kid. Can I go in the swing, please? And you can just, like, move over because I really want to sit next to TV woman. Oh, hey there, uh, no. You're not allowed to sit on the swing. This is my swing. Wait, dude, please, let me sit on the swing. No, little kid. 
kid. You're not allowed to sit on the swing. This one is mine, and I was here first. Dude, come on. Let me on the swing. Oh, my gosh. You're so annoying, dude. Hey, why'd my boyfriend get on the swing? Wait, what? We're not boyfriends. Wait a second. You guys are dating. Ew, you have cuties. Run! Ha <laughs> ha! You the swing, Spiggle Man. Uh, okay, that was kind of crazy. Well, thanks a lot. Yeah, of course. Now wait for it to flow down, and then you can hop on it. Okay, yeah, I'll hop on it. Multi woman. Now that we're on the swings, what do you want to talk about? I want to talk about our future together. Our future together. Uh, okay. Well, what is gonna happen in our future together? We are gonna get married and have loads of babies. Wait, what? Are you serious? Yep. And a pet giraffe. And a pet giraffe. Oh my gosh. Evil woman. I can't believe you have a crush on me. That is super duper funny. What? No. It's not funny. It's wobbly. Uh, okay, yeah. Whatever you say. Well, speaker man, I think we should have a competition to see who can swing the farthest. Wait, what? You want to have a competition to see who can swing? Yes, I am the best swinger in all of the land. Yeah, right. Well, here, let me slow down real quick so we can even start. And after this, we can literally swing so high. All right, so are you ready? Yep, I am ready. All right, the highest person wins. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Whee! Yeah, it sure is. And I'm literally gonna go around the whole entire bar. Come on, come on. I'm gonna swing higher than you. No, I'm gonna swing higher! Wait a second. What the heck? <laughs> oh, TV woman, what happened to you? I fell off the swing as I hurt my leg. Wait, what? You fell off the swing? Oh my gosh. I guess I'm not the best swinger in all the land. Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, are you alive? Uh, Spickle Man, I'm clearly alive. I'm literally talking to you. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, uh, you need to go to the hospital. Yeah, I need to go to the hospital. Call the ambulance. Oh, my gosh. Okay, uh, well, I don't have a phone, so you know what? I'm just gonna have to carry you to the hospital. And, oh, my gosh, you're way too heavy. Oh, uh, you are my knight in shining diapers. Yeah, I guess I am all here. Oh, my gosh. Let's go to the hospital. And, uh, TV woman, I think we made it to the hospital already. Uh, took you long enough. Well, hey there, doctor. TV woman literally just fell off the swing. Yeah, I got a boo-boo. Uh, okay, well, follow me back here, and I'll see what I can do. Okay, thanks a lot, doctor. Speaker man, if it doesn't get better, I might need you to kiss it. What, you want me to kiss your boo-boo? Yes, kiss his heel boo-boo. You should know that. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Well, here, doctor. All right, thank you. Now, let me see. So, how did you get your boo-boo? I fell off the swing set on the very highest swinging swing. You fell off the swing set? Oh, okay. Well, little girl, it doesn't seem like that you just have a boo-boo. It seems like it's gonna be something way worse than that, so we're gonna have to take you to the x-ray room. Oh, no, that's what we so scary. Uh-oh, hopefully you'll be okay. Speaker man, come with me, please. I'm really scared. Uh, okay, TV woman, I'll come with you. Well, let's go to the x-ray room, and let's see what's up with you. Yeah, let's see. So hop in here, and the door's gonna close, and we're gonna see if anything's wrong. Okay, hopefully it's not bad. And let's see. Okay, it seems like there's a fracture inside your skull, a fracture inside your arm, and you broke your rib cage. Oh, my gosh, that seems way worse than a full boo-boos. Yeah, it really does. So basically, what I'm gonna have to do is put you in a gigantic cast. What? No, I don't want to go in the cast. Well, you have to because all of your bones are broken. So I'm gonna go fix you up and she'll be right out. Uh, okay, dude. Oh, well, guys. That was super, super crazy. Evil woman literally fell from the tippity top of the swing. And she has a humongous crush on me, so you know what? I think when she comes out, then I'm gonna have to kiss her boo-boo to help her. And there you go. Now your friend is gonna have to push you around all day. Wait a second. What the heck? You literally have a full body cast on. Yeah, I got really, really hot. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about that. Well, Spickle Man, can you please kiss my boo-boos? Oh my gosh. I literally thought this was gonna happen, okay? I will only kiss Kiss it this one time, okay? Mwah. Oh my gosh, Spickle Man, why don't we just kiss me? Bro, what? I kiss her boo boo, not you. No, 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 you kissed me. And now we are officially dating. Bro, what? Are you serious? Uh, yes, I'm serious. I'm so, so, so serious. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. You know what? I don't want to date you right now. I take my kiss back. You cannot take your kiss back. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Now, Spickle Man, ride me off into the sunset. Uh, TV woman, I can't ride you off into the sunset, but I think I can take you back to the daycare. <laughs> Okay. Well, let's go, TV woman. All right. Good luck, guys. And TV woman, we made it back to the daycare, so let's go inside now. No, no, no. Wait a second. Since we're boyfriend and girlfriend, we have to do one more kiss. We got a kiss? Are you kidding me? Yes, just a kiss upon my screen. Oh, my gosh. Okay. If this will make you feel better, we can kiss. Mwah. Oh, my gosh. This is the happiest second of my life. Okay, good. Well, here. Let's go inside the daycare now. And uh, hey there, Miss Jessica. Oh, my gosh. Where have you two been? Oh, well, Big Woman and I went on a date, and I got a boo-boo. Wait a second. What happened to you? Oh, my gosh. Your mom is going to be so mad at me. Yes, mommy is going to be very, very... Oh, good morning. We're today is going to be such an amazing day. And the first thing I'm going to do is head downstairs to play with my friends. But wait a second. Who in the heck is calling me? Uh, hello, who's this? Oh, hey, speaker man. It's camera woman. Uh, camera woman? Why are you calling me? Uh, I was just wondering if 
if you can come over. I don't feel very well. Oh, you don't feel well? Oh, uh, well, where's cameraman? Uh, he's not home, and I'm scared to tell him. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess I'll be right over. Okay, thank you. Yep, I'll be right there. Why is she randomly sick? Uh, okay. Well, I guess I'll figure out once I get to her house. And I'm at her house. Uh, hello, camera woman. Are you home? Yeah. Uh, okay, seems like she's home. I'm just gonna come inside. Uh, camera woman, where are you? Uh, speaker man, I'm in the bathroom. Yeah. The bathroom? Uh, where even is the bathroom? It's downstairs. What is downstairs? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Camera woman, why are you sick? I don't know. My stomach just really hurts. Oh my gosh, do we need to go to the hospital or something? Yeah, I think I do. Oh man, uh, all right. Well, I guess I'll carry you there. Okay, thanks a lot, speaker man. Yeah, no problem. Hey, we're at the hospital and hey, Mr. Doctor, this is camera woman right here and she's been throwing up a lot and uh, we do not know what's wrong with her. All right, come ahead and follow me. Okay, doctor. And camera woman, we're gonna figure out what's wrong with you. Uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna need to run some tests on her, so let me check this. Okay, that seems all right. Okay, let me check this. All right, and now let me listen to her heartbeat. Hold on. And her heartbeat is sounding fine, so that's good. And you said she was throwing up, right? Yeah, she was throwing up a lot. All right, well, let me go ahead and listen to her stomach and let me see if I can hear anything. Huh, okay. Well, I'm not hearing anything over here, so let me look right here and I'm not hearing anything and wait a second. Oh, what is it, doctor? Hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Oh my gosh. I hear a heartbeat inside a camera woman's stomach. Wait, what? Camera woman, you swallowed a heart? What? Did I? No, she didn't swallow a heart. I think she's pregnant. Huh? You're pregnant? What? No, no, no. This can't be true. Well, camera woman, it is true and you're gonna be having a baby in about two hours. Wait, what the heck? Two hours? Yep, that's correct. Oh, no. I gotta tell cameraman about this. Yeah, call him fast. All right, I will. Uh, hello there, cameraman. Uh, hey there, speaker man. What's up? I'm at work right now. Uh, dude, your wife is literally pregnant. And she's gonna give birth in two hours and you don't even have baby supplies yet. Wait a second. Camera woman's pregnant? Yes, dude. She's literally pregnant right now in the hospital. How did I not know about this? Oh, my gosh. Well, we gotta do something about this. We gotta prepare for this baby. Yeah, we sure do, bro. Well, where are you guys right now? We're at the hospital right now, bro. All right, well, let me call off work real quick and I'll be right over. All right, I'll see you soon. And guys, I cannot believe that camera woman is pregnant. And we only have two hours before the baby is born, so we're gonna have to shop for supplies for the baby fast. And hopefully we get all the supplies in time, because if we don't, that would be super duper bad. Speaker man, I'm here now. Quick, we have to go. Yeah, dude, we gotta go fast. Well, speaker man, I don't know what to get for a baby. I've literally never had a baby before in my life, so uh, what do we get for it? Dude, honestly, I don't really know. Well, I'm pretty sure babies wear clothes, so maybe first we can get some clothes, and after that we can get some food for the baby. Alright, speaker man, that sounds like a good idea. We do not have much time, so we gotta hurry this up. Yeah, we sure do, dude. So let's head to the clothing store and then we can shop for some clothes for your new baby. Hey, you guys. Welcome to Rockstar. How may I help you? Uh, hey there, lady. I'm looking for some baby clothes. Do you have any by chance? Uh, baby clothes? Yeah, we'll be right over here. All right, wait a second. Is this the girls section? Uh, cameraman, do you know if you're having a boy or a girl? Uh, I don't know, speaker man. You're the one that was in the hospital. Did they not tell you? No, they didn't, bro. Oh my gosh. Well, we don't even know if it's gonna be a boy or a girl now. Well, you know what, cameraman? I think we're gonna have to try on some clothes for the girls section and the boys section to find out what the best clothing is for your baby. Wait a second, Speaker Man. Do you want to try it on? Yeah, dude. We're going to have to try it to see if it's comfortable. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. I'm going to look ridiculous, but you know what? Whatever. Let's just do it. All right. Well, here. Let's try on the first pair of clothes, and hopefully this is good. And here is our first pair of clothes. And wait, what the heck are you wearing? Dude, what are you wearing? You're wearing mermaids. Bro, what the heck? I'm wearing mermaids? This literally looks so ridiculous on me. Yeah, look at me. This looks ridiculous on me also, bro. I do not think my baby's going to like to wear this. This looks so silly. Yeah, it sure does. Well, how about this mermaid thing? Do you think your baby would like to wear this? This. No, dude. Oh, all right. Well, here. Let's try on some more clothes. And hopefully, these pairs of clothes are actually good. And here's the next pair of clothes. And, bro, look at me. Do you think your child would wear this? Heck no, dude. It's literally rainbow. And look at me. I'm literally wearing, like, some pink shirt. Oh, my gosh. This looks so bad. Wow, boys. You look great. I thought you were getting it for your baby, though. Yes, we're getting it for my baby. But uh, we have to try it on first to see if the baby would like it. Uh, okay. That's a little strange. Oh, well, cameraman. I think it's time to buy one of these pairs of clothes. So, which one should we buy? Honestly, speaker, man. Let's just buy my. I don't want to shop for any more clothes. And if it's a boy, then he's just going to have to deal with wearing pink. All right, cameraman. That is a good idea. So let's go up to the counter and let's buy these clothes. Uh, hello there, lady. Can we please buy these pink clothes? Yes, of course you can. All right, and how much will they be? They will be about 60 bucks. Dang, 60 bucks? What, $60 for baby clothes? Are you serious? Uh, yeah, I'm serious. Babies need clothes too. Oh, man. Well, cameraman, good thing you're paying. I mean, it's my baby speaker, man, so I kind of have to pay. Oh, my gosh, this baby's going to be so expensive. Well, thank you so much and congratulations. That's on your baby. You too. Wait a second. You too. Uh, no, I meant to say thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Well, cameraman, that's not the only shopping we have to do. Because I still think we need to get some baby food and something after that, but I'm not 
not sure what we have to do after that. Yeah, me too, but we only have one hour left, so uh, we should probably get going. Yeah, let's go to the store right now. Hey, cameraman, now we're at the grocery store. Yep, and while we're here, we have to shop for a few things. We need to get milk, bottles, and pizza. Pizza? What? Your baby's gonna eat pizza? No, he's not gonna eat pizza, speaker man. I'm just a little bit hungry, so come on. Bro, all right, and uh, hey there, little Timmy. Oh, hey, Dale Bros. What are you guys doing at the grocery store today? Well, dude, cameraman is having a baby, so we're gonna have to shop for some food for him. Oh, okay. Do you need some help? Uh, yeah, I actually might need some help, Timmy. All right, bro. I was a baby once, so I can really help you. All right, thanks a lot, little Timmy. Well, dude, what do we have to get first? Well, first, you obviously have to get some milk. Because every single baby needs milk because milk is so delicious. All right, little Timmy. Yeah, I knew that babies needed milk, but that's basically all I know. Well, guys, what do we need next? Well, your baby needs to be able to drink the milk. So you are going to have to get us some baby bottles. Some baby bottles? All right. Well, little Timmy, where would those be located? Uh, they're literally right here, speaker man. Stop playing dumb. Oh, okay. Silly me. All right, well, I'll get some bottles also. And is there any, like, baby food that we could give him? Or is there literally only Doritos and pizza inside of here? Uh, well, I don't actually think we have baby food inside of here, but, um... Basically, all the baby needs is to just drink milk. Because the only thing that babies ask for is, Mom, ma, Mommy, I want milk. So, yeah, all you really need is milk. Yeah, that's true. Well, Kimber, man, you still want that pizza? Yeah, let's still get that pizza. I'm pretty hungry. All right, yeah, good idea. Well, little Timmy, I think that's all we need for right now. Well, Kimber, man, we have to do one more thing after this. Okay, what do we have to do, Speaker Man? All I know is that we're missing something, and honestly, I don't really know what it is. Well, what have you guys gotten from the store today? Well, first, we got baby clothes for the baby, and now we're getting the food and stuff. Oh, okay, so you only got baby clothes and food. So that means that you still have to get the baby diapers, and you also have to get the baby a crib. Because the baby is not allowed to sleep in a regular bed. Oh, all right, little Timmy. So you hear that, cameraman? We need diapers and a crib for the baby. All right, Speaker Man, remember that. And, Timmy, how much is this food going to cost? Well, it's going to cost about $100. What the heck? Uh, Timmy, why is that so expensive? Because babies are expensive, bro. I'm uh, sorry, but I can't really change the prices on anything. Uh, okay, whatever. This baby is literally going to make me go bro. All right, thank you so much. And remember, you have to go get diapers and a crib, so you should probably go do that. Yeah, and by the way, cameraman, I think we only have like 30 minutes left, dude. So we have to get our stuff and then head to the hospital fast because the baby's going to get birth. Yeah, bro, the time is ticking. We got to go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Thanks a lot, little Timmy. Yep, no problem. Well, cameraman, do you know where we can find diapers in a crib? Honestly, dude, I have no idea, but let me just check my phone, and maybe there's a diaper place around here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Check it. All right, let me search this up, and okay, it seems like there is a diaper place around Wait, here. Wait, really? Oh, where is it? Well, it doesn't give me an address. It just says behind Starbrook's Coffee. So that is very, very suspicious. Behind Starbrook's Coffee? Yeah, okay, dude, that is super duper suspicious. That must mean that someone's selling diapers in the alleyway right behind here. Yeah, well, that's apparently the only place that we can buy diapers. So I think we actually might just have to go behind there, Speaker Man. Oh, man, all right. Well, hopefully we don't get robbed or anything. Yeah, hopefully we don't. And if we get robbed, then you can just use your speaker powers on them. Yeah, I sure can. So let's just walk behind here and, oh my gosh, who the heck is this? Uh, hello there, sir. Could you please move out of the way? I think we have to go down here to find some diapers. Oh, hello there. I'm the one that's selling the diapers. Wait a second. You're selling the diapers? Yep, I sure am. Oh, well, uh, actually, I don't want to buy any diapers. I'm sorry. Uh, I have to go. Speaker man, let's get out of here. Yeah, dude, let, let's get out of here. Hey, wait a second. Where are you guys going? Oh, uh, we gotta go home because, uh, he has to poop himself. What? No, I don't have to poop myself, Speaker man. Should be quiet. This is our way out. Oh, yeah. Okay, Speaker Man. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, well, mister, I actually just really have to poop, so uh, we gotta go. Sorry, bye. Hey, wait a second. Where are you going? If you need to poop so bad, you can take one of my diapers and poop inside of it. Uh, okay. You are really, really weird, dude. That is disgusting. Come on, dude. Buy the diapers already. Oh, my gosh, cameraman. Honestly, dude, I think you just gotta buy them so he leaves us alone. All right, Speaker Man. Yeah, uh, let me just do that. Uh, okay, okay. I'll buy the diapers if you just leave me alone, okay? All righty. Well, here are the diapers, and it's gonna be about $20. For $20 for some diapers? Uh, okay, mister. Please just take my money. All right. Right, thank you so much. Yep, uh, no problem. Oh my gosh, that guy was super duper creepy. Yeah, he sure was, dude. He really wanted to sell you those diapers. Well, cameraman, now it's time to go buy the crib for your baby butt, too. We literally have like 10 more minutes before your baby is born, so we gotta do that fast. Yeah, bro, so let's go find a crib store. Yeah, let's go. And cameraman, look, there's literally cribs right here, so I think they may be for sale. Yeah, okay, uh, let's go talk to this old lady. Uh, hi there, old lady. Can we buy a crib? Oh, hello, young man. Yes, you can buy a crib. All right, perfect. Well, old lady, we literally have like 10 more minutes left because my baby is about to be born. Oh, congratulations. Thank you so much, but we really need a crib. Okay, well, we have two options. A pink or a blue. Oh, no. Don't do this to me again. What's the gender of your sweet baby? That's the thing, old lady. I don't know. So you're really making this decision hard. And they were literally doing this at the clothing store also. Oh, my gosh. Well, uh, Speaker Man, do we pick blue or pink? Well, dude, we got pink clothes for your baby, so maybe you should get a blue crib. Well, Speaker Man, we have to make it match, dude. If we're already getting pink clothes, then we have to get a pink crib. And you know what? If it's not a girl, then uh, we can't really do anything about it. Yeah, we sure can, bro. Well, I guess you're gonna have to get a pink crib. All right, that is a perfect 
choice. This crib will be $700. $700? What the heck? Yes, and for an extra $200, you can get same-day delivery. Same-day delivery? Are you serious? I need this crib right now. Okay, well, I guess you're gonna have to pay the whole toll. Oh, my gosh. I have to pay $900? Dude, I cannot believe it. This baby is literally so expensive. And we literally have, like, five minutes until it's born. Yeah, dude, so you might as well just buy it right now. All right, well, uh, here you go. This is literally the rest of my money, lady. All right, thank you, boys. Have a great day. Yeah, you too, and Speaker Man. The baby is about to be born. We gotta get to the hospital fast. Yeah, we sure do, dude. Let's go. Hey, bro, we're at the hospital. We gotta go inside fast. Your wife is literally giving birth. I cannot wait to see my baby. And oh my gosh, you look. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute, but wait a second. It's a boy. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I cannot believe it. We literally bought all girl stuff. Here's our new baby cameraman, and we're gonna have such a good life. Yeah, I don't know about that one, camera woman. We are literally broke. Wait, what? We're literally broke? Why aren't we broke? Because I literally spent like $3,000 on this baby. $3,000? Yeah, camera woman, $3,000. All the prices got inflated, so cameraman had to spend that much money. Oh, no, I can't believe that, but at least we have a sweet baby now. I poopy my diaper. Uh, speaker man, I feel sick. I think I'm gonna throw up. Wait a second, speaker woman. You said you're about to throw up? Are you kidding me? No, why would I kid about something like that? Oh my gosh, well, go to the bathroom fast. All right. Bleh. Oh my gosh, speaker woman. Uh, I'm not feeling good at all. Oh my gosh, all right, speaker woman. Well, here. How about we go back to bed and you can just sleep it off? No, speaker man. I think we should go to the hospital. What, the hospital? Really? Uh, all right, yeah. Let's go to the hospital and maybe they can help you. Yeah, hopefully they can. I'm not feeling good at all. And uh, hey there, Mr. Doctor. Speaker woman is feeling super duper sick. She's throwing up and everything. And I think she needs help ASAP. Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and let's go to a back room fast. Okay, Mr. Doctor, hopefully she's okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and lay on the bed, speaker woman. Uh, okay. So what symptoms has she been having? Well, she's been thrown up and she says she feels super duper sick. Alright, well, that means it could be a number of things going wrong with her. But let me look inside of her ears and okay, her ears are fine. And her heartbeat also sounds pretty fine. Well, here, let me try to listen to her tummy real quick. Because she might have a stomach ache or something. Alright, Doctor, what are you hearing? Oh, uh, I hear her stomach growl and I also hear a heartbeat. Wait a second. Why is there a heart down there in her stomach? Does she have two hearts? No, she doesn't have two hearts, speaker man. But there's definitely something inside of her stomach. So let me go get the x-ray machine. Oh, all right, Mr. Doctor. Hopefully it's nothing bad. The speaker woman, hang in there. All right. Well, the pain is getting worse. Oh, man. Okay, doctor, come on. All right. So let me go ahead and do an x-ray on the stomach and let's see if I see anything. Okay. It's looking fine so far. Oh, my gosh. She is pregnant. Wait, what? You're pregnant, speaker woman? What? I have a baby. Baby in my belly? Yeah, and it seems like it wants to get out of there pretty bad. Oh, no, I'm not ready for this. What? You're not ready for this? Oh, my goodness. Doctor, how long is it until the baby's born? Well, uh, looking at the baby inside of the stomach right now, it seems like it's going to be about two hours. Huh? Two hours? Yeah, so you should get ready. What? Are you kidding me? Well, what am I supposed to do, doctor? I've never had a baby before. We should probably go shopping and get some stuff for the baby. Like all of the supplies, like diapers, milk, all that kind of stuff. Oh, my gosh. I don't know where to get any of that stuff. So, you know what? Maybe my friends will know, so I'm going to call them. Well, speaker woman. I'll be right back. Don't worry. All right, but make sure you come back before the baby's born. All right, I will, and I have two hours, guys. Oh, my goodness. So I'm going to have to call up all my friends, and hopefully one of them can shop with me. Well, here, let me call up TV Man. Oh, hey there, TV Man. I need your help. Super, super bad, bro. Uh, okay, what's happening, Speaker Man? Well, dude, Speaker Woman is pregnant, and we're going to have a baby, and I don't even know how to shop for baby stuff, so I need you to help me. Oh, Speaker Man, I'm so excited to hear that you're having a baby, but I'm really busy right now. I can't shop with you. Sorry. Wait, what, bro? You can't shop with me? Oh, my goodness. Yes. Sorry, bro. Bye. What? He just hung up on me. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe that that just happened. So, you know what? I have to call someone else until someone's able to shop with me, all right? So, you're only call cameraman. And, uh, hello, cameraman. Can you please help me shop for baby stuff? Oh, hey there, speaker man. Shop for baby stuff? Uh, no. I'm sorry. I'm really busy right now. What are you even doing, cameraman? Uh, I'm just relaxing on my couch. And I don't really want to get up. So, sorry. I can't help you. Bye-bye. Bro, -bye. Uh, what? He just hung up on me as well. Oh, my goodness, guys. Well, you know what? There's literally only one more friend that I have. And hopefully, he can help me. So, you know what? Let me head down to the grocery store and hopefully little Timmy can actually help me. Alright, so let's see if little Timmy's at work and oh my gosh, hey little Timmy. I need your help super duper bad, bro. Oh, hey, yo, speaker man. What's up, dude? Well, dude, speaker woman is pregnant and I need to shop for some baby stuff. But none of my friends are able to, so can you help me, please? Uh, can I help you shop for baby stuff? Uh, why can't you just do that yourself? Bro, because I don't know what to get. Oh my gosh, speaker man, okay. Well, I was a baby once before, so I will definitely be able to help you. Thank you so much, little Timmy. Yes, no problem, speaker man. It's gonna be all okay. Congratulations on your baby. So, how many hours do we have to get this stuff? Dude, well, right now,
now we have like two hours. What? Only two hours? Oh no, this is so bad. Okay, well, uh, let's get to work. Yeah, let's do this little Timmy Woe dude. What should we get for the baby first? Because I've never had one in my life, so I don't even know what to get. Well, first we need to get the baby some milk because all babies need milk, okay? Uh, and next we have to get it some bottles. As you can see, there are bottles right here. And this is where the milk goes inside. So the baby is gonna drink the milk and be like, yum, 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 mommy, I want milky. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and let's go pay. And then we have to go to the next store. Uh, all right, little Timmy, thanks a lot, bro. And your total is gonna be $150. Uh, all right, little Timmy, here you go, bro. Thanks a lot. Well, dude, what are all the other items we need to shop for? Well, we should probably get some baby clothing and we should also get like a crib and maybe a stroller and stuff like that. So how about we go shop for the baby clothing next? Yeah, that's a good idea, bro. And we're gonna make Speaker Baby super duper drift out. Well, let's head down to Rockstar Clothing and let's get some clothes. Yeah, let's do this, Timmy. And hey there, Miss Lady. We would like to shop for some baby clothes. Oh, all right. Well, little baby, what clothes would you like? Um, wait a second. Are you talking to me, lady? Yeah, I think she is, little Timmy. Well, you are the only baby here. Well, we are not shopping for me. Oh, my gosh. And I'm not a baby. I'm little Timmy. We are shopping for Speaker Man's new baby because his new baby is literally going to be born. So we all need little boy outfits. We need baby outfits. Yeah, we sure do, lady. And the baby's gonna be born in two hours, so we gotta hurry it up. Yeah, come on, lady. We don't have time for this. Okay, well, all of our baby clothes will be at the bottom rack. Oh, okay. Well, uh, how are we gonna know that it fits a baby? Because the baby's not even born yet. Well, dude, we'll probably have to test it on you since you're close to size to the baby. What? Are you serious? You're gonna test the baby clothes on me? Are you serious? We literally just said we're not doing that. Bro, okay. How about we both test the clothes? All right, Speaker Man, that sounds like a way better idea. You would look so hilarious in that. Yeah, I know, bro, but anything for the baby. So, little Timmy, let's put on the first baby outfit and let's see how it looks. All right, boy. Hey, little Timmy, here is the first outfit, and what the heck even is this? What is a cocoa melon? Why the heck am I wearing this, Speaker Man? Dude, I don't even know. I guess it's some baby clothes or something. Oh, my gosh. Do not get this for your baby, bro. This clothing is literally the worst clothing in the whole entire world. We need to look at a different clothing. Come on, take this off. What? Are you serious? This is drippy, right? No, it's not drippy, Speaker Man. Oh, my gosh. Now, come on. Let's try on a different clothes. Come on. Okay, bro. Yeah, we can get some different clothes on. And here is our next outfit. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. You look so hilarious. You're literally wearing pink. Bro, you are too. This is the worst outfit ever. Yeah, this outfit is pretty bad. And you're not even giving birth to a girl. Wait a second, Speaker Man. Do you even know the gender of your baby? Uh, no, dude. I'm just assuming that it's a boy. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. You were supposed to figure that out. Well, that's gonna make shopping even harder because we have to pick between blue and pink. But I guess we'll just pick blue and hopefully it's a boy. Yeah, hopefully it is, bro. And hopefully find the outfit soon. Because I look so ridiculous wearing all this baby clothes. Yeah, let's just try on the next outfit. All right, yeah, bro. And little Timmy, here's our next outfit. Wait a second, bro. This actually looks super duper drippy. Oh my god, Speaker Man, I was gonna say the same thing. It is literally wet just like you, and it's gonna be wet just like your baby. Yeah, it sure is, bro. Wow. So, well, dude, do you think we should buy it? Yeah, dude, I think your baby will love this outfit. Uh, hey, Miss Lady, can we buy this red outfit for the baby? Oh, yeah, of course you can. All right, thanks a lot, Miss Lady. Well, here, you can have all this money you want, because this is the drippiest outfit ever. Yeah, this outfit is so drippy, Miss Lady. Yeah, it really is. What, you don't think this is drippy or something? Yeah, lady, why don't you think our outfit is drippy? The baby is literally going to love this outfit. Outfit. Oh, yeah, 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 he is. Well, thank you so much. Yep, no problem. And, Speaker Man, can I please take off this outfit now? Yes, bro, you can. And let's go to the next store because I think we have a few more items to buy. Oh, right, yeah, bro, let's go. And now we're at the next place, and we really need a quiz. Yeah, we sure do. Uh, hey there, Mr. Old Man. Do you guys sell cribs here by chance? Uh, do we sell cribs here? Do you need a crib for this little baby next to you? Bro, what? Oh, my gosh, why does everybody think that I'm a little baby? Yeah. Mr. I am not a little baby, and I do not need a crib. We are literally trying to shop for his newborn baby that's literally gonna be birthed in literally like an hour. Well, yes, this is a crib shop. So if you look over here, we have two different colors of cribs, and these are the only ones that you can buy. Oh, all right, dude. Well, we either have pink or blue. So, uh, little Timmy, which one should we buy? Oh my gosh, only pink and blue? Are you serious? Do you not have any red cribs, mister? Oh, uh, no, we don't have any red cribs. Oh my gosh, well, uh, is that black crib over there for sale? Oh, uh, yes, that is for sale, but it's very expensive. Well, we do not want pink or blue, so we'll take the black one. Wait a second, little Timmy. Well, he said it's expensive, so, uh, Mr. Old Man, how much even is it? Oh, well, it's gonna be about $10,000. What? Are you serious, dude? What kind of prices are you putting on these things? Well, it's very exclusive and expensive. And it is also designer brand. Why are you serious? A designer crib? Are you serious? Who the heck is ever going to buy that, man? You are literally so crazy. Well, I guess we'll just take the blue crib because we really gotta get going. Yeah, we sure do because we literally have less than one hour until my baby's born. All right, well, let's go ahead and let's get the blue crib. All right, mister. And how much will the blue crib be, mister? Well, this one is going to be $500. Bro, what? $500? Oh, man. What? Are you serious, man? Why are they so expensive? Well, because they just are. Now, if you want a crib for your baby, you're just gonna have to buy this. All right, dude. All right. I will buy this for my baby. All right, perfect. And it will be shipped out to your house in approximately one day. All right, thanks a lot, dude. Well, here you go. Here's all the money. All right, thank you so much. Yep, no problem.
Emily and Lola, Timmy, I think we only have a few more places we have to go to get some supplies for the baby. And after that, we've got to hurry back to the hospital fast because the baby's going to be born. Yes, Beagle Man, we have to go get diapers now. Because if the baby takes a big poopy and it doesn't go in a diaper, then it's going to smell the whole entire house. And you do not want that to happen. Yeah, I sure do not want that to happen. That would be so bad. Well, Lola, Timmy, let's go to the diaper store. And Lola, Timmy, here's the diaper store. And uh, hey there, Miss Lady. You're selling diapers here, right? Uh, yes, we're selling diapers. Do you need one? Are you a big baby? Bro, what? Am I a big baby? Hey, don't talk to my friend like that. Oh, is this the baby that needs diapers? Oh, you're such a cutie. No, I don't need diapers. Why does everybody keep saying it's me? Oh, my gosh. I can't with these people, Speakle Man. I'm done. I'm leaving. Bro, what? No, no, no. Oh, Timmy, you cannot leave, bro. Oh, my gosh, Speakle Man. Okay, whatever. Well, tell her to stop being mean to me. Okay, Miss Diaper Lady, please stop being mean to this big little baby. I'm not a big little baby, Speakle Man. You're really getting on my nerves now. Okay, okay, dude. It's just a joke. Well, lady, we really need some diapers because this guy's having the baby soon and we need diapers. All right, well, how much do you think this baby's gonna poo? How am I supposed to know how much this baby's gonna poo? Yeah, what does that even mean, lady? The baby's not even born yet. I mean, if you're the father, you should have the fatherly instinct. Bro, what? The fatherly instinct? I have no idea what the heck that is. Well, here. Well, Timmy, how much did you poo when you were a baby? Well, I pooped about like 20 times a day. 20 times a day? Really, little Timmy? Yeah, that's correct. My mommy called me the poop monster. Bro, what the heck? All right, little poop monster. What size diapers do you want? Hey, that doesn't mean that you're allowed to call me Mr. Poop Monster now. But uh, I think we'll just take the large size because I feel like your baby's gonna poop a lot. Yeah, I do too, bro. Okay, here, let me go get them. Oh, uh, all right, Miss Lady. And here's a bag of your extra large poopy diapers. Why? I didn't say extra large. I said large. Okay, little Timmy, this will do, bro. Because we gotta get to the hospital fast. I think she's gonna be giving birth any minute now. Oh, yeah, Speakle Man, we actually gotta get there pretty fast. We literally only have a few more minutes. Well, uh, Miss Lady, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks a lot, Miss Lady. Hey, wait a second. You didn't pay. Oh, no, we forgot to pay, Speakle Man. Uh, sorry, Miss Lady. We don't have any money. Bye. Yep, see you. Hey, poopy monster, come back here. Hey, don't call me that. Okay, well, did we get to the hospital fast? Because I think she's actually giving birth right now. Oh, wait, Speakle Man. Well, do you want me to be inside the womb? No, little Tim, you can just wait out here, bro. Oh, wait, Speakle Man. I will be here with the diapers ready. All right, and I really wonder what my baby's gonna look like. Hopefully, he looks like me. So let me go inside and, uh, hey, Speaker Woman, is a baby born? Wait a second. Oh, my gosh. This is the best moment of my life. I have a baby. Baby me. Aw, oh, hey there, Speaker Baby. Hey, Speaker Man, look at our new son. He's so cute. He looks just like you. Oh, uh, yeah, he does. Well, little Speaker Baby, I'm so happy to have you in this world. And we are gonna give you the best life ever. <laughs> okay, Daddy. Oh, uh, this coffee is so amazing, but I really wish I had a friend that I could talk to because there's literally no one here. Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. Oh, hey there, TV Man. Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. Oh, hey there, TV Man. Wait, what the heck? Uh, why are there two of you guys? Uh, Oh, wait a second. Why are there two of us? Hey, yeah, what are you doing here? Guys, this is super duper confusing. Who is a real TV man? Well, I'm the real TV man. No, I'm the real TV man. There's only one TV man. So which one is real? Speaker man, I'm telling you, I'm the real TV man. This guy is a fraud. And why do you sound exactly like me? What do you mean? Why do you sound exactly like me? Guys, 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 this is so weird. I'm gonna have to figure out who the real TV man is. Well, how are you gonna do that? Well, guys, I'm gonna put you through some challenges. And for every challenge, you win, you get one point. And at the end of all the challenges, the TV man with the most points has to be the real TV man. All right, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah, it sure does. You're going down, fake TV man. All right, we'll see about that, TV man one. All right, guys. Well, who's ready to go first? Well, I want to go first. No, I want to go first. Guys, honestly, I cannot tell who's talking. So we're just going to start with TV man one. TV man one, you're going to go first. Ha ha ha, in your face, TV man two. Whatever, I'm still going to beat you. All right, guys, calm down. It is time to start the first challenge. And for this first challenge, you're going to have to bring me my favorite food because only TV man knows my favorite food. All right, well, I'm gonna bring you a better food than him. Yeah, we'll see about that, TV Man 1. All right, TV Man 1. Well, you can go get your food now. All right, I'll be right back, Speaker Man. Wait a second, I'm coming with you. And TV Man 2, you stay right there. So, TV Man 1, where are we gonna go? Well, to the grocery store, obviously. Uh, all right. Well, what kind of food do you think I like? Well, you're just gonna have to wait and see, Speaker Man. Uh, all right. Oh, hey, guys, welcome to the store. Oh, hey there, little Timmy. Hey there, and hey, TV Man. Oh, hi there, little Timmy. Well, what were you guys in the store today? Well, little Timmy, TV Man has to find me a food because they're literally only two of him. And I'm putting them through some challenges to figure out who the real one is. What? There's two TV men? Are you serious? I have to see this. Well, bro, you'll see it right after this. I'll bring the second one in. Oh, okay, Speakle Man. Well, uh, what's the first challenge? Oh, for the first challenge, she has to find me my favorite
favorite food. So, TV man, go find me my favorite food. All right, speaker man, let me go grab it. And obviously, it is right here. Pizza? Uh, all right, yeah. Well, I'm just going to wait for you guys both to get the food. And after that, I'll tell you guys which one's my favorite. So, you can go check out now and head back to the place. All right, speaker man. And I know I won because I know pizza's your favorite food. Hey, little Timmy. Do you think pizza is speaker man's favorite food? Oh, I'm not really sure about that one, bro. He likes a lot of different food. But uh, I think he really likes pizza. So, maybe that's his favorite food. Yeah, maybe it is. Well, how much will that cost, little Timmy? Uh, that will cost about $20. Wow, $20 for a pizza slice? Jeez Louise, Timmy, you gotta give me a discount or something. Nope, dude, no can do. Uh, all right, whatever. Well, I guess anything to prove that I'm the real TV man. All right, thank you so much, bro. Well, TV man, let's head back to the place and Timmy will be right back. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. And we're back, TV man 2. Oh, uh -huh, TV man 2, I'm totally gonna win this thing. I literally just got his favorite food and you are going down because you're the fake TV man. No, dude, I'm gonna win this first challenge, trust me. Come on, speaker man, let's go get your favorite food. Yeah, let's go, TV man 2. And TV man, we're here. Here and uh, oh, hey, little Timmy, we're back. Oh, hey, there, bro. And hey, there, TV man, too. TV man, too. Are you the real TV man? Oh, uh, yes, of course, I'm the real TV man. And that's why I'm going to win this first challenge. I'm going to pick out his favorite food. All right, well, TV man, you can pick out my favorite food now. All right, TV man, too. Good luck. And obviously, your favorite food is going to be Doritos, speaker man. You eat them all the time. Mmm, Doritos. Sounds good. All right. Well, purchase that, and then we're going to head back to the place. And once we're there, I'll tell you guys who won the first challenge. All right, so, little Timmy, how much will this be? Uh, that will be about $20. Bro, little Timmy, are you scamming both the TV man? Why? No, I'm not scamming them. Yeah, why is this so expensive, little Timmy? Are you jacking up the prices? Why am I jacking up the prices? I uh, know I'm not jacking up the prices. I am literally just giving you the price that it literally says. All right, little Timmy. Well, TV man purchased it already. Come on. Oh, well, speaker man, I don't have the money. Bro, are you kidding me? Well, I guess I'm paying. Here you go, little Timmy. All right, thank you, bro. And speaker man, good luck on figuring out which TV man is the real TV man. All right, thanks a lot, little Timmy. Well, TV man, let's head back so I can choose who the winner is of the first challenge. And guys, we're back now. So both of you stand right here and I'm gonna tell you who the winner is of the first challenge. Alright, but I'm gonna win this one because I got the way better item. Yeah, whatever TV man won, I got the better item. Well, guys, pull out your item and I'll tell you who the winner is. Alright, I chose Doritos and I chose pizza. Alright, guys. Well, the winner of the first challenge is Doritos. TV man 2, you have one point. What? How did he just win? Well, dude, because obviously I like Doritos more. Uh-huh, TV man 1, in your face. TV man 2, are you serious? Doritos doesn't even a real food. It's a snack. And speaker man, you eat pizza all the time. Yeah, dude, I do eat pizza all the time, but I like Doritos more. Oh my gosh, this is so bad because I'm the real TV man. And if TV man 2 wins, then you'll have a fake TV man as your friend. Yeah, whatever, TV man 1. I won the first challenge. All right, guys, calm down. And TV man 1, if you want a point, then you have to win this next challenge. All right, speaker man, I'm gonna win this one because I am the real TV man. All right, guys, and for the second challenge, you're gonna have to take me to my favorite place ever. Oh, this is going to be easy. Let's go. Yeah, I know exactly where I'm gonna go, TV man 2. And I'm going to get this point for this challenge. All right, guys. Well, since we started out with TV Man 1 last time, let's start out with TV Man 2 this time. So, TV Man 2, bring me to my favorite spot. All right, let's go. And TV Man 1, you're the fake TV Man. You're going down. Yeah, whatever you say, TV Man 2. And we are here. No way. You rented me out a yacht? Uh, no, I didn't rent out a yacht. I brought you to the beach. Bro, are you kidding me? The beach? Uh, yes, the beach. You love the beach so much. We always go swimming. Dude, I mean, we go swimming sometimes, but I would rather like a yacht. Bro, are you kidding me? We can literally go swimming right now. Yeah, I know, TV Man. Uh, but I really wanted to go on that yacht. All right, dude. You know what? If you want to go on the yacht so bad, then we can just sneak on Wait, it. Wait, what? Really? No way. All right, all right. Yeah, let's go on the yacht and let's sneak on it. This is going to be so insane. So let's go up here and let's sneak on it. Wait, what the heck? Uh, hello there. Who are you? Oh, uh, hey there, Mr. Rich Guy. Uh, we just came on this yacht. Uh, who are you? I'm the owner of this yacht. Wait, what? Uh, you're the owner? Yeah, what are you doing on my boat? Oh, I'm sorry, mister. We thought this was our boat. Well, it's not your boat. Now get off my yacht right now. Now. Oh, uh, well, actually, we just want to stay on here. Ah, uh, get off right now. I'm going to call the police. Wait, what? He's going to call the police? Oh, no, TV man. Run back to the police fast. Quick, we got to go. And fear that was so bad. Yeah, it sure was. I don't know why you wanted to sneak on that yacht. No, I was talking about the beach. That beach sucked. Well, I thought the beach would be a really fun place, but it seems like you didn't even like but it. But hopefully it's better than TV Man 1's place. Yeah, we'll see. Well, TV Man 1, where are you going to bring me? Oh, you'll see. It's your favorite place ever. Wait, what is actually my favorite place ever? Oh, uh, all right. Yeah, let's go see. Oh, all right, and we're here. Oh, wait a second, TV Man 1. Why are we at my house? Well, because this is your favorite place. Well, yeah, my house is pretty cool. But nothing really inside of here is my favorite place. Oh, really? Well, follow me up here, Speaker Man. Oh, uh, okay, TV Man, what's up here? Look at this. This is your bedroom. Wait a second, dude. How do you know me so well? This is my favorite place ever. I love sleeping. Yeah, I know, Speaker Man. I'm telling you, I'm the real TV Man. Well, TV Man, we don't know that yet. But for now, let's head back to the place. And I'll tell you guys which is better. All right, let's go, Speaker man. 
done. And I'm definitely going to win this pool. And guys, we are back. And now I'm going to tell you who the winner of the second challenge is. All right. Hopefully, TV Man 1 didn't have a good place. Well, TV Man 2, I actually definitely won this challenge. All right, guys. Here, let me tell you one. And the winner is TV Man 1. He brought me to my bed, and that is honestly my favorite place. I sleep there all the time. Yes, I knew it. See, Speaker Man, I told you I'm the real TV Man. Yeah, whatever, TV Man 1. I'm the real TV Man. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to figure that out after this next challenge. And Speaker Man, what is this next challenge going to be? Is it going to be knocking this fake TV Man out? No, dude. It is not going to be knocking TV Man out. Come on, fake TV Man. Let's go. Oh, you really want to go? Whoa, 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 guys. Cut it out. Cut it out. Are you serious, Speaker Man? This fake TV Man wanted to fight me, so I was going to fight him back. Guys, guys, guys. No need to fight. Because after this challenge, I'm going to figure out who the real one of you guys are. Yeah, and it's obviously going to be me. All right. Well, we'll see, guys. Well, guys, for the third and final challenge, you guys are going to have to bring me back the best present you can ever get me. Oh, man. This is going to be so easy. I'm winning this thing. No, I'm winning this thing, TV Man 2. All right, guys. Calm down. We will see who wins. Well, first, TV Man 1, I'm going with you. All right, Speaker Man, let's do this. I'm going to win this final challenge because I am the real TV Man. All right, TV Man 1 and TV Man 2, I'll be right back. So, TV Man 1, what is this present going to be? Well, Speaker Man, you have been wanting this present for a while, and it's very expensive. But I've been saving up a lot of money, so I think I'm going to be able to buy it. Really? No way, bro. Uh, all right. Well, it seems like you're going to the grocery store, so what is in here? What? I'm not going to the grocery store, Speaker Man. Wait, what? You're not? Uh, where are you going? I'm going to the car dealership. Wait, what the heck? No way. Yes way, bro. Let's go inside and let's buy you this car. All right. And uh, hey there, Mr. Worker. Speaker Man, don't talk. I got this from here. Hey there, Mr. Worker. I have a lot of money for you and I want to buy that red Bugatti over there. Um, all right. The red Bugatti? You know how expensive that is, right? Yes, I know. It's $2 million. Okay, well, I have it right here. And I'm not even lying. You can literally look at it. It's real cash. Uh, all right. Well, this red Bugatti is very, very rare. It is a one-of-one -one car. So you buying it would mean that you're the only person in the world that owns it. So I have to be very cautious who I sell it to because I cannot sell it to any bad person. And it seems like you're a pretty good person, so you know what? I'll sell you the car. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. And speaker Man, there you go. We got your new car. No way. This is awesome. Thank you so much, TV Man. This <laughs> gift is so insane. Yep, I know it is, Speaker Man. Look at it. It's literally a full red Bugatti. Yeah, it sure is. Here, hop in. And look at that engine in the back also, dude. This is so cool, dude. Let's drive it. Whoa, look at us. We're going so fast. Yep, we sure are. And I'm going to win this challenge because I'm the real TV Man. Well, let's see if TV Man 2's gift can top this one. And hey there, TV Man 2. Do you like my new car? Wait a second. Oh my gosh. That car is so beautiful. TV Man 1, how do you even have the money to buy that thing? Well, the real TV Man is a multi-millionaire, and I'm the real TV Man. So obviously, I was able to buy TV Man 2. What? The real TV Man's a multi-millionaire? Uh, no, I'm not. All right, guys. Enough talking. TV Man 2, it's time for you to get me my gift. All right, Speaker Man, but it's definitely not going to be a $2 million red Bugatti because I do not have enough money for that. Oh, all right, TV Man 2. Well, show me where you're going to bring me. All right, follow me, Speaker Man. All right, let's go. And I have brought you to the ice cream shop, Speaker Man. And you can get whatever flavor you want because I know you love ice cream. I mean, yeah, I do love ice cream, but honestly, dude, I don't know if this is going to top the red Bugatti. Well, Speaker Man, you literally know that I'm broke because I'm the real TV man. I don't know why you think I have $2 million. That guy is definitely a fake, and I don't even know where he got his money. Wait a second, bro. Thinking about it now, the real TV man is actually pretty broke. Yeah, and that's why I was barely even able to buy the Doritos earlier, bro. I'm telling you, I'm the real TV man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is all adding up. The real TV man is broke, so it's not able to afford a Bugatti. So that means you are the real TV man. Yes, Speaker Man, I've literally been telling you this whole entire time. And that other TV man one literally just keeps saying that he's the real one. Like, he doesn't shut up about it, dude. It's like he's trying to prove a point or something. Yeah, that's true, dude. Well, wait a second. Who even is he? I don't even know, but let's grab our ice cream and let's go back. All right, yeah. Uh, hey, mister. I want to like a birthday cake ice cream. All right, one birthday cake ice cream just for you. Yeah, thanks a lot. And, uh, dude, I can't even afford this. Bro, am I gonna have to pay again? Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to pay again. Sorry, Speaker Man. Uh, all right, dude. Well, that's gonna be $32. $32? Really? Oh, man. All right, well, here you go, little baby. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Well, since I know that you're the actual TV man now, let's go back to the other TV man and let's figure out who he is. All right, good idea, Speaker Man. Let's go. And we're back in the place, and hey, TV Man 1. Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. Are you ready to give me the final point so I can win this thing? No, TV Man 1. We came back to confront you because we know for a fact that you're not the real TV man. What? Are you serious? Well, who gets the point then? Well, TV Man 2 does, dude, because he is real TV man because TV man is actually broken. He cannot afford a Bugatti. But speaker man, look, I literally bought you a Bugatti because you're my best friend. Yeah, dude, that's the point. The real TV man cannot afford a Bugatti. Well, like I said, I've been saving up my money. So obviously I'll be able to afford Bugatti now. Dude, I don't even have a job. How am I supposed to even make money? Like TV man one, you're literally so fake, dude. And I got both of the points, so that means I'm the winner. So who are you, TV man one? Uh, I can't believe you caught me. Wait, what the heck? Skibbity toilet? Yes, I am skibbity toilet. I just wanted to be your friend 
hand so I can betray you, speaker man. Bro, what the heck? Are you kidding me? Well, do I get to keep the Bugatti at least? No, you don't get to keep the Bugatti. I'm taking it. Bro, what? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Maybe you should just be my friend next time, speaker man. Ha <laughs> ha. And I will be back to kill you. Oh, what? Oh my goodness. Wall TV man. At least I know that you're. Oh my gosh. I've been stuck in this adoption center for years. I really hope I can get adopted soon because I do not want to stay in here for much longer. Oh, hey there, speaker man. Oh, uh, wait a second. Who in the heck are you? I'm Jax, and I heard you wanted to get adopted. What? You want to adopt me? Yep, I sure do. No way. That is so awesome. Well, Jax, where do you live? I live at the Digital Circus. Do you want to come? What? The Digital Circus? Uh, yeah, sure. I guess I'll come. All right, perfect. Here. Come with me. All right, Jax. And speaker man, this is your new home. This is the amazing Digital Circus. Whoa, this looks amazing. So here, come inside and let me show you around. Uh, all right, Jax. And whoa, this is so cool. Hello there, Jax. Wait a second. Who is right next to you? Uh, Jax, who's this guy with the teeth? Oh, this is Kane. He's the owner of the Digital Circus. Oh, uh, hi, Kane. Oh, uh, Jax, what is this guy doing here? Oh, I adopted him, Kane. Wait a second. You adopted him? Uh, yes, I adopted him. Is there a problem with that, Kane? Yes, there's a huge problem. He is not from the Amazing Digital Circus, so he's not allowed to be here. Did you say I'm not allowed to be here? Yes, because you're not from the Amazing Digital Circus. Where do you even come from? Uh, I came from Toilet City. Yeah, that explains it. You look like a toilet. No, I do not look like a toilet. I am a part of the speaker species. And I am Speaker Man. All right, well, Speaker Man, you are not allowed to stay in the Digital Circus. What, Kane? Well, where is he supposed to live? I literally just adopted him. Well, I don't really know, Jax. I think you're just gonna have to return him. Huh, return me? No, Kane, he is staying at the Digital Circus. He is not leaving. Now, come on, Speaker Man. I'm going to show you to your room. Uh, all right. Oh, gosh. I cannot believe that Kane literally wants me out of here. Like, this place is so cool. All right, Speaker Man. So, what do you want? Do you want this pink crib or do you want the blue crib down here? Uh, obviously, the blue crib. Pink is for girls. All right, Speaker Man. Well, you can have that crib. All right. Thanks a lot, Jax. And, whoa, this crib is massive. Yeah, it sure is. Well, Jax, I have a serious question. Uh, yeah. What is it, Speaker Man? Why does Kane not want me at the Amazing Digital Circus? Oh, well, basically, Kane doesn't really want anyone else being at the Amazing Digital Circus. Because we have a lot of people that live here right now. So any outsiders that decide to come in and try to stay, he gets really angry. And I think he's trying to get rid of you, Speaker Man. But don't worry. I'm gonna make sure that you stay here at all costs. Alright, Jax. Yeah, hopefully I can stay here. Because I do not want to go back to the dumb adoption center. Yeah, I don't want you going back there either. Hey, Jax, are you done showing him around? Uh, yeah, I'm done showing him around, Kane. Alright, well, Speaker Man, now it's time to go. Wait, what? No, no, no. I don't want to go. Hey, put me down. Hey, Kane, get off of him. No, he is not allowed in the Digital Circus. Well, Kane, where am I even supposed to go? You're just gonna have to stay out here because we do not need any more people in the Amazing Digital Circus. Oh my goodness. This sucks so much. Oh my gosh, Kane, I can't believe you. You are literally not even letting my son stay at the Amazing Digital Circus. Well, I'm sorry, but the Amazing Digital Circus is full. Oh my gosh, Kane really doesn't want me there. Yeah, he sure doesn't. Well, I'm gonna try every single way to make you stay, Speaker Man, because I'm not letting you go back to that adoption center. Wait, what? Really, Jax? No way. You're the best. Yeah, no problem, Speaker Man. Well, since he doesn't want you at the Amazing Digital Circus, maybe we could like go get him a present. And then after we give him the present, maybe he would let us in. Get him a present? Huh? That's actually a great idea. Yeah, well, what should our present be? I don't know. We're gonna have to go to the stores and see what the best present is. So let's go. Alright, Jax. Yeah, let's go. And now we're at Rockstar Clothing. Hey, darlings. Welcome to Rockstar Clothing. Uh, excuse me, bitch. We are not girls. And, uh, Jax, is our present gonna be clothes? Well, Kane really likes fashion because he always wears a tuxedo. So I was thinking that we could get him some nice clothes. Oh, yeah. That's actually a good idea. Well, Mrs. Is is there a boys clothing section around here? Uh, yeah, right over here. All right, thanks a lot. Well, Jax, what should we get for him? Should we get him a tuxedo or what? Huh, I'm not really sure. Let's look through all this clothes and see if there's anything good. All right, that's a good idea. So let me see. What is this? Uh, Jax, I'm pretty sure that's a baby onesie. Oh my gosh, why is this in here? I don't even know. All right, well, we are definitely not getting him this. Well, let's see. What is this? Oh, this is kind of cool. It seems like it's a basketball jersey. Oh, yeah, that is actually pretty cool. But I don't really think that Kane would like this, so we're not going to get it for him. Yeah, Jax, I'm Honestly, I think we should search for some tuxedos. All right, Speaker Man, here. Let me see if there's any tuxedos inside of here. All right, Jax. And oh, look at this one. How about this? Oh, Jax, that's not bad, bud. It's literally red just like his normal tuxedo. So maybe we should switch it up a tiny bit. All right, well, I think I found a perfect tuxedo here. Let me grab it. I can't wait to see how this looks. And here's the tuxedo. No way. That tuxedo looks so drippy. Honestly, I think Kane would rock that. Yeah, this tuxedo literally looks so nice. I think Kane would absolutely love his tuxedo. So you know what, Speaker Man? Let's get it for and then hopefully we'll be able to get back in the digital circuit. Hey, girlies, is that all you're buying today? Yeah, missus, this is all we're buying today. And by the way, we are not girlies. We are boys. All right. 
good, Curly. This wallet's gonna be about two thousand dollars. What? Two thousand uh, dollars? I don't have two thousand dollars. Yeah, I don't either. Oh, look at you guys. You guys are so broke. Hey, wait a second. What did you just say to me? You are broke. B R O K E. Hey, lady, why are you being so mean? Why would you come into a luxury brand store if you're broke? Uh, so we can buy a guy a new tuxedo. Well, give me that tuxedo if you aren't gonna buy it. Uh, no, lady. I actually think I'm gonna keep it, and I'm just gonna leave now. Bye, bye. What? No, get back. Uh oh, run, Jax! Quick, we gotta get out of your speaker man. She's chasing us. Yeah, let's go back to the circus. And now we're back at the amazing digital circus speaker man. So let's go inside and let me talk to Kane, okay? Do not say anything. All right, Jax, I won't. Uh, hey there, Kane. Oh, what's up, guys? Do not try to ask to stay here again. I already told you you're not staying. Well, Kane, we actually came with a present, so maybe it can change your mind. Dude, I said let me talk. All right, sorry, Jax. Well, Kane, uh, we actually brought you a present, and hopefully after you get this present, you will reconsider speaker man staying here because I really need speaker. Man to stay at the amazing digital circus. Oh, gift? Okay, uh, let me see it. Well, Kane, uh, you're staring directly at it. This new tuxedo is yours. Wait a second, you got me a yellow leopard print tuxedo? Are you serious right now, Jax? Uh, yeah, I'm being serious. It's a gift from me and Speaker Man. It was like $2,000. Now, can you please let Speaker Man stay here? Yeah, please, Kane. Oh, well, let me try it on real quick. And oh my gosh, this thing looks horrible. This is literally the worst gift I've probably ever gotten in my whole entire life. Speaker Man, you are not staying at the digital circus. But that was literally $2,000. Yeah, Kane, we literally spent so much money on that, dude. Well, I already told you, Speaker Man is not staying at the Amazing Digital Circus. What? No, 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 Kane, please put me down. Dude, what can we do to change your mind, please? Because it's almost getting nighttime, and I'll literally have nowhere to stay. Well, there's nothing that you can do to change my mind. I'm not letting anybody else in the Amazing Digital Circus. Now, do not come back. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe this. Jax, dude, there must be something that will change his mind, right? Well, we just got him a present, and he still doesn't want to let you stay. But there may still be one last thing. Wait, really, Jax? No way. And if we do this thing, you think I'll be able to stay in the Digital circus? I don't know, Speaker Man, but it's worth a try. All right, Jax. Well, what is this thing? Well, Speaker Man, you stay out here. I gotta go inside and grab something. And I'm pretty sure that this plan is gonna work. Hopefully, it'll work. Hey, Jax, what are you doing inside of here? You better have not brought that Speaker Man in. Kane, I didn't bring him in. Don't worry. You can literally see him. He's right outside. But there's no way that he's gonna be able to be in the digital circus. I am not letting him in. All right, Kane, I know you're saying that. So I'm literally just gonna leave him on the street, okay? Yes, Jax. Thank you so much. I just don't want anyone else being in the amazing digital circus. There's already too many people. All right, Kane, I know that. Well, uh, I'm just gonna go to my room. Alright, Jax. Alright, so let's see. This is Pomni's room, okay. Well, it seems like her clothes are actually right here. Perfect. So let me grab the red and let me grab the blue and the yellow. And I can't forget her hat. And now I'm gonna go downstairs and give it to Speaker Man. Hopefully he'll be able to get in. Oh, uh, where is Jax? He's literally been inside the digital circus for like 10 minutes now. Dude, I'm literally right here. Now come on, we gotta go. Wait, what the heck? Where are we even going, Jax? I'll tell you in a second. We just gotta get away from the amazing digital circus. Uh, alright. Alright, Speaker Man. So come inside of here and I need you to take all this stuff. Wait a second, what's inside of there? Well, Speaker Man, I took Pomni's extra clothes clothes, and I'm gonna give them to you. And you're gonna put them all on, and you have to disguise as Pomni. Because that is literally going to be the only way that you're gonna be able to spend the night. You want me to disguise as Pomni? Yeah, because if you disguise as Pomni, then Kane won't even suspect a thing. And then you'll finally be able to stay at the Amazing Digital Circus. Oh my gosh. That is a great idea. Well, here, take the clothes and put them on fast. Because it's starting to get nighttime. Alright, Jax, yeah, here. Let me go put the clothing on real quick. And oh my gosh, look at me. I look exactly like Pomni. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man. You literally look so hilarious. But don't worry, you look like Pomni. So I think we'll be able to get in the Amazing Digital Circus. Really, Jax? All right. Well, let's head over to the Digital Circus and let's see if I can get inside. And we're back now, Speaker Man. So make sure you act like Pomni, okay? All right, Jax. Yeah, I will. Hello, Kane. We're back. Oh, hey there, Jax. And hey there, Pomni. Uh, uh, hey there. It's really good to see you guys. But wait a second. Where is that Speaker Man? Oh, Speaker Man, uh, I actually put him back into the Adoption Center. Because you said that there's no way that he's going to be able to stay here, Kane. All right. Thank you so much, Jax. Yeah, no problem. Problem. Well, guys, I'm getting really tired, so I think I'm gonna head to bed. All right, good night, Pomni. All right, good night, Pomni. But wait a second, why is Pomni running to the crib? Oh my gosh, I'm so tired now. I can just head to bed. And why does Pomni sound like that? Oh, uh, wait, what, what, Kane? Hey, Pomni, why aren't you sleeping in your real bed? And why do you just sound like a man for a second? Oh, what do you mean? This is my real bed. Uh, no, Pomni, that isn't your real bed. Now, come on, let's go to your real bed, Pomni. Uh, okay, Jax. Wait a second, you are Pomni? Your speaker man. Uh, uh, no, 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 I'm not Speaker Man. Yeah, no, this isn't Speaker Man Kane, this is Pomni. Yes, it is Speaker Man, because you showed him this crib earlier. And if it really was Pomni, then why did she go to the crib? And look, there's literally speakers on your back. Oh my gosh, Kane, I guess you caught me. Well, Kane, please don't kick him out. You've literally been kicking him out all day. And you gotta understand, I adopted him, he's my son now. So come on, Kane, please let him stay. It's literally nighttime now, and he's gonna have nowhere to sleep. Oh, you know what? That Pomni disguise was actually a really good idea. And it almost worked. So you know what, I'll let you say it the digital circus speaker man wait a second
second. Don't let me stay in the digital circus. No way. Thank you so much, Kane. Yup, no problem. I know you really want to stay here really bad. Thank you so much for rethinking your decision, Kane. Yup, no problem. Oh, now I'm able to stay in the di- Oh, good morning, world. Today is going to be such a great day. Well, to start off my day, I'm going to head downstairs and get some breakfast. And after that, I'm going to go hit the gym. So let me get my bananas real fast. And oh, I love bananas so much. Well, now it's time to go hit the gym. And I'm going to hit my personal record today. Let's go. Oh, oh, come on. I can do it. Yes, sir. I literally just bench 500 pounds. Oh, wait a second. I'm getting a call. Uh, hello. Who is this? Hey there, speaker man. Oh, hey there, camera woman. What's up? Hey, speaker man. I just wanted to call you and say that my sister is in town and she really wants to meet you. What? She wants to meet me? Uh, all right. So do you think we could come by? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. You guys can come by. All right, perfect. We'll be there in five minutes. Okay, see you soon. Uh, guys, that was kind of weird. She's called me out of nowhere. She literally just said that her sister is by and she wants to see me. Well, I better go upstairs to get prepared. And I'm going to change my clothes real fast. So let's see, what do I have? Oh, huh, well, I have my tuxedo, so I guess I'll just put this on. And they should be here any moment now, so I'm going to head downstairs. And I'm just going to wait for them. Oh, speaker man, we're here. Whoa, what? That was fast. Uh, hey there, guys. Hey, speaker man, this is my sister. Her name is Camera Lady. Oh, uh, hey there, Camera Lady. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, speaker man. Well, would you guys like to come inside? Sure, we'll come inside. All right, guys, welcome to my house. Wow, speaker man, your house is so big. Yeah, I know. Well, Camera Lady, why are you in town? Well, because I miss my sister so much. And I heard about you, and I wanted to meet you. What? You wanted to meet me? Yes, I heard so many good things about you. Oh, really? You're making me blush. Well, guys, do you want to play a fun game? Yeah, what's the fun game? Well, how about we play Truth or Dare? Ooh, Truth or Dare, that's my favorite one. Oh, it is awesome. Well, guys, who wants to go first? Oh, I'll go first. Oh, all right, Camera Woman. Well, Truth or Dare? Um, I'm gonna say Dare. Oh, all right, well, Camera Lady, what should we dare her to do? Ooh, I have a funny idea. Really? What is it? We should dare her to jump in the pool with her clothes on. Oh, no wait, that's such a great idea. Okay. Well, Camera Woman, we have a dare for you. Um, yeah, what's your dare? We dare you to jump inside my pool with your clothes on. What? Jump inside the pool? Are you serious? I don't want to do that. Oh, come on, sis. It'll be so funny. Uh, all right. Well, I guess we're playing truth or dare, so it seems like I actually have to do it. But, uh, speaker man, you don't even have a pool. Oh, uh, yeah, I do. Look right here. I have a massive inside pool. Oh, I forgot about that. Well, uh, here we go. Make sure you guys have a towel for me because I'm gonna get really wet. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's so cold in here. I need a towel right now. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone, but we do not have any towels. What, speaker man? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm gonna get so much revenge on you, speaker man. That was not a funny dare. Honestly, it kind of was. Well, guys, I guess I'm up next, so I want to dare. Yes, what should we dare him? Well, speaker man, I dare you to hop on the table and chicken dance. What? Are you kidding me? That's all I can think of? Oh, all right. I will do that even without a dare. So here, let me hop on the table real fast. And now I'm doing the chicken dance. Oh my gosh, speaker man, you're so funny. Let me get a photo of this. Wait, what? No, no, no. Don't take a photo of me. I'm so embarrassed. And post it to all social media. Oh my gosh. He didn't have to do that. Speaker man, your dance is so funny. Well, uh, camera lady, truth or dare? Uh, I choose dare. What, guys? We've all chosen dare. Yeah, we're twinsies. Well, speaker man, what should her dare be? Huh, honestly, I think we should let her decide. Oh, me decide my own dare? Yeah, you can decide your own dare. All right, speaker man. Well, I dare myself to go on a date with you. You want to go on a date with me? Yes, I've liked you for so long. What? Are you saying you have a crush on me? And what do you mean you liked him so long? You literally met him today. Well, sister, I follow his social media posts and I see all of them and they're so funny. Well, speaker man, it seems like you have to go on a date with camera lady. Yeah, it sure seems that way. Yay, I'm so excited. Yeah, I can tell. Well, camera lady, where do you want our date to be? Huh, let me think. Uh, all right. How about we go to the coffee shop? The coffee shop? Uh, okay, sure. Well, guys, I'll be seeing you later. Yep, see you around. Bye, camera woman. And camera lady, now we're at the coffee shop. Yay, I'm so excited. I love coffee. Uh, head downstairs, guys. Wait a second. Whoa, Timmy, why are you working here? Oh, hey there, speaker man. Uh, I got a new job. And I work at Starbucks Coffee now. Bro, did you get fired from your other job? Uh, maybe I got filed. I don't really know. Oh, my gosh, little Timmy. Well, we're here on a date. And I want you to get this girl some coffee. Wait a second. You're here on a date? Uh, what the heck happened to speaker woman? Wait, who's speaker woman? Oh, uh, she's no one. Little Timmy, shut up. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. So it seems like you guys actually broke up or something. No, no, no. Shut up, bro. Just get this girl some coffee. Uh, Camel lady, what coffee would you like? Huh, I think I 
will have a cappuccino, please. A cappuccino? Uh, I don't even know what that is, but I, I guess I'll look around. All right, thanks a lot, little Timmy, and we'll be sitting over here at the chair. Well, Speaker Man, I really, really like you, and I can see a future with us. What, you can? Uh, we literally just met today. I know, but it feels like it's been a lifetime. Yeah, but it really hasn't. So let's just see how this first date goes, and maybe we can have a second date later. Uh, okay, whatever. Well, where is my cappuccino? Yeah, Timmy, where's your cappuccino? Uh, dude, I'm literally trying to find you. I don't know where it is, and I'm trying to make it right now, okay? Give me a second. Let me get it for you. Here it is. Oh, it was right there. Okay, that makes a lot of sense because that is literally like the cappuccino machine. Well, uh, lady, here is your coffee. Uh, it's about time. Yeah, I know, lady. I'm sorry, but please don't be angry at me. It's only my first day here. Uh, all right, kid. Well, let's see how this tastes. <laughs> this tastes disgusting. Uh, why do you spit it all over my face? Uh, what do you mean it tastes disgusting, lady? I literally just spent so much time making that coffee and it was so delicious. Well, you should go back to whatever job you used to be at. What? You want me to go back to the grocery store? I literally got fired. Well, you shouldn't be working here. Take that. Oh, my gosh, lady. What the heck was that for? You literally just threw a coffee at me and knocked me over, and it's all over my face now. What? You are such a mean person. Speaker Man, do not date this lady. She's too crazy. Hey, kid, be quiet. Come on, Speaker Man. Let's go. Uh, okay, girl. I'm sorry, little Timmy. Speaker Man, you better not date her. Oh, camera lady, why do you do that? Because he is such a bad barista. He should be fired. Well, that kid's my friend, and that was literally his first day there. Well, tell him to do better next time. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I will. Well, what do you want to do now? Well, how about we go and get me a new dress? What? Why? Are you kidding me? Aren't girl dresses so expensive? Uh, yeah, they are, but clearly you have some money. What? Who said I have some money? Oh, my gosh. Your house did. All right, whatever. I guess we can go there. But please do not be mean to the people. Okay, I can't promise anything, though. These people are so silly. And here is the store where you can buy your dress. All right, well, hey, Mr. Old Man, I want a dress. Oh, hey there, fellow teenagers. No cap. W. Riz. Uh, what are you even saying? Yeah, this guy's kind of weird. Weird, uh, mister. Can you just show us where the dresses are? Can I show you where the dresses are? Uh, yeah, fellow teenagers, no cap. Well, here are the dresses right over here. Oh, there's so many pretty options. Hey, dude, W. Riz. Oh, uh, dude, why are you talking like that? Because I'm hip with the kids, no cap. Well, uh, Miss Lady, when you find your dress, you can come back to me, no cap. And I'll tell you the price, fellow teenager. Okay, thank you, I guess. Yeah, and camera lady, I gotta tell you something. Please do not get a super duper expensive dress. Because I'm kinda broke right now. What? What do you mean you're broke? I just found the prettiest dress ever. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm kind of broke, but yeah, that dress is pretty pretty. What? But I love this dress. It's so expensive, though. Yeah, I know, but I have no money, so I can't buy it for you. I'm sorry. Then go next door to the bank and give me some money. What? Go to the bank? Why do you want me to go to the bank? So you can steal some money, of course. What? Stealing money? I'm not stealing money. You're so crazy. Okay, fine. I'll do it myself, then. Wait, what? You're gonna do it yourself? Oh, my gosh. Hey, wait a second. Come back here. No cap. You're stealing my dress. Hey, hey look what I got. I got a key card. Wait, what? Uh, what's that key card do? It opens the door, silly. Yeah, it sure does. Well, what are we gonna do now? Well, I've been carrying this baby with me for so long, and finally, I can use it. Wait, what? You got a C4? Oh, my gosh. And now it's time to go. What, Carol? When you're actually stealing all the money? Oh, my gosh. And hey, where do you just go? I went down the vent. Come with me. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is so bad. Camera woman, sister is literally so crazy. And where even are we? Uh, oh, camera lady, where even am I? We're underground right now. Go up that staircase and find the exit. Uh, all right, yeah. And Whoa, okay, that was pretty cool, but camera lady, you cannot steal. Now the police are gonna come after us. That's the fun of it. Wait, what? No, 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 that is not fun at all. Hey, there you are. Give us back that money. What the heck? Camera lady, run fast. Quick run, speaker man. I cannot believe that you stole all that money. Hopefully we don't get arrested. Hey, get back here. You guys robbed the bank. Where did you go? Oh my gosh, the police car's right here. Quick, how do I hear this booze? Oh my gosh, hopefully he doesn't arrest us. Oh my gosh, where have they gone? <laughs> no way, the cop literally just passed us. You, now we can go to your house and hide all this money. Wait, what? No, no, no. We cannot hide all this money in my house. They're so crazy. I can't be caught with that money. They'll think I did it. Well, trust me. They won't find me. I'm going to hide in the pool. What? You're going to hide in the pool with all my money? Yep, they'll never find me down here. Hey, there he is. Hey, get back here. Whoa. Uh, hey, Mr. Police Officer. Uh, wh why did you just break this out of my house? Because you're under arrest for robbing the bank. Wait, what? why am I under arrest? I didn't rob the bank. Yes, you did rob the bank. I saw you steal the money. Now get in my cop car. Oh, wait, Mr. Police Man, I can explain. I was not the one that robbed the bank. I know who did it. Nope, I don't want to hear it. You're the one that robbed the bank. Now, I'm going to have to come back and 
figure out where all that money is. Wait, no, 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 Mr. Policeman, trust me, please. There is a girl named Camera Lady, and she was the one that robbed the bank. Well, how do I know that that's true? Because she's in my house right now. She's hiding in the pool with all the money. Wait a second, the money's in your house? Okay, I'm going right now. Yeah, and she should be inside of the pool, and if she's not, you gotta check the whole entire house. All right, well, let me look inside of the pool. Oh, lady, are you inside of the pool? And yeah, there she is. Ma'am, you're under arrest. Hey, let go of me. Nope, you are under arrest. Oh my gosh, that was such a great hiding spot. How do you find me? Because your friend snitched on you. Now you guys are both going to jail for robbing the bank. Wait, we both are? Oh my gosh. Uh, uh speaker man, this wouldn't happen if you snitched on me. Yeah, and this wouldn't happen if you robbed the bank. You're literally the craziest person I've ever met in my life. All right, you two, get out of the car. And I'm going to put you guys in a jail cell. Oh, all right, Mr. Policeman. Oh my gosh, speaker man, you're literally the worst robber ever. Well, I wasn't the one who robbed it. Hey, Mr. Policeman, let me out. No, I'm not letting you out. You're the one that robbed the bank. Now, you guys are going to be in here for the rest of your life. No, dude. Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, I cannot believe that we're in the shelves right now. And honestly, camera lady, this has to be the worst day I've ever been on in my life. What do you mean? It's been so much fun. No, it hasn't. You're out of the bank and you stole that dress. And you're so crazy. What do you mean I'm crazy? Dude, you literally did so much bad stuff today. And I do not want to go on a second date with you. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, I'm going to go to bed then. All right. Good night. Uh, and guys, honestly, I think I'm going to try to figure out a way to get out of here. Because I really do not want to be stuck in a jail cell with her for the rest of my life. Well, here, let me check the sink real fast. And no, there's no exit there. We'll hop out the toilet. Let's see. And oh, there's no exit on here either. Well, huh? Here, let me see under the bed real fast. And no, wait a second. Guys, look right up here. There is literally a ventilation system. So maybe I can hop inside of there and then sneak out. Oh my gosh, that's such a great idea. So here, let me go up here. And let me jump up. And no way. I'm literally in the vent right now. So let me just walk out here real fast. And yes, sir, I escaped. And I finally escaped. And I'm never going on a date with a camera woman's sister ever again. And guys, honestly, I think I have to go find a new... Oh, gosh, I'm literally so bored. There's nothing to do today. Well, maybe one of my friends can actually like, hang out. Oh, well, here, let me call up TV Man real fast. And, uh, hey there, TV Man, buddy. Can you hang out? Uh, no, I can't hang out today. Sorry. What? You can't hang out? Really? What are you even doing, bro? I'm walking my fish. I'm sorry. Bro, what the heck? You're walking your fish? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you not walk your fish? No, bro. I don't even have a fish. Well, I'm walking my fish. Sorry, bro. Bro, what? Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh, man. So literally just hung up on me. I cannot believe that that just happened. Well, maybe one of my other friends can hang out. Let me call up Cameraman real fast. And, uh, hello there, Cameraman. Can you hang out with me, buddy, please? Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. Uh, no, sorry. I'm walking my fish. Bro, what? You're walking your fish as well? Uh, yeah. Are you not walking your fish? Is annual walk your fish day? Bro, what the heck? How did I not know about this? Oh, my goodness. Well, have fun walking your fish, I guess, Cameraman. Yep, you too. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that that just happened. Both of my friends are literally walking their fish for some reason. Well, you know what? There's only one more person that thinks around. So here, let me call up Speaker Woman. And, uh, hello there, Speaker Woman. Are you here? Oh, hey, Speaker Man. What's up? Uh, I was just wondering if you wanted to hang out today because literally all my other friends are walking their fish. Walking their fish? Huh, that's so weird. Yeah, apparently it's National Walker Fish Day. And honestly, I didn't even know you could walk your fish. Neither did I. Well, Speaker Woman, do you want to hang out? Uh, maybe, but my sister's in town, so I'll have to check with her. Uh, all right, yeah, let me know. Hey, Speaker Girl, do you want to hang out at Speaker Man's house? Oh my gosh, Speaker Woman, that would be so amazing. All right, perfect. Well, Speaker Man, we will be over there soon. Wait a second, you will? Yes, sir. All right. I guess I'll see you guys soon. Yep, see ya. Bye. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. Finally, my friends are going to cure my boredom. And we're here. Wow, that was fast. Uh, hey there, guys. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man. I have heard so much good things about you. Oh my gosh, you look so hot and so muscular and so tall. I just want to give you a big kiss. Uh, what the heck? Hey, Speaker Girl, calm down. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I was just really excited to see you, Speaker Man. Oh, uh, yeah, I can tell. Well, Speaker Man, this is Speaker Girl, my sister. Oh, well, I guess it's nice to meet you, Speaker Girl. Yeah, it's nice to meet you, too. Too, and I have a huge crush on you. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I could tell. Well, guys, how about we play a game? Ooh, I love games. What game should we play? Uh, let me see. I think we can play some Super Lario. Okay, that sounds like so much fun. Oh, my gosh. I love Super Lario, and I also love you. Bro, what the heck? Okay. You're getting kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll calm down. Sorry, Speaker Man. Well, where do you want to sit? Because I want to sit next to you. Bro, what the heck? Uh, okay, I'll just sit right here, I guess. All right, and I'll sit right here. So let's play some Super Lario, and I'll let you win every single time because I love you so much. Uh, okay, I think I'll just beat you anyways. Well, guys, let's get started. Yeah, let's do this, guys. Two, 
hours later. Hey, that's not fair. I wouldn't want a speaker girl to let you win so many times. Haha, <laughs> speaker woman, that's what you get. And my boyfriend has won. Wait a second, uh, boyfriend. Are you kidding me? I'm not your boyfriend, speaker girl. Because we literally just met. Oops, did I just say that out loud? Uh, I'm sorry, speaker man. I just meant to say that you're my friend that's a boy. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, guys, it's getting kind of late, so are you guys going to go home yet? Uh, I guess we can go home. What? No, speaker woman. I want to go on a date with speaker man. Wait, you what? You want to go on a date with me? Yes, I want to go on a date with you. And I want you to be my boyfriend. Uh, what the heck? I mean, I guess we can go on a date and see how it goes. But you have been really crazy. Yeah, I know I've been crazy. Crazy in love with you. Bro, what the heck? Now come here and let me give you a kiss. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No kisses yet. We're going to have to go on a date first. And maybe after that we can kiss, okay? Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Well, I'm going to go home and let you guys go on your date. And if she gets crazy, call me, speaker man. All right, thanks a lot, speaker woman. And uh, speaker girl, are you ready to go on the date now? Yes, I'm so ready to go on the date, speaker man. Oh my gosh, and you smell so good. What cologne are you using? Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure that's just my body odor. Oh my gosh, well, you smell so amazing. I want to smell you even more. Bro, what the heck? Okay, okay. Let's just go on the date because you're getting pretty crazy. All right, speaker man, let's go. And welcome to Los Ponchos. This is where we're going to be having our date. Uh, Los Ponchos? Okay, um, this is kind of weird because this restaurant is super low quality, but um, whatever. Anything to make you love me, speaker man. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. This is my favorite taco shop, by the way. Oh, okay. Well, I love this place now. Uh, all right. Hello, you love birds. Welcome to Los Ponchos. Uh, hey there, Maddie. How are you doing? I'm good. What can I start you guys off with? Um, excuse me. Are you hitting on my boyfriend? Uh, no. I just know Speaker Man. Yeah, she serves me tacos. Uh, okay, well, can you get us two tacos? And can you please get the food now and stop flirting with my boyfriend? Uh, girl, I was not flirting with your boyfriend. I don't even like Speaker Man. Sorry, Speaker Man. Oh, it's all right. Well, I'll go ahead and get you guys your food. Yeah, you better. And Speaker Man, why is that girl flirting with you? Uh, dude, I do not think that she's flirting with me. She's literally a worker here that's supposed to serve us tacos. Yeah, right. I'm gonna do something about her flirting with you. Wait, uh, what the heck are you gonna do? Hey there, lady. Why are you flirting with my boyfriend? Uh, like I said, I am not flirting with your boyfriend. Yeah, sure, lady. Now give us our tacos. What the heck? Uh, what the heck is going on here? Speaker girl, put down the gun. Here, here, take your tacos. Yeah, that's what I thought, lady. Now never try to flirt with my boyfriend ever again. Bruh, speaker girl, she was not trying to flirt with me. Yeah, whatever you say, speaker man, I'll sit down and let's finish up this date because I want to marry you. Oh, okay. You're kind of crazy, not gonna lie. I'm sorry. I'm just crazy in love with you. Yeah, I can tell. Well, here, let's eat our tacos. All right, and oh, these are trash. I mean, uh, no, these are delicious. Oh my gosh, speaker man, we have to go hear more. These are so good. Uh, are you all right? You kind of sound like you're about to throw up. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. Uh, okay, good. Well, I'm actually a little full, speaker man, so I don't really want to eat my tacos, but what I really want to do is go back to your house so I can kiss you. Bro, what the heck? Okay, after this, we're not going back to my house. We're gonna go somewhere else. Uh, okay, whatever, speaker man. Well, where are we gonna go? Well, maybe we can go to the beach or something because it's kind of relaxing over there. Oh my gosh, I love the beach. It is so relaxing. Well, how about this? Let's get out of this horrible restaurant and let's go to the beach. Oh, uh, okay. Well, we kind of have to pay. Speaker man, you are not paying someone that was flirting with you. I am not letting that happen. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll just come out. I'm sorry, Maddie. Don't worry, speaker man. I understand. Now, come on, speaker man. Let's go to the beach. Uh, okay, yeah, let's go. And now we're at the beach and oh my goodness. Hello, Timmy. Hey, buddy. Um, wait a second. Who the heck is that? Oh, hey, yeah, bro. What are you doing at the beach? You're never at the beach. Oh, uh, dude, I'm kind of on a date with this crazy girl right here. It is a literal speaker woman's sister. What is speaker woman's sister? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious, bro. She is super duper crazy. Oh my gosh, dude, that's super duper bad. Hey, speaker man, stop talking to this little kid and give me more attention. Bro, what? I've been giving attention for like an hour straight. Can I not just talk to my friend for one second? Yeah, lady, can he not talk to me for one second? Um, who do you think you are? You're not the one on this date, little kid. Well, it doesn't matter because Pico Man is my friend. Well, we're on a romantic date. And you are literally ruining the date, little kid. Now get out of here. Lady, this is a public beach. Anybody is allowed on this beach, so I'm just going to stay here. All right, guys, calm down. I do not want you guys fighting. No, Speaker Man, I don't want this little kid on the beach with us. Hey, get off of the beach right now or I'm calling the cops. Bro, what the heck? Put down the gun. All right, lady. All right, lady. I'm sorry. I will get off of the beach. I'm sorry, okay? Speaker Man, I'll see you later. All right, yeah. See you, little Timmy. And uh, Speaker Girl, you did not have to do that. But Speaker Man, he was not leaving the beach and I want to have a romantic date. Like, look at this. There's literally a fire just for us. Whoa, where did that even come from? What the heck? And there's also a cooler full of drinks. I think that little kid left them here. Yeah, me too. Well, Speaker Girl, honestly, you literally just disrespected one of my best friends, so I don't think this is gonna work out. Wait a second. You don't think this is gonna work out? What is that? 
that mean? Oh, uh, I mean like me and you. I don't think it's gonna work out. But speaker man, it has to work out. You are my one true love, and I just want to give you a big kiss. Ew, no, 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 no. Do not kiss me, please. Speaker man, we are not ending this date. Bro, what the heck? Okay, okay. We can still go to the date, okay? Yeah, that's what I thought, speaker man. And look at your arms. Oh my gosh, they're so muscular. Okay, okay, here, get away. I do not want to kiss right now. I wasn't gonna kiss you, silly. I was just feeling your muscles. Well, let's go ahead and let's grab a sandwich. Let's just sit down and have a romantic date. Come on. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna finish this taco from earlier. Wait a second. You brought the taco from that other place. Oh my gosh, that's so disgusting of you, Speaker Man. Uh, no, it's not. It's my favorite taco. Well, honestly, Speaker Man, this is boring. Let's go back to your house or something. Uh, no, I don't think we can go back to my house. How about we go to, like, the pool? Go to the pool? Are you serious, Speaker Man? I just want to go to your house. No, I'm sorry. Let's go to the pool. Fine, but the pool is literally so boring. Honestly, it's the most fun thing around here. Well, let's go. And Speaker Girl, now we're at the pool, so let's go swim. All right, Speaker Man, and I'm gonna go on the slide. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, this slide is so high. I'm so scared. Wait a second. There's a little girl up there. Hey, little girl, what are you doing up here? It is my turn to go on the slide. Uh, no, it's not. I'm just deciding if I should go on the slide. I'm really scared. Well, don't be scared. Go down. Ah! What the heck, Speaker Girl? You would always push her down. Yeah, I know I did, Speaker Man. She was taking too long. Hey, that was so mean, and I can't swim. Help me. Wait, what? She can't swim? Hey, girl. Come on, you can swim, please. Look, I'll help you go to the other side. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, thank you so much, mister. And the girl you're with is so mean and ugly. Hey, what did you just say to me, little girl? I said you're so mean and ugly. Well, guys, calm down. No, Speaker Man, be quiet. Everyone's been trying to flirt with you lately, and I'm the only one that's allowed to flirt with you. Bro, what? She's literally like a five-year-old girl. Girl. Uh, actually, I'm five and a half. Well, little five and a half girl, you're going back into the pool. Hey, no! Ah! Stop pushing her in the pool. She can't swim. Yeah, I can't swim. You're so mean. Yeah, whatever. All right, Missy, I'm going to call the cops on no, you. No, Daddy, this girl's being so mean to me. She pushed me in the pool. Please arrest her. Oh, no, Speaker Man. Uh, this is not good. Yeah, you really should not have pushed her in the pool because her dad's a police officer. Well, uh, how about we get out of here, Speaker Man? Come on. Yeah, that's a good idea. Run. And maybe we could go back to your house so I can kiss you. No, what the heck? We're going to hide inside my house. Let's go. If you, we made it inside of the house. Yeah, Speaker Man, and now we're inside of the house so I can finally kiss you. Oh my gosh, you are so strong and so muscly and so cute and so hot. Oh, uh, Speaker Girl, I really do not want to kiss. Come here, Speaker Man, I'm going to kiss you. No, 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 please do not kiss me. Knock, knock, knock. Police. Wait a second. The police are at my house. Oh no, Speaker Man, this is not good. I have to hide. What, you're hiding? Oh my gosh. Oh. Well, I have to answer the door since it's a policeman. And hey there, Mr. Policeman. Hello there, Speaker Girl here. Oh uh, no, Speaker Girl, no, I don't think she is. Are you telling the truth or are you lying? Uh, yeah, I'm telling the truth. Well, you're gonna get arrested if you're lying. Oh, uh, okay, okay. She's literally upstairs on the toilet right now. All right, thank you so much. She's under arrest. Uh, okay, good, thank you. She's super duper crazy. Oh, speaker girl, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm here to arrest you for pushing my daughter in the pool. Wait a second, you're arresting me? Hey, no! Speaker man, save me with your muscles! Speaker girl, I can't do anything. You literally got yourself into this situation. Oh my gosh, speaker man, I just wanted your love because you're so hot and so strong and so beautiful yeah i know i am but you're a crazy person so i do not like you oh my gosh speaker man well i'll be back to get your love don't worry yeah right i'll see you never guys speaker woman's sister was so crazy but now she got arrested so i'm never gonna see her ever oh uh, good morning bro today is gonna be such an amazing day well here i'm gonna head downstairs to get some breakfast real quick and uh -huh, what do i even have i have some apples and some bananas oh uh, don't mind if i do wait a second hey who the heck are you what are you doing staring at me oh good morning Speaker Man. Oh, uh, hey there. Who are you? Oh, I'm Crazy TV Woman. You're Crazy TV Woman? Oh, uh, yeah. I think I can tell. You look super duper crazy. Yep, and I'm crazy in love with you. Wait, what the heck? You're crazy in love with me? I sure am. Oh, uh, Crazy TV Woman. That is super duper weird. Well, can you please stop stalking me? Uh, no. I have a huge crush on you. Okay, well, uh, how long have you been stalking me? Um, just for a few days. Huh? For a few days? Oh, my gosh. You are so crazy. Yep, that's why they call me Crazy TV Woman. Now let me in your house. No, Crazy TV Woman. And honestly, if you don't leave in the next five seconds, then I'm going to call the police on you. Oh, I'm not scared of the police. Wait, what? You're not scared of the police? Oh my gosh, okay. Well, we'll see about that. Uh, hello? Mr. Policeman, are you on the phone? 911, what's your emergency? Uh, Mr. Policeman, there's literally a crazy woman outside my house, and she really has a humongous crush on me, and she won't leave me alone. Okay, I'll be there in a few minutes. Oh, really? Uh, okay. Well, Crazy TV Woman, I'm not sure if you heard that or not. But the policeman is gonna be here any minute. Like I said, I'm not scared. 
to the police. All right, yep. Yeah, we'll see about that. Well, I'm going to sit on my couch and wait for him to come over. We will, we will. Where is this lady? Oh, and look, the police are here, crazy TV woman. Oh, no, I got high. Wait, what? You're hiding? I thought you weren't even scared. Oh, uh, hello there, speaker man. Where is this crazy woman? Uh, hey there, Mr. Police Man. She literally just ran around. She told me she wasn't scared, but she went and hid. So where did she run to, speaker man? Dude, she literally ran that way, over there. Oh, okay, let me just go get her real quick. Oh, well, it doesn't seem like she's over here, speaker man. Where is she? Mr. Police Man, you're so silly. She's literally outside, and she ran that way. Oh, she ran that way. Oh, uh, okay. Well, let me go find her and arrest her real quick. All right, thanks a lot, Mr. Police Man. And phew, hopefully that is the last of her. Her. Speaker man, is he gone yet? Wait a second, what the heck? Crazy TV woman, how did you just come out of the bathroom? Shh, shh, shh. Be quiet, he's outside. Well, Speaker man, I saw no one outside, so I can't really make an arrest. Whoa, wait, Mr. Policeman, look. She's literally inside my bathroom, dude. Wait, she's inside your bathroom? Okay, let me take a look. Ma'am, if you don't come out right now, I'm gonna chase you. Wait a second, oh, I thought she was in your bathroom, dude. Bro, what? Where the heck did she just go? Uh, I don't even know. But I feel like you're pranking me. Because there was no one outside and there was no one inside of here, so you must be lying. Bro. What? Are you serious, dude? No, 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 I'm not lying. She literally just appears and disappears. I don't know what's going on, dude. This is really creepy and she's crazy. Well, Speaker Man, I feel like you're lying to me, so you know what? I'm just gonna leave. I don't even think there's actually a crazy TV woman. No, 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 Police Man, please. Don't leave me. She's way too crazy. Nope, you're lying to me. I'm leaving. Bye. No, Mr. Police Man. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. How is crazy TV woman teleporting like that? Because I'm TV woman, silly. Wait a second. What the heck? Hey, Mr. Police Man. Oh, my goodness. He's gone ahead. Why are you still here? See, I told you I wasn't scared of the police. They literally do nothing. Well, yeah, because they can't even see you. Well, you already know I have a huge crush on you. So I'm going to get you to go out on a date with me. Honestly, TV woman, I really do not want to go out on a date with you still. So please get out of my house or I'm going to call out the police again. And this time he's actually going to find you. Uh, no, he's not. The police never do. And if you don't go on a date with me, I'll just wash you for years and years. Wait, what? You'll wash me for years and years? Yep, I'm very sneaky. Oh, my goodness. Honestly, I think that's worse than going on a date with you. Since he said that crazy TV woman, I guess I'll just go on a date with you, okay? Yay, awesome. Come on, speaker man. All right, but I'll only go on it one time. Oh, guys, I can't believe that this is happening right now. Hey, crazy TV woman, are we almost at the eating spot? Yep, we're almost here. Uh, all right, so are we going to Brooks Diners? Uh, no, it's a little further this way. Uh, all right, I wonder what's this way. Look, it is the dumpster. Wait a second, the dumpster? Oh, why are we even at the dumpster? Because there's so many delicious delicious food in the dumpster. Are you serious? You want to eat out of the dumpster on a first date? Yep, I just got to get my food. You crazy TV woman, that is disgusting. What? No, it's not disgusting. The food in here is delicious. Hey, what do you guys think you're doing taking all my food? Oh, wait a second. Is that a homeless guy? Uh, Jerry, we've been over this. It's my food, not yours. Oh my gosh, TV woman. You know what? I guess I'll let you share a little bit of my food, but do not come back because I need to have something for dinner tonight. I do not want to eat those rats and those trash. Well, you are going to eat all the rats again, Jerry. I'm not eating the rats. Now, I am going to get my food for our day. Uh, okay, whatever, TV woman. Well, hello there, fine young man. Oh, uh, hey there, Mr. Homeless Man. What are you doing at the dumpster today? Uh, I'm going on a day with crazy TV woman because she's a stalker and she won't leave me alone. Whoa, that sounds so awesome. Okay, well, have a fun time, everyone. I'm going to go to bed. Bye, Jerry. See you later. Oh, uh, TV woman, that was super duper crazy. I think we should end the day right here. Uh, no, Speaker Man, we're not on this date. It literally just got started. Bro, come on. And I've been saving this pizza for a special occasion. Oh, I can't believe it. Now, come on, speaker man. Let's go eat. Oh, all right, crazy TV woman. And now we officially started our date. Yeah, I guess we did. Well, crazy TV woman, tell me about yourself. Well, speaker man, I like to stalk you, and I live in that trash can over there. Yep, those are the two things I know. Well, tell me something I don't know. Well, one time when you were asleep, I broke into your house, and I stole your video game console. You stole my video game console? Are you serious? I was wondering what that is. Yeah, that was me. Oh, my goodness. Where did he even put a TV woman? Oh, sorry. I sold it. Huh? You sold it? Yeah, I bought this dumpster pizza with it. You really bought the pizza with it? Oh, my goodness. Yep, and some kid has it now. I think his name was Little Timmy. Wait a second. Little Timmy has it? Yeah, he does. Oh, my gosh. You know what? I'm going to go get my console back right now. Hey, no. Our date is not over yet. All right. Well, you're coming with me then. Uh, okay. And hello, Little Timmy. I would like to buy something from you. Oh, hey, y'all speak about Do you want to buy your bananas again? No. No, dude. That is not what I want to buy from you. Oh, uh, okay, Spiegel Man. Well, what do you want to buy then? Dude, I want to buy my video game console back. Oh, uh, your video game console? What do you even mean? Dude, this crazy TV woman right here literally broke inside my house and stole my video game console and she sold it to you. Oh, yeah. I remember this person. Well, Spiegel Man, it actually seemed like I have your video game console. So, you know what? I'll just give it to you, Spiegel Man. Wait, what is that? Easy. Uh, thanks a lot, little Timmy. Yeah, 
just don't let it get stolen again and bought by some crazy lady. All right, dude, I won't. Thanks a lot. Hey, crazy TV woman. Honestly, I'm gonna head back home to play on my video game console. So our date is over. See ya. Uh, no, it's not. Wait a second. What the heck? Okay, crazy TV woman, put that down, okay? I do not mean any harm. Our date is over when I tell you it is over. But come on, crazy TV woman. I just want to go home and play my video games. Too bad. We're gonna continue our date and we're gonna go somewhere super duper special. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, where are we gonna go? You'll see. Follow me. All right, crazy TV woman. And here we are at our next location. Oh, uh, okay. Why are we at the horse stables? Because I love horses and these are my pet horses. Wait, what? These are your pet horses? Yep, I have pet horses. Whoa, this is so cool. Well, speaker man, do you want to ride them? Uh, yeah, sure, crazy TV woman. I guess we can ride them. Okay, hop on. All right, and where are we even going to ride them to? I think we should ride them up the mountain. Up the mountain? Are you serious? That mountain is literally so huge. Uh, it's not that. Uh, all right, whatever you say. Well, crazy TV woman, let's go up the hill. Yeah, giddy up. Hey there, what do you guys think you're doing? Give me my horses back. Wait a second. Crazy TV woman, who is that? Oh, uh, uh, I don't know. Let's run, though. Crazy TV woman, are these not your horses? Uh, no, they're not. What? Oh, my gosh. Hey, uh, Mr. Cowboy, we're sorry. Give me my horses back right now. Hop off of them or you're going to get shot. Wait, what? You're going to shoot us? Yep, I sure am. Get off of them now. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, Speaker Man. Hop off this horse and take on the drones. Wait, what, TV woman? You're going to get shot. Oh, my gosh. This is so crazy. Get me out of here. Whoa, look at me. I'm flying on a drone. Hey, wait a second. Where do you think you're going? Oh, my gosh. They got away. I couldn't even shoot them in time. Well, at least I got my horses back. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys. I can't even believe that. Crazy TV woman literally stole those horses. I thought they were hers. And, uh, crazy TV woman, where even are you? I'm going to the water at the beach. Wait, what? The water at the beach? Are you serious? All right. Well, let me chill for a second. And I just want to tell you that you're super duper crazy. And this date is over. I want to go home and play some video games once and for all. What? No, Speaker Man. You're not allowed to leave this date until you give me a kiss. Wait, what? I'm not allowed to leave until I give you a kiss? Yep. I just need one kiss and then you can leave. Uh, crazy TV woman. Good luck with that. I'm never going to kiss you. You know what? I'm going to fly back to my house on this drone. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. I'll meet you at your house. Wait, what? You're going to meet me at my house? Oh, no, no, no. Do not come to my house, please, okay? Because I do not want to kiss you. I just want to play my video games in peace. No, Speaker Man. I'll be right there. Oh, my goodness. Well, I made it to my house, so I'm just going to head inside. And let me lock these doors real quick. Perfect. Now, I'm just going to go upstairs. I'm going to hide from crazy TV woman. Hopefully, she doesn't break into my house or anything like that. Uh, Speaker Man, I'm at your house. Let me in. I won't leave you alone until you kiss me. Wait a second. Oh, my gosh. She's literally here. Well, good thing about hiding. Because she'll never be able to kiss me. Oh, Speaker Man, I'm breaking in. Wait a second. What the heck? You're breaking in? I swore I just locked the doors. Well, I can teleport, silly. Oh, my gosh. Come on, crazy TV woman. Get out of my house. Just one kiss. That's all I ask. No, crazy TV woman. Leave me alone. Uh, I'm going to only leave you alone if you kiss me. No, I'm not going to kiss you, okay? All right, here I go. Ew, oh my gosh! Oh, that was disgusting. Where's the bathroom? Oh, oh. oh, well, that was a great day. Bye, Speaker Man. Do you want to hang out after school with me? Oh, uh, TV woman, I'm sorry, but I can't really. What? Why not? Well, because I have some stuff going on after school. Please, Speaker Man, I like you a lot. Yeah, TV woman, I know you like me a lot, but I do not like you back. I'm sorry. What? Why do you like me? I just don't. I'm sorry. Speaker Man, you're so mean. No, I'm not mean. Oh my gosh, you're weird. All right, guys, class is dismissed. Everybody can go home. Oh, all right, teacher. Thanks a lot. All right, I'm going to head straight home, and I'm going to head straight to bed. And oh my gosh, I really do not like that TV woman girl. She is super duper weird. <sighs> and finally, that was such a long walk, but now I'm back home. And I can just go upstairs and lay in my bed, and I can go to sleep now. Good night, guys. Speaker man, let me in. Wait, what? Are you serious? TV woman, what are you doing breaking into my house? Well, it doesn't seem like you're doing anything busy. Well, yeah, I was literally just about to go to sleep until you broke into my house. Like, what are you actually doing? Speaker man, I've already told you. I have a huge huge crush on you. Yes, I know you have a huge crush on me. Well, now can you get out of my house? I don't like you. But why don't you like me back? Just explain. I just don't. You're annoying and weird. Uh, I'll do anything for you, Pookie Bear. Hey, what? Pookie Bear? No, I'm not a Pookie Bear. That's weird. Please, I'll do anything. Just give me a chance. No, no, no. You're weird. Get out of my house, lady. Uh, okay, but I'll be back. Just you wait. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna let you inside. Well, here, let me just lock the door and thankfully she left. Oh my gosh, she is so annoying and weird. Why? Why does she even have a huge crush on me? That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Well, honestly, I don't really want to go to sleep after that just happened. So I'm just going to go roam around the neighborhood. And uh, let me go get my car real fast. And wait a second. Did she just get a house right next to me? Hey there, Speaker Man. We're neighbors now. Hey, you know what? No, no, no. I don't want to be neighbors with you. Well, too bad. I can't.
can't move my house. Holy mackerel. Okay, that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Uh, I think I'm going to head over to my friend TV Man's house so we can talk about this. Okay, that is super duper weird. I'm just going to head over there. Hello, TV Man. How are you home? Oh, who's at my door? Wait a second. Titan Speaker Man. Hey, come in. All right, uh, TV Man. I have something to talk about with you. Uh, yeah. What do you need to talk about? Tell me anything. Well, there's this girl named TV Woman, and she is super duper crazy. She's been stalking me all day, and she literally bought a house right next to me. What? She bought a house right next to you? Well, maybe she just wants to be your friend or something. No, she wants me to be her boyfriend. What? Her boyfriend? Yeah, her boyfriend. What am I supposed to do? Well, maybe you could just be her boyfriend and she would stop being so crazy. But TV Man, she is crazy. That's why I don't want to be her boyfriend. Oh, uh, then I don't really know, Speaker Man. You're kind of out of luck. What are you serious right now, bro? Knock, knock, knock. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, TV Man, she's here right now. Uh, okay, uh, go to my room. Go upstairs. Oh, okay, okay, okay. TV Woman is so crazy. She's literally following me everywhere. Oh my gosh, okay, this is bad. Oh, uh, hello there, TV Woman. Is everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. I just know that Speaker Man's here, and I got him some flowers. Wait a second. You got Speaker Man flowers? Yes, and it's his favorite color, red. Speaker Man, look at this. She's not crazy. She brought you flowers. TV Man, TV Man, stop it. She's super duper crazy. Trust me. Oh, there you are, Speaker Man. Oh, uh, hey, TV Woman. I brought you some flowers. Aren't they so pretty? Uh, no, no, no. I don't like them at all. What? You don't like my flowers? No, honestly, I don't. Can you get away from me, please? No, you have to take my flowers. You are my true love. We are soulmates. What the heck? No, no, no. We're not true love. You're just a stalker. <sighs> I have a crush on you. Now be my boyfriend. Hey, yo, what? No, no. I do not want to be your boyfriend. Get away from me. All right, yeah. TV woman. You need to get out of my house right now or I'm calling the cops. Uh, no. I don't think I'll be leaving. Well, uh, please just put away the gun. All right. Well, Titan Speaker Man, will you please be my boyfriend? I'll literally do anything for you. TV woman, for the last time, I do not want to be your boyfriend. You're so crazy. Crazy and creepy. Say that again, mister. Hey, yo, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, Titan TV woman, that's enough. I'm putting you to sleep. Ah. And now I can take her out of the house. Oh, my gosh, she's so crazy. See, I told you, TV man. This is literally what I was talking about, but thank you for putting her to sleep. But hopefully when she wakes up, she doesn't stalk me anymore because she is super duper crazy and creepy. Yeah, I'm sorry for letting her inside of the house. Well, I'm just going to drop her in the middle of the street right here, and hopefully she'll be okay. Yeah, hopefully she will. Well, TV man, thanks for letting me come over, but I have to go run some errands now. All right, Speaker Man, if you ever need any help, just let me know. All right, thanks a lot. Well, I'm gonna go now. See ya. TV Woman is the craziest person I've ever met in my life, and hopefully she doesn't wake up soon, because if she does, I think she's gonna try to do more crazy stuff to be my boyfriend. Well, here, I gotta figure out where the grocery store is. Oh, and finally, I found the grocery store, and help. Hey there, Jeremy. How's it going, buddy? Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. Welcome back to the grocery store. Hey, thanks for having me. Well, here, I'm gonna get some Doritos and some Reese's Bars, and I think that should be it. All right, let me go ahead and see how much this is for you. Uh, okay, let's see. It seems like it's gonna be about $10. $10? All right, here, let me grab my wallet. Wait a second. Uh, Jeremy, I kind of forgot my wallet. What? Are you serious? Well, how are you gonna pay? I don't really know. Wait a second. There's a bank down the street, so maybe I can just go grab some money from there real fast. Yeah, that's a good idea. Go ahead and grab some money and then come back here. All right, Jeremy. Well, I'll be right back. Trust me. Okay, well, I gotta go to the bank and grab some money real fast. I, few, I made it to the bank, but wait a second. What is this red bike doing out here? I think I know that bike from somewhere. Wait a second. What is TV Woman doing inside? Give me all your money. Oh, okay. Well, what do you need the money for? I'm gonna buy a present for my boyfriend. Wait, what the heck? She just said for boyfriend? What is she talking about me? Oh my gosh, I gotta put a stop to this. Hey, TV Woman, what are you doing? Oh, hey, I was robbing a bank so I could get you a present. Look how much money I have. What the heck? Okay, here's all the money that we have. Take it. Thank you. Bye. What are you serious, TV Woman? You didn't have to do that for me. I can buy a present for myself. Nope, I'm gonna give you the best present ever. She really just robbed that whole entire bank to get me a present. I wonder what it's gonna be. And, uh, hey, mister, can I get, like, $10, please? Because I really gotta buy these Doritos in this Reese bar. Dude, I literally just gave that girl all of the money in the bank. I can't do anything. Bro, are you serious right now? You don't have $10 to spare? No, I don't have $10. She literally has all of the money. Go ask her for it or something. She's buying you a present, right? Yeah, I guess she is. All right, you're a weirdo. See ya. TV woman is so crazy. She just robbed the bank to give me a gift. But I really wonder where the gift is gonna be. Wait a second. What is a bright red car doing coming straight towards me. Speaker Man, here's your gift. It's a $200,000 car. Hey, what? A $200,000 car? Are you serious? Yep, I'm serious. Here are the keys. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. You're literally so crazy. I don't want to be your boyfriend. What? Be my boyfriend, Speaker Man. I've literally done so much for you. I know you've done so much for me, but I didn't want any of it. And you're just
just doing it because you're crazy. Aw, oh, you guys are so cute. Speaker man and TV woman, you guys make a great couple. Thank you, we do. Skippy Toilet, I do not like her at all. She's crazy. I was just joking. I bet she doesn't even like you. You're so fat. What? I'm not fat? What are you talking about? Did you just call my boyfriend fat? Hey, hey, hey. Put away the gun. Put away the gun. Take this. Oh. TV woman, what are you doing? Why are you shooting Skippy Toilet? Because he called you fat, and you're not fat. You're perfect just the way you are, Speaker Man. I know, but you didn't have to shoot him. <laughs> you're so crazy. I'm getting away from you, but thanks for the car. Hey, get back here. No, nope, see ya. Be my boyfriend. What? No, you're still chasing me. Are you serious? Oh, no. Okay, okay. I gotta lock the doors. Ah! Why did he break into my house? Finally, we're all alone together. I don't want to be alone with you. Come on, you better be my boyfriend. I've done so much for you. I put my life on the line so many times just for you. Yeah, but you didn't have to. And put away that gun, please. I don't want to get shot. And I already told you I didn't like you. Why are you even doing all this? Because I want to be your boyfriend. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Uh, get back here. Hey, yo, wait a second. What the heck? What is the tank doing right here? Hey, TV woman, you thought you could kill me? Give me toilet. How are you alive? Because Skippity Toilet never dies. Ah! Oh my gosh, Skippity Toilet, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, Speaker Man. It seemed like you needed help from this crazy lady. Yeah, I sure did. You're a lifesaver. Well, Speaker Man, do you want to be friends? Uh, oh, I'm so bored. I've literally been watching TV for hours. So maybe I can call one of my friends and maybe they can hang out or something. So let's see. Let me call Speaker Man. Uh, hey, Speaker Man, do you want to hang out? Oh, hey there, TV Man. Uh, dude, I can't hang out. I'm doing stuff right now, bro. What? You're doing stuff? Uh, what stuff are you doing? Oh, uh, nothing, dude. What, bro? Are you serious? Oh, okay. Whatever. Well, I guess I'll just call my girlfriend now. All right. Yeah, see you, bro. All right. Well, it doesn't seem like Speaker Man can hang out, guys. So I guess I'll just call my girlfriend. Okay. Oh, uh, hey, TV woman. Do you want to hang out? Uh, sorry, TV man. I'm not able to hang out right now. What? You're not able to hang out? What could you be doing? Uh, nothing. I gotta go. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, don't hang up on me. Oh, my gosh. Why can't my girlfriend hang out? That's so weird. Speaker Man and my girlfriend can't hang out. Oh, my gosh. Well, I don't really know what to do, guys. I do not want to watch TV right now because I've literally been watching it for hours. And it doesn't seem like anybody can hang out, so I guess I'll just go on a walk or something like that. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so boring. Oh man, this walk is so boring. Let's see, is there anybody I can talk to? Is there anyone side of the bank? And no, nobody's working today at the bank. That's interesting. And nobody's at Rockstar either. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Well, there has to be someone working at Starbucks, right? Wait a second. There's Speaker Man. It seems like he's on a date with someone. Oh, uh, hey, Speaker Man. What's up? Oh, uh, hey there, TV man. What are you doing at Starbucks, bro? Is this the thing that you were busy with? Oh, uh, yeah, bro. Yeah. Uh, uh, speaker man, why are you being suspicious? What do you mean being suspicious? I, I'm just being myself, bro. Wait a second, Speaker man. Who are you here with? Uh, no one. Oh, hi, TV man. Wait a second, TV woman. What are you doing here with Speaker man? I thought you said you were busy. Uh, I am busy. I'm hanging out with Speaker man. You're hanging out with Speaker man at a coffee shop. You guys are literally sitting across from each other, dude. This literally looks like a date. Wait a second. Are you cheating on me? What? No, no, no. That's not what it is. Yeah, TV man. Uh, we're just here as friends. Uh, speaker man. I can't believe you did this to me, bro. You were literally my best friend, and now you're making TV woman cheat on me. Bro, it wasn't my idea. It was hers. What? No, it was his idea. Oh my gosh, you know what? Whatever. I'm breaking up with you, TV woman. And Speaker Man, you are really making me mad. Uh, okay, TV Man. Well, uh, I'm gonna get out of here, buddy. See ya. Yeah, you better get out of here. And you better watch your back, buddy. Oh my gosh, TV woman. How could you do this to me? I'm sorry, TV Man, but your farts were way too smelly. I couldn't be with you anymore. My farts were way too smelly. Oh my gosh, that's the worst excuse I've ever heard in my life. Well, you know what, TV woman? Just get out of here. Fine, I will. Goodbye. Yeah, go have fun hanging out with Speaker Man. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't believe it. TV woman was literally cheating on me with Speaker Man. And I am furious right now. So, you know what? I think it's time to get revenge on them. And Speaker Man is not ready for what's coming to him. So, huh, what should I do to get revenge on Speaker Man? Huh, let me see. Maybe I could go to the car dealership and buy a tank. And then I could go to his house and explode his house. Oh my gosh, that is the best idea. So, I'm gonna head down to the car dealership and I'm going to buy a tank. And Speaker Man is not ready for what's gonna happen to him. He should have never stole my girlfriend. And now I'm at the car dealership and perfect. It seems like they have a tank. Well, let me just go inside of here and see how much it is. Hello there, Mr. Car Man. Oh, hello there. Are you here to purchase a car, sir? Yes, I'm here to purchase a car. How much is that tank gonna be over there? Who, that tank? That is our exclusive one-of-one -one tank that was used in the army. So it is about one million dollars. One million dollars? Are you serious? Yes, sir. I am serious. Oh my gosh. 
gosh, will I really need that tank, dude? I do not have a million dollars. What can I do to get it? Well, you can get me one million dollars. Bro, I literally just said I don't have a million dollars. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? I'm already furious. So I might as well just use my TV powers to take you out. Hey, sir, stop it. Oh, perfect. It seems like the car dealership guy's passed out now. Which means I can just go take the tank for myself. And Speaker Man is not going to be expecting this. He should have never taken my girlfriend. He made me so furious. And now I'm at Speaker Man's house. So let me hop out of the driver's seat and hop in the top of the tank. And Speaker Man, I'm here. Wait a second. What in the heck? A uh, TV man, what are you doing outside my house with a tank? You made me furious, Speaker Man. I can't believe you stole my girlfriend. So you know what? I am going to explode your house using this tank. Wait, what? You're going to explode my house? Hold on, dude. Let me come downstairs so we can talk real fast, okay? I do not want any harm, bro. And TV woman, go hide fast. Wait a second. And TV woman is still with you. Oh, uh, no, no, she's not, dude. Okay, here, I'll just come downstairs real fast and dude, okay? We can talk about this, buddy. Speaker Man, there's nothing to talk about, dude. You literally stole my girlfriend. Yeah, I know, bro, but, like, accidents happen. Speaker Man, it wasn't an accident. You know you did it on purpose. And you made me super furious, so you know what? I don't even care anymore. I'm exploding your house. No, 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 bro, please, no. This is what you get. <laughs> dude, why'd you do this? Because, Speaker Man, you stole my girlfriend. Oh, my gosh, what happened to the house? I exploded it, TV woman, because you decide that you want to be with Speaker Man instead of me. TV Man, why are you trying to ruin Speaker Man and I's relationship? Because you're supposed to be with me, TV Woman. Well, we weren't good together. That's why I broke up with you. Yeah, whatever you say, TV Woman. And you know what, Speaker Man? Take this. Hey, what the heck? Oh my gosh, TV Man, what did you just do to my boyfriend? I knocked him out, TV Woman. And I am furious. <laughs> oh my goodness, Speaker Man, are you alright? No, I'm not alright, TV Woman. And this is not the last of me. <laughs> oh man, that felt really good, guys. I'm so glad that I was able to take out my anger on Speaker Man. I literally destroyed his house and I knocked him out. Oh my gosh, that was so amazing. But I still have more stuff to do to him because I am very, very furious. But this is just the beginning of the stuff that I'm going to do to Speaker Man and TV Woman. Well, now that I destroyed their house and knocked him out, I think I'm just going to go back home and relax. And now I'm back in my house. So I'm just going to go inside, sit on the couch, and think of some more stuff that I could do to Speaker Man because I'm still very furious at it. Wee woo, wee woo. Hello, is anyone home? Oh, wait a second. And who is at my door right now? Wait a second! Uh, police man, what are you doing inside of my house? I did not invite you inside of here. We got some complaints about this guy, Speaker Man, right here. That you literally blew up his whole entire house with a tank. Yeah, TV man, you literally blew up my whole house with a tank. Well, you see, Mr. Police Man, this guy right next to you literally stole my girlfriend. And I am furious right now, so I got revenge on him. Well, that doesn't matter. A house is worth more than a girlfriend. So you're under arrest. Wait, what? I'm under arrest? Yep, you sure are. You're going to jail. What? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, I can't believe you. <laughs> That's what you get, TV man. Oh my gosh, I'm even more furious now. Speaker man, this will not be the last of me. All right, whatever you say, buddy. Yeah, you're going to the police station. You're going to get locked up in jail. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't believe that speaker man literally just arrested me. He literally stole my girlfriend. That was just revenge. But now it seems like I'm just going to be in jail. Well, at least I have more time to think of what I can do to speaker man. Well, TV man, let me show you to your jail cell. All right, Mr. Police Officer. And your jail cell is right here. Now go inside and stay inside. Oh my gosh, okay, whatever. Haha, <laughs> TV man, good luck getting out. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man. When I get out, I'm gonna get revenge on you. Just you wait, Speaker Man, and I'm gonna ruin your relationship with TV Woman. All right, whatever you say, buddy, good luck getting out. Oh my gosh, guys. Well, now I'm stuck inside of this jail cell. So when I get out of here, I'm gonna kidnap Speaker Man. So that TV Woman won't have a boyfriend. But how can I break out of here, huh? Let me see. Can I get through this door? Nope, I can't get through the door. Well, maybe I can climb through the toilet. No, I can't climb through the toilet. Oh my gosh. Well, let's see. Is there a vent anywhere? Oh my gosh. Gosh, there's a vent right up here, guys. How does the policeman not know that there's a vent? Okay, well, let me see. Maybe I can get inside of here. And oh my gosh. Guys, I'm literally inside of a vent right now. Okay. It seems like I'm actually escaping this prison. I did not think it was going to be this easy. But oh my gosh, I'm literally too big to get inside the vent. All right, well, let me just go ahead and crawl out of here. Come on, come on. And oh my gosh, I already made it out of jail, guys. This is so perfect. Now I just need to go find Speaker Man. And I'm going to kidnap him. So let's see. Where would Speaker Man be, huh? Maybe he would be at his broken house that I just destroyed. So let's go to the broken house and let's see if he He's there and let's kidnap him. So let's see. Is Speaker Man at the house? And oh my gosh, he is. Okay, well, I need to make sure the coast is clear. Let's see. Is TV Woman anywhere? And no, it doesn't seem like TV Woman's here. Okay. Well, it seems like he's literally just sitting down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to him and use my TV powers to make him pass out. And then I'm going to carry him to my house and kidnap him. So let me go ahead and sneak up behind him. And let me just use my TV powers. Oh, what the heck? And perfect. It seems like he's passed out. Alright, well, let me go 
ahead and pick him up. And now I gotta get out of here quick before TV Woman comes. And I'm back at my house. And it seems like Speaker Man is still passed out. So you know what? I'm just gonna put him on this bed and lock him in here. And there we go, guys. I have kidnapped Speaker Man. So let me go outside and let me lock the door. And perfect. Now that Speaker Man is kidnapped, TV Woman does not have a boyfriend anymore. And that's what she gets for cheating on me. Oh, where am I? Wait a second. TV Man, what are you doing? Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. I did not expect you to wake up this early. Bro, wait a second. Am I in your house? Yes, you're in my house. I kidnapped you. What? You kidnapped me? Where's TV Woman? Honestly, dude, I have no idea where she is. But now that you're kidnapped inside of here, she doesn't have a boyfriend anymore. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be here forever. Her relationship is ruined. Yup, and she's never gonna be able to find you. You're gonna be kidnapped in here forever. Knock, knock, knock. TV Man, are you home? Uh, TV Woman, what are you doing here? Well, I came to apologize, and I brought you some pizza. TV Woman, help me. I'm kidnapped. Uh, TV Man, what was that? Oh, uh, that was nothing. Well, uh, thank you so much for apologizing, and thank you for the pizza. Wait a second. Did you kidnap Speaker Man? Oh, uh, what? No, I didn't. Yes, he did. Help me, TV Woman. What? I can't believe you kidnapped Speaker Man. TV Woman, lock the door so I can get out of here. There you go, Speaker Man. Now, come on. Let's go. Yeah, and see it, TV Man. We aren't friends anymore. And I'm not apologizing to you. I'm keeping my pizza. Oh, well, whatever. I'm still so furious at Speaker Man, and I'm gonna get revenge. Oh, TV Man, this cat video is so cute. Yeah, I know, right? Look at that cat and that dog. Oh, my gosh, they're so cute. Yeah, they sure are, bro. Well, we've been watching TV for a while now, Speaker Man, so how about we go get some food or something? Get some food? Honestly, dude, that's a great idea. Yeah, let's go get some food. Wait a second. What the heck is even that behind us, bro? Wait a second. I've never seen this before. What even is it? Dude, I have no idea. It kind of seems like a circus. What? A circus? Why would that be in Brookhaven? Dude, I have no idea. That's super suspicious. You know what? I think we should go check it out. Yeah, that's a good idea. I wonder how it even got yeah, there. Yeah, me too. Well, dude, let's go downstairs. And honestly, I think we should break inside of the house. Really, Speaker Man? We should break inside? Yeah, dude, like, what if there's something really cool inside? All right, dude. Well, I guess we'll just break inside then. But hopefully no one is home. Yeah, hopefully no one is. And look. The front door's unlocked. Okay, okay. Let's walk inside real fast. And whoa. The circus is so cool. Wait a second. Uh, dude. What in the heck is even that right there? Wait a second. Is that poverty from the amazing digital circus? Hey, not so fast. What do you guys think you're doing breaking into the digital circus? Oh, uh, wait a second. That actually is poverty from the digital circus. Uh, we were just super curious why this thing is here and we wanted to see what's inside. Well, breaking into the digital circus is super duper bad. So you're under arrest. Wait a second. What the heck? We're under arrest. What do you mean, Pomni? We just wanted to come here and figure out why you're in Brookhaven. Well, I don't know how I got here, but all I know is that you guys broke into the amazing digital circus. I am an undercover cop. Wait a second. You're an undercover cop? Oh, I can't believe this is happening to us right now. Yep, and I'm taking you to my prison where you're going to spend the rest of your life. Wait, what? You have a whole entire prison in Brookhaven? We're going to spend the rest of our life there? Are you serious, Pomni? You can't do this to us. Oh, yes, I can. Now hop in my police car and we're going to my prison. What? You have a whole entire police car as well? Oh, my goodness, TV Man Pro. I cannot believe that Pomni just arrested us and we're going to her prison. Yeah, how is she even in Brookhaven? Dude, I have no idea, but you know what? I think we should literally try to escape. Wait, really, Speaker Man? Do you think that's a good idea? Yeah, dude, because I do not want to stay in there for the rest of my whole entire yeah, life. Yeah, me too, but we should have never broken into the amazing digital circus. Oh, my gosh. We should have known better. Yeah, dude, I guess we probably should have. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. That person is so humongous, bro. Oh, no. And look at the gates. How are we supposed to jump over those without getting hurt? Dude, honestly, I have no idea, but we have to try to escape no matter what. And, guys, welcome to my prison. Hop out and follow me. Uh, all right, Pomni. Wait a second, Speaker Man. The gate's open. We can make a run for it. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. See you, Pomni. Hey, no, you guys come back here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. TV, are you all right, bro? She chased me. Pomni, I do not want to get chased, okay? I'll, I'll go back inside of the prison. Yeah, you will. And TV Man, you're going back inside as well. <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I just got chased and the gate's closed now. Yeah, you guys better not think of escaping anymore. All right, we're sorry, Pomni. Yeah, I definitely learned my lesson, Pomni. Oh, my gosh. Now, what are we at? Dude, I don't even know, but I really want to escape out of here after that happening. Yeah, dude, me too. We can't live here for the rest of our lives. Guys, stop talking. Come on, we gotta take your mugshot. Bro, what? Take a mugshot? Yep, go sit in that chair and I'm gonna take a photo of you. Oh my gosh, hopefully my mom doesn't see this. All right, Speaker Man, say cheese. Cheeseburger. Ah, Speaker Man, I said cheese, not cheeseburger. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, Pomni. I'll do it again. All right, for the last time, say cheese. Okay, cheese. Okay, perfect. Now, TV Man, go sit down. All right, I guess I'll go sit down, whatever. And you gotta say cheese as well. All right, poo. Uh, mister, you should not mess around in my prison. Oh my gosh, that was hilarious, TV Man. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, Pomni, I'm sorry, calm down. I do not want any more bad stuff to happen to me. Now say cheese right now. Okay, 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 cheese. Thank you for cooperating. Oh my gosh, Pomni, you're literally so strict. Yeah, 
Yeah, you sure are, Pomni. Well, what are we even going to do now? Well, now we're going to go to your jail cell. Wait, what? We have our own jail cells? Yep, you sure do. Come up these stairs and follow me inside. Uh, okay. I guess I get jail cell 11. All right. Oh, my goodness. This is way too small. Yep, welcome to your jail cell. Uh, am I going to be sharing a jail cell with him? Yes, obviously you will. Wait, what? TV man sharing with me? He's literally so stinky. Well, that's why you have two beds. And you also have a toilet and toilet paper. I am the kindest cop ever. Pomni, literally all jail cells have this. And Speaker Man's literally going to be inside here pooping up a storm. It's going to smell so bad. Oh, my God. Well, you shouldn't have broken into the amazing digital circus. Yeah, we probably shouldn't have, bro. Well, you guys, lunchtime is going to be soon. But for now, just hang out in the jail cell. Have fun. Did you just hear her? Yeah, I did, bro. She said lunchtime is going to be soon. I think that's going to be our perfect time to escape. Yeah, me too, dude. Maybe we can say we have to use the bathroom or something. Then we run out of door. Yeah, that's a great idea, Speaker Man. But while we're waiting for lunchtime, let's look around and see if we can get outside with any of this stuff. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Well, here. Maybe there's a secret hole in the toilet. Let me just stand on it real fast. And nope. No secret hole in the toilet. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like we could get in the toilet, and there's literally nothing on the beds, and there's literally nothing. We can't even break out of here. Bro, oh, wait a second. I just came up with a genius idea, TV man. Oh, my gosh. What's your idea? What if we just use your head and banged it against the door, and then the door breaks open? Dude, that is literally the most dumbest idea I've ever heard. Bro, all right. Dude, come on. Just do it. We have to get out of here. All right, all right. Whatever. But this better work, speaker man. All right, bro. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Ready? Three, two, one. Here I go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Oh, uh, TV man, it doesn't seem like that worked, buddy. Oh, my gosh. My head, speaker man. What did you just do to me? Oh, my gosh, speaker man. That literally hurts so bad. I am never trusting you ever again, dude. My head is literally hurting. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, bro. I guess that wasn't the best idea I've ever had. But we have to try every single way to get out of here. Yeah, I guess we do. Well, how about you try climbing in the toilet? Bro, what? Climbing in the toilet? Are you joking with me right now? Well, you made me run into this door, so you might as well just try to climb into the toilet. Bro, I already tried that. But there is no secret tunnel in the toilet. Come on, speaker man. Just go. All right, boys. It's time for lunch. Oh, my gosh. You're so lucky. Well, Pomini, where are we going to be eating lunch at? We're going to be eating lunch in the lunch room. Uh, all right. Perfect. Yeah, you genius. How did you know that? Bro, I don't even know. All right, guys. Here's your lunch. And there's only one tray, so I'm going to run back to the kitchen and get another one. Oh, all right, Pomini. Wait a second, bro. Look. Maybe there's a place where we can escape at in there. Yeah, maybe there is. We're going to have to try to get inside of there. Yeah, we sure will. Well, here, dude. I'll try to go inside right now. Hopefully, she doesn't see me. Okay, okay. Pomni is literally right there, so I don't think I can walk inside. Well, here, let me see. Is there any way to escape? And no, I don't see anywhere. Well, you know what, guys? I think I'm actually gonna have to walk inside real fast. Hopefully, she doesn't see me. Wait a second. Oh, my gosh. TV man, there's literally a vent right there, bro. What? There's a vent inside the kitchen? Are you serious? Yeah, there sure is. It's right there on that right corner. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. I'm gonna make a run for it. Wait, what? No, no, no. TV Man, don't. Hey, TV Man, what are you doing inside of here? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Pomni. This room is off limit to prisoners. And don't you dare try to think of going in the vent. It is locked. What? The vent is locked? Uh, I wasn't even planning on going in there. I was just trying to help you because you were taking so long. Uh, no, I was not. I found the food perfectly fine, but now you're not getting any food because you tried to escape. What? I'm not getting any food. I didn't try to escape. I was literally just helping you. This room is off limits to prisoners. Okay, okay. Sorry, Miss Pomni. So, Speaker Man, you take your food, and your friend Team Man right here can starve. What? I can starve? Are you serious? Yes, I am serious. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Team Man, I'm sorry, bro, but it seems like you actually have to starve. Oh, my gosh. It's literally the worst prison in the whole entire world. Well, Pomni, what happens after this? Well, after this, we get to go to the courtyard and do some really fun activities. Really fun activities? Oh, all right. I wonder where they're going to be. Speaker Man, when we get to the courtyard, I think we should try to escape. Yeah, I'm thinking that too, bro. Well, hopefully there's a place that we can escape at there. Yeah, I hope there is. Well, guys, I'm finished my food, so let's go to the courtyard and start the activities. All right, Pomni, yeah, let's do it. Well, follow me, and we are going to start. All right, I can't wait. And dude, the walls are literally so high. There's barbed wire on top. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. How are we ever supposed to make it out of here? Dude, I got no idea, but we have to keep on trying. Hey, boys, stop talking to each other. Let's play some basketball. Oh, uh, okay, Pomni, I'm sorry. Well, here, I'll grab a basketball, and let's see if I can make it. No, nope. I cannot make that ball. Hey, Pomni, wait a second. How about we play basketball, and whoever wins gets released from jail? Uh, no, that's not how my jail works. Bro, <laughs> TV Man, why would you say that, bro? Well, Speaker Man, it was worth a try. Well, let's see if I can make it in. Come on, come on, and yes, I made it in. What? How do you make it, TV Man? No way. All right. Well, I got to make it one of these times. Come on, come on, and oh, my gosh. Honestly, I do not think I can make it. Yeah, Speaker Man, you suck. Hey, don't talk to me like that, bro. All right, guys, well, wasn't that basketball so much fun? Yeah, it was kind of fun. Well, that's all the outside time. 
time you get today, so let's go back inside. Wait a second. This is the only time we get to go outside? Bro, we were literally outside for like 30 seconds. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm not the one who broke into the amazing digital circus. Yeah, but that's correct. Well, Pomni, what are we even going to do now? Well, now you're going to take some showers because you guys stink. Yeah, I know, right? Speak man literally smells like 50 farts. Bro, what? No, I don't. You smell like 100 farts. What? Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. Okay, whatever. Well, Pomni, we're going to go take a shower now. Please do not come in. Oh, trust me. I don't want to. All right, Pomni, whoa, dude. We have to think of a plan fast because I do not want to stay here for another minute. Yeah, dude, we got to look around because it seems like that vent is closed off. But I think I actually saw a ladder inside of the kitchen, so maybe we could use that. Wait, what? You saw a ladder inside of the kitchen? No way. Yeah, bro, I actually did. So we're going to have to go into the kitchen, grab the ladder, and try to figure out how we can use it to escape. Yeah, that's a good idea, dude. Well, since we are showering, let's just go outside. And let's try to convince Pomni to let us go into the kitchen. All right, yeah, hopefully she'll let us in there. Well, uh, Miss Pomni, we are done with our showers. All righty, boys. Well, now it's time to go back to your jail cell. Whoa, hold on, Miss Pomni. I have a request from you. Uh, okay, but I don't really take many requests. All right, well, this one is super duper important. Apparently, if I don't eat, like, one more hamburger, then I'll literally die from starvation. So, can I go into the kitchen and grab one real quick? What? No, you're not allowed to grab a hamburger. Uh, what he meant to say is that we want to go into the kitchen so we can work. That's what I meant to say. Sorry. Hold on. You guys want to go to the kitchen and work? Yeah, Pomni, we really want to work. Yeah, this prison is way too boring. We got to do something to entertain ourselves. And I guess the best thing we could do is just go to work. Hmm. All right, guys. That would help a lot. But you better not think about escaping. All right, Pomni, yeah. We won't think about escaping for sure. Yeah, don't worry. The vet in there is already locked. So there's no way that we're even going to be able to escape. All right, you boys. You guys got 10 minutes. I'm going on my lunch break. All right, Pomni. Dude, we have 10 minutes? That's like no time. Yeah, bro, I know. But we have to make every single second of it count. So come on. We have to get inside of this kitchen right now. Yeah, we sure do. So let's go inside. And where even is this ladder? Wait a second. It's literally bright red right here. Yeah, it sure is. I told you, dude. Well, dude, go ahead and take this ladder. And we're going to look around and see if we can place it anywhere to get out. All right, bro. Yeah, here. Let me get the ladder real quick. And now let's first try to go to the courtyard. But, dude, we have to be super duper sneaky because we literally told her that we'll be working in the kitchen. And if she sees us, she'll get super duper suspicious about us escaping. Yeah, so hopefully she isn't around looking for us. Yeah, hopefully she isn't. Well, here. Let's try to sneak to the courtyard, bro. And it seems like the coast is clear. Yeah, it sure does. Okay, okay. Let's go inside fast and let's see. Okay. There's a door right up there. So maybe if we get the ladders all the way up there, then we can escape. Yeah, Speaker Man, that's a good idea. We'll go ahead and place the ladder right here and let's see if we can hop on this basketball. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, okay. I placed down the ladder, so let's try to hop in the hoop real quick. It perfect. It worked. Oh, my gosh, bro. We're actually escaping right now. Okay, come on. Now, let's see if we can make it up on these rails, but it seems like there's actually wires on them. Try not to get hurt. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, dude. It's not working. Wait a second. Here, I'm going to go back down and grab the ladder real quick, and I'm going to bring it back up to us, all right? All right, speaker man. Come on. You got this. All right, here. Let me grab it, and now let me place it right here. Good, perfect. Yes, I placed it. Okay, okay. Give me, man. We can literally escape jail now. Yes, come on, speaker man. Hurry. We do not want Pomni to catch us. But well, wait a second. How are we supposed to get inside of this door? Oh, no. Wait a second. It's literally unlocked. No way. Oh, my gosh. This is perfect. Room, whoa. These are all the security cameras. No way. Let's see if we see Pomni on any of them. And, uh, no. Where even is she? Oh, uh, where do these boys go? Initiating lockdown. Oh, no. There she is. Dude, did you just hear her? She's initiating the lockdown. We got to get out of her fast. Yeah, I think she's literally about to lock all the doors. Well, uh, where do we go? There's an elevator right there. Well, let's see what's out here. And, oh, my goodness, bro. We're literally on the roof right now. We can hop off this roof and we can literally jump over the barbed wire or run through the gate or something. All right, bro. I'm going to try to jump over the barbed wire. Let's go. Oh, oh my gosh. I didn't make it. Oh my goodness, TV man. Are you okay, bro? No, dude, that really hurt. We'll jump into the bushes fast. Pomni's here. Oh my gosh. Pomni's here. Wait a second. Here, hop in her car fast. Hey, why do you boys think that you're doing? We're getting out of your prison, Pomni. Yeah, we sure are. No, get back. Here. You can't get us. Oh my goodness, TV man. We successfully escaped Pomni's prison. We should have never broken into the basic digital circus. Sorry, Pomni. Uh -huh. uh, where am I right now? Whoa, why are we trapped in a one heart together, Speaker Man? Did you make this for me? Wait a second, camera woman. I did not make this one heart, and honestly, that was your idea why we're on here together. Oh my gosh, well, this is perfect because I have a huge crush on you. Oh, I finally made it. Sorry about that, camera woman. <laughs> I am the one that built the one heart because I'm true in love with you. Uh, TV man, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I said I built the one heart. Wait a second. What is Speaker Man doing here? Uh, Speaker Man, how did you get here? Dude, I literally just spawned here and I got no idea why. Well, you are not supposed to be here, so uh, get off the one heart. Come on, get out of here. Whoa, dude, I'm not gonna get out of the one heart. Stop it. And you know what? How about you get off the one heart? I was here first. Wait a second. Hey, 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 hey. 
you. <laughs> That's what you get. Oh my gosh, but Speaker Man, this is my one heart. Therefore, you're not allowed on here. So let me be with Camera Woman in peace. Uh, well, TV Man, I actually like Speaker Man. Wait, what? But I built the one heart for you. Well, this one heart is nice, but I really like Speaker Man. Yeah, so get off this heart, dude. Whoa, 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 okay, how about this? Let's do a build battle, and whoever wins gets to stay on the one heart. But whoever loses has to get off the one heart. Because it's only fair. I'm the one that built this thing, and you like Speaker Man. Yeah, so we have to find some way to settle this. All right, you know what, TV Man? That's actually a good idea. And honestly, whoever wins a build challenge gets Camera Woman's heart. All right, that sounds like a plan. Well, Speaker Man, you're going down. Yeah, right, dude. Well, Camera Woman, what are you even supposed to be building? I want you to build me. Build you? Uh, all right. All right, this is going to be so easy. Well, Camera Woman, we're going to get to that. And trust me, I'm going to build a one-to-one -one replica of your beautiful face. And I'm going to win this build challenge. All right, I can't wait to see. Well, you better get building. All right, yeah, here, I'll get building. Well, I don't have blocks yet, so I have to mine this lucky block real quick. Yeah, perfect. I got all the blocks I need. So now I can get started on building your beautiful face. So I'm going to bridge out here and perfect. I think this is far enough. Hey, look at me, camera woman. I'm already building your face. Wow, you're making a lot of progress, TV man. Yep, I sure am. And my build is going to be way better than speaker man. So trust me. Bro, no, it's not. You're going to see TV man after her head is done. I'm literally going to be able to stay on this one block with her for life. Yeah, right. Whatever you say. I got to start building the outline of her beautiful face. So I'm going to make it just like this. And I have to build up some. And let's see. How many blocks down here? One, two, three, four. And then I built one, two, three, four up. All right, perfect. Oh, now I have to place some blocks just like that. Now I can build it over here as well. And this is turning out so good so far. And honestly, I cannot wait to see what it looks like when it's finished. Bro, look how small your build is. And it's not even round like a camera. Oh my gosh, you're literally gonna lose this speaker, man. You suck. Wait a second. Oh my goodness. Your build is like 10 times bigger than mine. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of my build. I'm gonna redo just it. Just like this. Let me extend it real quick, just like that. And then I'm gonna build up like that. And how many blocks is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, perfect. Seven blocks. So I have one right here. Then I have to build up one just like that. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And perfect. I made it tall enough, so I gotta build over here real quick. And guys, my circle is literally complete. Uh, Speaker Man, your circle's a little uneven. Wait, uh, what do you mean? If you look back here, it's really uneven. Oh my gosh, are you serious? What the heck? Why is my thing literally lopsided? Oh, uh -huh, that thing looks so trash. Do you think I have a lopsided face? No, no, I do not think that. Well, here, look. I think I just fixed it. All right, phew. I was about to get upset. Yeah, I was sorry about that, camera woman. Yeah, I still think it looks pretty lopsided. Right, no, it does not, TV man. Well, camera woman, here. Come here real quick. I need to see your beautiful face. And okay, now I know how to make it. It's gonna look like a one-to-one -one replica of you. All right, I can't wait to see how it turns out. Yeah, me too. Hey, look at this, camera woman. Wow, you're making a lot of progress, TV man. Yep, I sure am. And this thing is going to look exactly like you. Let's hope it does. Well, guys, right now I'm building the inside of my face. But I realize Camera Woman has a visor around her head. So I'm going to have to build that as well. So I'm going to place blocks like this. And then I'm going to extend it by one more like that. And perfect. Hey, TV man. I bet you didn't realize that she had a visor on her head. Oh, uh, no, Speaker Man. I actually realized that. And I just built it. Wait a second. What? Oh, my gosh. You're such a copycat. How am I a copycat? You're literally the one that's losing this thing. No, dude. I'm not going to lose this thing. You know what? I'm fed up with you saying that. Guys, earlier I mind that lucky block. And I got all these chickens. So you know what? I'm go over to this base. I'm going to release him on them. And he is going to get so upset. Well, here. TV man, I have a present for you, dude. You have a present for me? Uh, okay. It better be something good. Yeah, sure is. It's your favorite food ever. Oh, uh, okay. What's my favorite food ever? It's chicken. Take that. Oh, chicken. It's so cute. Wait a second. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> that's what you get, TV man. Hey, speaker man, that's not fair. You're not allowed to sabotage him. Oh, uh, speaker man, why did you do that? Well, did you really make me mad? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to give revenge to you. Give me lucky block. Hey, 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 stop it, dude. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, I'm gonna head back to my base. Please do not come over, okay? We can end the beef already. No, we're not gonna end the beef. Take my ketchup! Bro, oh my gosh, stop spraying ketchup on me. That's what you get, Speaker Man. Now, never come anywhere close to my base ever again. Oh my gosh, dude, okay. I won't come back for a while, but guys, honestly, after I'm done extending her head, I think I'm gonna come over to his base and prank him again, because we're literally in a prank war right now. So, you know what? I'm just gonna go down here, and oh my goodness, I literally fell into the Boy, but wait a second. I believe it. Let's go. Well, this is kind of awkward. I guess I have to just fly up to camera woman's head again. And I made it up. All right, perfect. Well, now that I'm back up, I can extend her head. But wait a second. This is literally taking forever, huh? Maybe there's a way to make faster. it faster. Let me think. Wait a second. I'm pretty sure inside of the lucky block, there's a special one that can make this process go 10 times faster. So you know what? I'm going to mine it real quick. And let's see. Hopefully, I get it. Come on, come on. Give me the magical building one. Come on, come on in. Wait a second. I literally just got it. Speaker man, what is that on your hand? Well, 
can't remember what I'm glad you asked. This is literally the magical building one. So I can literally click here and then click here. And then I can press slash on set dirt. And look at that. The whole entire ground just turned into dirt. Oh my gosh, you just ruined the one heart. But that is pretty cool. Yeah, I know. Well, here. I think I can undo. So let me do slash slash undo and perfect the one heart back to how it was. And you know what? I'm going to head back to your beautiful head. I'm going to start using this wand. All right. I can't wait to see how it looks when it's done. Yeah, me too. It's going to look so amazing. Well, I'm going to build up just like this. And I honestly think this is too long. So I'm going to mine backwards real quick. And this should be long enough right here. So let me place one black right there and one right here. And let me select a position. And then I'm going to select one more up here. And perfect. Now, if I use the command slash slash that bedrock, then the whole entire wall turns into bedrock. And look, that literally sped up everything so fast. So now I barely even have to build it anymore. Hey, speaker man, look at my build. I have already made a one-to-one -one replica of camera woman's face. Hold on, dude. Wait a second. I forgot to build all of her eyes. Oh my gosh, obviously you forgot to build her eyes. Because you don't even care about her. Bro, what? Are you serious? I obviously care about her. Yeah, but it seems like you don't even care enough to build her eyes. Dude, that was just an accident. Come on. Oh my gosh, guys. He's really making me mad. You know what? After I finish this pillar right here, though, I'm gonna head over to his base and I'm gonna prank him even more. Well, here, let me go down real quick. Now I have to extend this all the way back to the other side. Just about here. Now I can right click and I can set this as bedrock. Well, my camera woman head is coming along so amazing. But look at your speaker, man. That thing literally looks so trash. It literally just looks like a gigantic cardboard box. Dude, it is not a cardboard box. Come on. Oh, I can't believe he's saying that. You know what? I literally am about to finish it. Let me set this as bedrock one more time. And perfect. Now I'm literally gonna go to his base and I'm gonna prank him so much. So let me just walk to the middle and, uh, dude, I'm literally coming back over. And this time it's not to give you some chickens. Okay, speaker, man. Uh, what are you gonna give me this time? Well, dude, I'm gonna give you an explosive pumpkin. Wait a second. What the heck? Hey, what is that for? Get out of here. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, 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 stop hitting me. Okay, okay. But that's what you get. Oh my gosh, speaker man. Why do you do that? You know what? I'm done playing games. You better watch your back, buddy. All right, yeah. Keep on saying that, dude. And guys, that is a prank successful. Well, here. I'm gonna head back to my base so I can start working on camera woman's beautiful face. And to finish her face, I have to add all of her eyes. So let me get the blocks real quick. And now I can start working on it again. Oh boy, do you have a few minutes? left until I judge your builds. Wait a second. A few minutes left. I'm not even close to being finished. Wait a second. What? You only got a few minutes left. I literally finished your face. And I still haven't even built the inside yet. Well, you better get to work. I'm judging soon. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Well, guys, this is bad. I only got a few minutes left. So I gotta start working on the inside. But well, hold on. I literally don't have any blocks to make the inside bright. So I have to go back to the lucky block real quick and I have to keep on mining it. And hopefully I... Wait a second. Uh, TV man, what are you doing? What is that? Uh -huh. Oh! Oh my gosh! Dude, what was that for? That's what you get, speaker man! I'm going to sabotage you and make sure you don't finish your build. Oh my goodness. Well, dude, I'm almost done. I just need a few more blocks from the lucky block. And after I get these blocks, I can literally start making the inside of my beautiful build. Oh, here, I think I just got the light blocks. So now I can head back to my base and I can light up the inside. Hey, speaker man, take this! Wait a second, what is that? Ouch! Dude, stop pranking me! Haha, ha, I'm going to make sure that you never finish this build. Oh my gosh, dude. Well, Oh, wait a second. Where do you even go? Uh, behind you, and I'm gonna let out a stinky fart. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, oh my gosh. That stinks so much. I gotta get out of here. Dude, oh, my gosh. I gotta get out of here, too. Guys, you only got two more minutes left. Come on. Two more minutes? Are you serious? And he farted in my build so... Oh, my gosh. You're literally pranking me so much. And that's two more minutes that I get to prank Speaker Man. I am not gonna let you finish your build, Speaker Man. All right, dude. Whatever you say. Well, I'm almost done. But I need some black so I can finish it inside, so I gotta mine this one block again. And hopefully I get the blocks I need. Come on, come on, come on. And perfect, I did. So now that I have these blocks, I can go back to the base and I can finish up the inside of Camera Woman's beautiful head. Well, right here, I'm gonna add a humongous couch so Camera Woman and I can sit on it. And right here, I'm gonna add a TV as well. And this is turning out so good right now. Oh, speaker man, I have a present for you again. Bro, another present? Let me finish this. I only have like one minute left. Nope, dude, I'm not gonna let you finish this fart again. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh! Uh, I'm gonna get you. All right, yes, speaker man, come and get me. Oh, uh, where do you even go, dude? I'm right here. Take this. Wait a second. Oh, my gosh. Dude, what the heck? You just made me fly. 
fire. Ha ha, you are never going to finish your build, Speaker Red. I'm going to win Camera Woman's love. Boys, only 30 seconds left. Hold on, 30 seconds? Can you add some more time to that, please? No can do. Finish fast. Hurry up. Oh my gosh. This is so bad. I haven't even made our bed yet. Well, here. Let me place that real quick. I got so much stuff I need to add as well. Well, the bed is finished now. So I have to add the upstairs floor. Come on, come on. I have to make a whole humongous floor. I'm going to add so much stuff up here. But wait a second. I literally got like no time. So I have to speed around this fast. Boys, you have five seconds left. Wait a second. Five seconds. I didn't even finish my build. Wait, what? You didn't finish? Oh my gosh. Well, look at this. I just finished the second floor. I got to add something up here quick. But oh my gosh. I think the time is up. And boys, your time is up. Come to the middle so I can start judging your build. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, honestly, I think my camera woman build is super duper good. It looks like a one-on-one -one replica of your face. So I swear I'm going to win this. Oh my gosh. I was so busy pranking Speaker Man, making sure that he didn't finish. I didn't even finish my own build. Well, my camera woman actually looks way better than yours, Speaker Man. So I still think I'm going to win this thing. Yeah, right. Mine literally looks like a one-on-one -one replica of her face. All right, boys, stop the arguing. Now it's time to judge. All right, camera woman. Well, whose face are you going to judge first? I am going to go to TV Man's first. All right, perfect. You're just saving the best for last. Oh, wait. You're going to my base first? Uh, okay, okay. Well, uh, here is my camera woman. It is an exact one-to-one -one replica of your face, and I also have camera turrets outside to defend us. Wow, it looks so beautiful! Yeah, it sure does. Well, follow me inside, and uh, I didn't really finish anything in the inside because I was so busy pranking Speaker Man. But here is a bed, and a bed is basically all we need. Because all we need to do is sleep. And we also have some chests right next to the bed just in case we need to eat some beans. Oh my gosh, dude, that stinks! Ew, what was that? Whoopsie daisy. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I kind of forgot that you were here, camera woman. Oh my gosh, dude. That smells a little stuck in my speakers. Wow, TV man. I think this looks so amazing. I love all the blue. Well, thank you so much, camera woman. I'm glad you like it. I give you a nine and a half out of ten. Nine and a half out of ten? Are you serious? Yep, I'm serious. Speaker man, your house better be better than his. Yeah, trust me, it is. Oh my gosh, guys. We literally got a nine and a half out of ten. Well, honestly, I'm confident that my build is going to beat him. So let's go to my build and... and Camera woman, welcome to your face. Uh, what the heck am I looking at? Oh, uh, your beautiful face. This looks hideous. What did you do? Yeah, this does not look like camera woman at all, dude. You are definitely gonna lose this thing, speaker man. No, dude, trust me. Uh, I'm gonna win this, okay? Well, guys, let me show you around inside. Okay, the inside is, uh, nice, I guess. Yeah, I know. Well, here, there's a little humongous couch right here where we can watch TV at. And there's also a bed in, uh, ignore the room above us because I did not have time to fill that in. Uh, speaker man, why is it so dark in here? I can barely even see anything. Thing. Bro, what do you mean? There's literally lights right here. You must be blind or something. Yeah, it is a little gloomy feeling. But I do like the TV and the couch. But pink is not my favorite color. I thought all girls like pink. No, dude. She is little Carol and she likes blue. Oh my gosh, why did I not think of that? Yeah, speaker man, it doesn't seem like you know me very well. Well, guys, I know who the winner is. Let's go back to the one heart. All right, camera woman, guys, hopefully it's me. Because I swear this build looks just like her face. Well, let's go back to the one heart and camera woman, who is the winner? Okay, drum roll, please. Okay. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Please be me. The winner is TV Man. Yes, yes I knew I won. A second. I thought you just said Speaker Man. Oh, my gosh. I would never choose yours in a hundred years. What are you serious? But we're meant to be together. Please do not kick me off the one heart. Well, actually, I had changed feelings. I like TV Man more. See, I knew I would win, Speaker Man. And that's why I built this one heart just for you, camera woman. Oh, I love you so much, TV Man. I love you, too. Mwah. Bro, are you serious? Well, Speaker Man, before you go, we want to give you a nice special treat. A special treat? Uh, okay, what is it? Yep, just turn around and look at your house. Oh, uh, all right, what is there? And watch it get exploded! Wait a second, what the heck? Yeah. Why are you destroying my house? Wow, this is so amazing. Because it looks hideous. Oh my gosh, I just spent so long on that. Well, Speaker Man, it seems like you have to get off the one heart now. Hasta la vista. No, wait, what the heck? Oh, good morning, we're today. It's going to be such a Amazing day. And the first thing I'm going to do is head downstairs to play with my friends. But wait a second. Who in the heck is calling me? Uh, hello, who's this? Oh, hey, Speaker Man. It's Camera Woman. Uh, Camera Woman? Why are you calling me? Uh, I was just wondering if you can come over. I don't feel very well. Oh, you don't feel well? Uh, well, where's Camera Man? Uh, he's not home, and I'm scared to tell him. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess I'll be right over. Okay, thank you. Yep, I'll be right there. Why is she randomly sick? Uh, okay. Well, I guess I'll figure out once I get to her house. And I'm at her house. Uh, hello, Camera Woman. Are you home? Yeah. Uh, okay. It seems like she's home. I'm just gonna come inside. Uh, camera woman, where are you? Uh, speaker man, I'm in the bathroom. Bleah. The bathroom? Uh, where even is the bathroom? It's down 
downstairs. What is downstairs? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Camera woman, why are you sick? I don't know. My stomach just really hurts. Oh my gosh. Do we need to go to the hospital or something? Yeah, I think I do. Oh man. Uh, all right. Well, I guess I'll carry you there. Okay. Thanks a lot, speaker man. Yeah, no problem. Hey, we're at the hospital. And hey, Mr. Doctor, this is camera woman right here. And she's been throwing up a lot. And uh, we do not know what's wrong with her. All right. Come ahead and follow me. Okay, doctor. And camera woman, we're going to figure out what's wrong with you. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to need to run some tests on her. So let me check this. Okay. That seems all right. Okay. Let me check this. All right. And now let me listen to her heartbeat. Hold on. And her heartbeat is sounding fine. So that's good. And you said she was throwing up, right? Yeah. She was throwing up a lot. All right. Well, let me go ahead and listen to her stomach and let me see if I can hear anything. Huh? Okay. Well, I'm not hearing anything over here. So let me look right here. And I'm not hearing anything. And wait a second. Oh, what is it, doctor? Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. Oh my gosh. I hear a heartbeat inside a camera woman's stomach. Wait, what? Camera woman, you swallowed a heart? What? Did I? No, she didn't swallow a heart. I think she's pregnant. Huh? You're pregnant? What? No, no, no. This can't be true. Well, camera woman, it is true. And you're going to be having a baby in about two hours. Wait, what the heck? Two hours? Yep, that's correct. Oh, no. I got to tell cameraman about this. Yeah, call him fast. All right, I will. Uh, Hello there, cameraman. Uh, hey there, speaker man. What's up? I'm at work right now. Uh, dude, your wife is literally pregnant. And she's going to give birth in two hours, and you don't even have baby supplies yet. Wait a second. Camera woman's pregnant? Yes, dude. She's literally pregnant right now in the hospital. How did I not know about this? Oh, my gosh. Well, we got to do something about this. We got to prepare for this baby. Yeah, we sure do, bro. Well, where are you guys right now? We're at the hospital right now, bro. All right. Well, let me call off work real quick, and I'll be right over. All right. I'll see you soon. And guys, I cannot believe that camera woman is pregnant. And we only have two hours before the baby is born, so we're going to have to shop for supplies for the baby fast. And hopefully, we get all the supplies in time, because if we don't, that would be super duper bad. Speaker man, I'm here now. Quick, we have to go. Yeah, dude, we gotta go fast. Well, Speaker man, I don't know what to get for a baby. I've literally never had a baby before in my life, so uh, what do we get for it? Dude, honestly, I don't really know. Well, I'm pretty sure babies wear clothes, so maybe first we can get some clothes, and after that, we can get some food for the baby. All right, Speaker man, that sounds like a good idea. We do not have much time, so we gotta hurry this up. Yeah, we sure do, dude. So let's head to the clothing store, and then we can shop for some clothes for your new baby. Hey, you guys, welcome to Rockstar. How may I help you? Uh, hey there, lady. I'm looking for some baby clothes. Do you have any by chance? Uh, baby clothes? Yeah, we'll be right over here. All right, wait a second. Is this the girls section? Uh, cameraman, do you know if you're having a boy or a girl? Uh, I don't know, speaker man. You're the one that was in the hospital. Did they not tell you? No, they didn't, bro. Oh my gosh. Well, we don't even know if it's gonna be a boy or a girl now. Well, you know what, cameraman? I think we're gonna have to try on some clothes for the girls section and the boys section to find out what the best clothing is for your baby. Wait a second, speaker man. Do you want to try it on? Yeah, dude. We're gonna have to try it to see if it's comfortable. Oh my gosh, speaker man. I'm gonna look ridiculous, but you know what? Whatever. Let's just do it. All right. Well, here. Let's try on the first pair of clothes, and hopefully this is good. And here is our first pair of clothes. And wait, what the heck are you wearing? Dude, what are you wearing? You're wearing mermaids. Bro, what the heck? I'm wearing mermaids? This literally looks so ridiculous on me. Yeah, look at me. This looks ridiculous on me also, bro. I do not think my baby's gonna like to wear this. This looks so silly. Yeah, it sure does. Well, how about this mermaid thing? Do you think your baby would like to wear this? No, dude. Oh, all right. Well, here. Let's try on some more clothes. And hopefully these pairs of clothes are actually good. And here is the next pair of clothes. And bro, look at me. Do you think your child would wear this? Heck no, dude. It's literally rainbow. And look at me. I'm literally wearing like some pink shirt. Oh my gosh, this looks so bad. Wow, boys, you look great. I thought you were getting it for your baby then. Yes, we're getting it for my baby, but uh, we have to try it on first to see if the baby would like it. Uh, okay, that's a little strange. Oh, uh, well, cameraman, I think it's time to buy one of these pairs of clothes. So which one should we buy? Honestly, speaker man, let's just buy mine. I don't want to shop for any more clothes. And if it's a boy, then he's just gonna have to deal with wearing pink. All right, cameraman, that is a good idea. So let's go up to the counter and let's buy these clothes. Uh, hello there, lady. Can we please buy these pink clothes? Yes, of course you can. All right, and how much will they be? They will be about 60 bucks. Dang, 60 bucks? What, $60 for baby clothes? Are you serious? Uh, yeah, I'm serious. Babies need clothes too. Oh, man. Well, cameraman, good thing you're paying. I mean, it's my baby speaker, man, so I kind of have to pay. Oh, my gosh, this baby's going to be so expensive. Well, thank you so much, and congrats on your baby. You too. Wait a second. You too. Uh, no, I meant to say thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Well, cameraman, that's not the only shopping we have to do. Because I still think we need to get some baby food and something after that, but I'm not sure what we have to do after that. Yeah, me too, but we only have one hour left, so uh, we should probably get going. Yeah, let's go to the store right now. And cameraman, now we're at the grocery store. Yep, and while we're here, we have to shop for a few things. We need to get milk, bottles, and pizza. Pizza? What? Your baby's gonna eat pizza? No, he's not gonna eat pizza, speaker man. I'm just a little bit hungry, so come on. Bro, all right, and uh, hey there, little Timmy. Oh, hey there, bros. What are you guys doing at the grocery store today? Well, dude, 
Cameraman is having a baby, so we're gonna have to shop for some food for him. Oh, okay. Do you need some help? Uh, yeah, I actually might need some help, Timmy. Oh, wait, bro. I was a baby once, so I can really help you. All right, thanks a lot, little Timmy. Well, dude, what do we have to get first? Well, first, you obviously have to get some milk. Because every single baby needs milk because milk is so delicious. All right, little Timmy. Yeah, I knew that babies needed milk, but that's basically all I know. Well, guys, what do we need next? Well, your baby needs to be able to drink the milk. So you are going to have to get us some baby bottles. Some baby bottles? All right. Well, little Timmy, where would those be located? Uh, they're literally right here, speaker man. Stop. Not playing dumb. Oh, okay. Silly me. All right. Well, I'll get some bottles also. And is there any, like, baby food that we could give him? Or is there literally only Doritos and pizza inside of here? Uh, well, I don't actually think we have baby food inside of here, but, um... Basically, all the baby needs is to just drink milk. Because the only thing that babies ask for is, ma, ma, mommy, I want milk. So, yeah, all you really need is milk. Yeah, that's true. Well, Kimber, man, you still want that pizza? Yeah, let's still get that pizza. I'm pretty hungry. All right, yeah, good idea. Well, little Timmy, I think that's all we need for right now. Well, Kimber, man, we have to do one more thing after this. Okay, what do we have to do, speaker man? All I know is that we're missing something, and honestly, I don't really know what it is. Well, what have you guys gotten from the store today? Well, first, we got baby clothes for the baby, and now we're getting the food and stuff. Oh, okay, so you only got baby clothes and food. So that means that you still have to get the baby diapers, and you also have to get the baby a crib. Because the baby is not allowed to sleep in a regular bed. Oh, all right, little Timmy, so you hear that, cameraman? We need diapers and a crib for the baby. All right, speaker man, remember that. And, Timmy, how much is this food gonna cost? Well, it's gonna cost you about $100. What the heck? Uh, Timmy, why is that so expensive? Because babies are expensive, bro. I'm I'm sorry, but I can't really change the prices on anything. Uh, okay, whatever. This baby is literally gonna make me go bro. All right, thank you so much. And remember, you have to go get diapers and a crib, so you should probably go do that. Yeah, and by the way, cameraman, I think we only have like 30 minutes left, dude. So we have to get our stuff and then head to the hospital fast. Yeah. The baby's gonna get birth. Yeah, bro, the time is ticking. We gotta go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Thanks a lot, little Timmy. Yep, no problem. Well, cameraman, do you know where we can find diapers in a crib? Honestly, dude, I have no idea, but let me just check my phone, and maybe there's a diaper place around here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Check it. All all right, let me search this up, and okay, it seems like there is a diaper place around here. Wait, really? Oh, where is it? Well, it doesn't give me an address. It just says behind Starbrook's Coffee. So that is very, very suspicious. Behind Starbrook's Coffee? Yeah, okay, dude, that is super duper suspicious. That must mean that someone's selling diapers in the alleyway right behind here. Yeah, well, that's apparently the only place that we can buy diapers. So I think we actually might just have to go behind there, speaker man. Oh, man, all right. Well, hopefully we don't get robbed or anything. Yeah, hopefully we don't. And if we get robbed, then you can just use your speaker powers on them. Yeah, I sure can. Can. So let's just walk behind here and oh my gosh, who the heck is this? Uh, hello there, sir. Could you please move out of the way? I think we have to go down here to find some diapers. Oh, hello there. I'm the one that's selling the diapers. Wait a second. You're selling the diapers? Yep, I sure am. Oh, well, uh, actually, I don't want to buy any diapers. I'm sorry. Uh, I have to go. Speaker man, let's get out of here. Yeah, dude, let, let's get out of here. Hey, wait a second. Where are you guys going? Oh, uh, we gotta go home because, uh, he has to poop himself. What? No, I don't have to poop myself, speaker man. Should be quiet. This is our way out. Oh, yeah. Okay, Speaker Man. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, well, mister, I actually just really have to poop, so uh, we gotta go. Sorry. Bye. Hey, wait a second. Where are you going? If you need to poop so bad, you can take one of my diapers and poop inside of it. Uh, okay. You are really, really weird, dude. That is disgusting. Come on, dude. Buy the diapers already. Oh, my gosh, Cameraman. Honestly, dude, I think you just gotta buy them so he leaves us alone. All right, Speaker Man. Yeah, uh, let me just do that. Uh, okay, okay. I'll buy the diapers if you just leave me alone, okay? All righty. Well, here are the diapers, and it's gonna be about $20. For $20 for some diapers? Uh, okay, mister. Please just take my money. All right, thank you so much. Yep, uh, no problem. Oh my gosh, that guy was super duper creepy. Yeah, he sure was, dude. He really wanted to sell you those diapers. Well, cameraman, now it's time to go buy the crib for your baby butt, too. We literally have like 10 more minutes before your baby's born, so we gotta do that fast. Yeah, bro, so let's go find a crib store. Yeah, let's go. And cameraman, look, there's literally cribs right here, so I think they may be for sale. Yeah, okay, uh, let's go talk to this old lady. Uh, hi there, old lady. Can we buy a crib? Oh, hello, young man. Yes, you can buy a crib. All right, perfect. Well, old lady, we literally have like 10 more minutes left because my baby is about to be born. Oh, congratulations. Thank you so much, but we really need a crib. Okay, well, we have two options. A pink or a blue. Oh, no, don't do this to me again. What's the gender of your sweet baby? That's the thing, old lady, I don't know. So you're really making this decision hard. And they were literally doing this at the clothing store also. Oh, my gosh. Well, uh, Speaker Man, do we pick blue or pink? Well, dude, we got pink clothes for your baby, so maybe you should get a blue crib. Well, Speaker Man, we have to make it match, dude. If we're already getting pink clothes, then we have to get a pink crib. And you know what? If it's not a girl, then uh, we can't really do anything about it. Yeah, we sure can, bro. Well, I guess
guess you're gonna have to get a pink crib. All right, that is a perfect choice. This crib will be $700. $700? What the heck? Yes, and for an extra $200, you can get same day delivery. Same day delivery? Are you serious? I need this crib right now. Okay, well, I guess you're gonna have to pay the whole toll. Oh my gosh, I have to pay $900? Dude, I cannot believe it. This baby is literally so expensive. And we literally have like five minutes until it's born. Yeah, dude, so you might as well just buy it right now. All right, well, uh, here you go. This is literally the rest of my money, lady. All right, thank you, boys. Have a great day. Yeah, you too, and Speaker Man. The baby is about to be born. We gotta get to the hospital fast. Yeah, we sure do, dude. Let's go. Hey, bro, we're at the hospital. We gotta go inside fast. Your wife is literally giving birth. I cannot wait to see my baby. And oh my gosh, you look. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute, but wait a second. It's a boy. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I cannot believe it. We literally bought all girl stuff. Here's our new baby cameraman, and we're gonna have such a good life. Yeah, I don't know about that one, camera woman. We are literally broke. Wait, what? We're literally broke? Why aren't we broke? Because I literally spent like $3,000 on this baby. $3,000? Yeah, camera woman, $3,000. All the prices got inflated, so cameraman had to spend that much money. Oh, no, I can't believe that. Oh, uh, where am I right now? Cameraman, what are you doing here? Huh, Pomini? What are you doing here? Speaker man, you are locked on a one raft with Pomni. A one raft with Pomni? Are you serious right now? What? I don't even like Speaker man. You guys are going to have to build the best one raft. The best one raft? Yeah, and if you don't, then you'll be stranded out here forever. Wait, what? Forever? No way. I don't want to do this. Hey, oh my gosh, Pomni. What was that for? Get off of my raft. All right, Pomni, calm down. You guys have to work together to get off of here. What? I have to work with him? Uh, fine, what? Yeah, I can't believe I have to work with you, Pomni. And I can't even believe I'm on this one raft. Oh, my goodness. Well, guys, let's get to building. Yeah, let's start building. I don't want to be on here forever. Yeah, I don't want to be on here forever either. Well, guys, what are we even going to build? Well, Speaker Man, we got to make the best raft ever. So let's start making this thing super duper big. Super duper big? Uh, all right. Well, here, let me help you real quick. Uh, how do I even build? Use that hammer in your hand and then you'll start building. Uh, all right, Kane. And guys, make sure you make this raft big enough for me because I need my own room. Wait, why? You need your own room on this? Yep, I sure do. It has to have a king's throne, some gold, and a personal chef that can make me feel whenever I want. Oh my gosh, are you serious right now? Yep, I have to relax in my king's throne. All right, well, you heard him, Pomni. We're gonna have to make him his own room, and we're gonna have to put a king's throne in there. Wait, he's not the only one that gets a room. I want a room as well. What, you want a room too? Oh my goodness. Well, we're gonna have to build two rooms, it seems like. Uh, Speaker Man, where is your room gonna be? What, my room? Honestly, Pomni, I don't think I need a room. I'll just spend time in your room. Sir, you not. Wait, what? I want? Are you serious? Yeah, you're stinky. You need your own room. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, it seems like literally all three of us need our own rooms. And hopefully we make our raft cool enough so that we don't get stranded out here forever. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get started. All right, Pomni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get started. Well, whose room should we work on first? I think we should work on mine. Oh, uh, no. You guys have to work on mine, remember? I need to take a relax break. Oh my goodness. Okay, Pomni. You have to work on Kane's first. Well, here. Well, let's finish building the raft real quick. And after we make it long enough, then we can start working on Kane's room. Yeah, and after that, I call working on my room. All right, Pomni. Well, Kane, is this raft big enough right now? Yep, I think it's big enough. Well, let's get started on my room. All right, well, Kane, what do you want your room to look like? Well, for my room, I want it fully red. Fully red? Uh, Kane, how are we supposed to do that? I'm pretty sure we literally only have wood. Well, if you pull out your blueprint, you'll see a catalog of items. Uh, all right, here, let me try that real quick. And whoa, there are literally so many blocks. Yep, there sure are, and you can choose any of these blocks. And after you place down the blocks, you can use your paintbrush to change the color. All right, that's that was awesome, Kane. Well, Speaker Man, let's get started on his room. Yeah, let's do this while well, here. Kane, you can have this whole entire corner of the raft, all right? All right, that sounds good to me. Yeah, so let's start off building the walls right here. And after, I think we should paint it, Pomni. Yep, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, me too. Well, here. The layout of his room is almost done and perfect. The layout is complete. Well, let's build up the walls real quick. Wow, guys, my room is looking really good so far. Yeah, sure is, but Kane, after we're finished creating it fully, it's gonna look even better than this. Oh, boy, I am so excited to sit in my throne. It's going to be so relaxing and you guys get to do all the work. Kane, no, you gotta help us. No, Pomni, I put you here for a reason. And that reason is to build the best one round. So you guys are going to have to build it, not me. Oh, huh, all right, Kane. Well, guys, it seems like the walls are almost fully complete, so I think it's time to color it now. All right, good idea. Let's make it all red. Yeah, let's do this. So here, let me get the paintbrush real quick, and I'm gonna choose red. And now I think we can paint all these blocks. Look at this, Pomni. The whole entire wall right here is turning bright red. Wow, it's looking great, Speaker Man. Yeah, it sure is. Well, Kate, how are you liking your room so far? My room is looking absolutely amazing, guys. You're doing a great job. Really? Thanks a lot. All right. Well, we literally have almost every single wall painted red. So after this, we're gonna have to add the interior. Yeah, the interior is the most important 
heart. Yeah, it sure is. Well, game, what did you want for the interior again? Well, the first thing I want is a golden throne. A golden throne? Really? Yep, so I can relax and sit down. And next, I wanted a personal chef. Which means that we are going to have to get a kitchen. What? How are you supposed to get a personal chef out on this raft? Well, I could teleport them, of course. Oh, huh? you can teleport them? No way. Uh, Kane, if you can teleport them here, why can't you teleport us out of here? Well, because you have to build the coolest one raft, obviously. Bro, are you serious, Kane? Come on, just teleport us already. Nope, guys, the one raft is not complete yet, so come on. Let's get to working, team. Let's make my golden throne. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Kane. All right, Kane, here's your golden throne. Wait a second, Poppy. This is not a funny joke. Why is there a toilet here? You gotta put down my real throne. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Poppy. That is hilarious. And I made it golden for you. Hey, wait a second. Tommy, you can't just put a golden toilet here. I need a real throne right now to relax on. Come on. Speaker Man, do something about this. All right, I'll do something. Uh, this is so comfortable. Come on, Speaker Man, do something. I am, dude. I'm literally sitting on the golden throne right now. Oh, my gosh. Okay, whatever. Well, I guess this golden toilet is going to be my throne. <laughs> King, we're joking. If you want an actual golden throne, we'll get it for you. All right. Yes, I want an actual golden throne. Come on, guys. All right. That was not a funny joke. I do not want to sit on a toilet. Okay, whatever you say, Kane. Well, Pomni, honestly, I think I want this toilet in my room. What? You want it in your room? All right, we'll save it for later. All right, good. Well, Pomni, let's get started on building this throne. So let's see. What can we use as a throne? Huh? Maybe we can use this couch right here. Oh, yeah. And it's already gold. Yeah, sure. Okay, here. Kane, let me know if you like this. Oh, it actually looks pretty good. Yes, this is perfect, guys. Great job. Now, I'm gonna sit in my golden throne for the rest of the time. Really, Kane? You aren't gonna help us? Nope, I'm not gonna help you guys. Now, go ahead and make me my kitchen for my personal chef. Ugh, Kane, you're so lazy. Yep, say whatever you want. Oh my gosh, all right, Kane. Well, Pomni, let's get started on making this kitchen. So, what should we even add to the kitchen? Well, every kitchen needs a fridge and an oven. Uh, oven? All right, well, it seems like you already added the fridge. So, I'll add an oven. Well, let's see, huh? Where could the oven be? Literally in the object section. The object section? Oh, yeah. I see it right here. Okay. Thanks a lot, Pomni. Well, let me grab that real quick, and I'll place an oven right here. All right, perfect. Well, guys, my kitchen is looking so good so far. Great job. Thanks, Kane. Well, what else do you even need? Well, I think that's about it for my room. So you guys should probably get started on your room. What? We're already finished? No way! Yeah, I can't believe that we already finished your room, Kane. Yep, that's basically all I wanted. So go work on Pomni's room now, and afterwards, you can make speaker mail. All right, yeah, let's do this. Well, Pomni, where do you want your room to be? I want my room to be right here. Right here? Oh, uh, all right, yeah, sure. Well, how do you want your room to look? I want just like your hat? All right, so the color scheme is going to be like blue and red? Yep, and yellow. All right, Poppy. Yeah, this is going to look awesome once it's finished. Yeah, it sure is. And on the inside, I want to have lots of plants and a nice comfy bed. A lot of plants and a comfy bed? Uh, all right, Pomni. It seems like we're done with the outline of your room. So now we can start working on the walls. All right, let's make the walls super duper high. Yeah, let's do this. Just like this. And whoa, okay, Pomni. Is this high enough? Uh, no. I think it has to go a little bit. What, a little bit higher? Really? Uh, all right. Well, yeah, here, let's build it a little bit higher. And tell me when to stop, Pomni, all right? Okay, keep on going. What, keep on going? Are you serious? Oh, my goodness, Pomni. Is this high enough yet? Uh, almost. Bro, what? Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Now, am I high enough? Uh, maybe a little too high. Bro, are you serious right now? Hot, right? Well, let me break down some in Pomni. Tell me when to stop. Okay, stop. All right, well, right here is how high your walls are going to be, all right? I am so excited. Yeah, I'm not really excited to build all the walls this high. Well, actually, this wall is almost complete. Well, speaker, man. Yeah, I sure do. Look at that. These walls are almost complete already. Yeah, they sure are. Well, here, I just have to build up a tiny bit more just like this. And, uh, by the way, Pomni, are we gonna make all the walls this high? Uh, no, only that wall. I was just joking with Wait, what? You were joking with me about making the walls this high? Yep, I sure was. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that I just fell for that. Haha, uh -huh. we'll come down here and make the walls all this high. Oh, all right, Pomni. Thanks for wasting my time. Of course, it's what I do. Bro, all right. Well, we're done placing the roof of the walls on your room. So, how do you want to paint it? I want the bottom room to be yellow, then blue, and red. So, yellow for the floor, then blue and red for the walls? All right, that sounds like a good idea, Pomni. I really wonder how it's going to look once we finish it. Yeah, it's probably going to look amazing. Yeah, probably will be. Well, here, I'm gonna paint this side right here bright red. And then after this wall is, and after this wall is complete, we can start painting the other side bright blue. Okay, sounds like a plan. Yeah, so here, let me just paint it just like this and perfect. Look, this is literal look, this is literal whole entire side is painted bright red. Wow, good job, Speaker Man. You're a really fast painter. Thanks a lot, Pomni. And now I'm gonna start with the blue. Yeah, well, here, let me help you, Pomni. Okay, thank you so much, Speaker Man. Yeah, no problem. Well, are we gonna paint the floors yellow? Nah, I think they're fine how they are. Let's start working on the interior. And hopefully this room looks good enough so Kate gets us off this raft already. I know. This raft is making me seasick. Yeah, it's making me kind of seasick too. Oh my goodness, Pomni. I think I'm about to barf. Ew. Oh my gosh, okay, that did not feel good at all. I literally just barfed all over you. Now I smell like poopy. 
here. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Pomni. Uh, I guess it's all right. Now let's work on the interior. All right, yeah, that's a good idea. So you said you wanted a lot of plants in a bed, so here. I'll get a bed for you, and you can get some plants. All right, will do. All right, so let's see. Where are the beds even at? It's in the object section, obviously. What? No, it's not obvious. Well, here. I got it, so I'm going to place it down right about right here. Figure me, wait a second. You literally placed it backwards. Can you not just sleep on your bed backwards? No, no, I can't. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, I guess I'll break this bed, and I'll place it again, okay? Just like this. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. What color do you even want it? I want it to be blue, because it's on the blue side. All right. Well, here. Let me paint it blue and perfect. Wow, your house is looking amazing, Pomni. Yeah, I agree. And now it's time for your house, Speaker Man. What? It's already time for my house? Oh, all right. And hopefully after my house is done, then we can literally get off this raft. I know. I can't believe we're stuck on here. Yeah, I can't believe it either. Well, Speaker Man, what do you want your room to be like? Huh, what do I want my room to be like? Huh, maybe my room can be like speakers, like my head. Huh, okay. I think we can just make one speaker. Then. Yeah, that's a good idea. We can make one humongous speaker. Oh, hey, guys. How's it going? Oh, wait a second, Kane. Oh, hey. We just finished Pomni's room, so now we're starting on my room. Wow, guys. This raft is looking so amazing so far. Yeah, I know. Speaker Man and I have worked so hard on it. Yeah, you guys sure have. Well, guys, keep on building on your raft. Because remember, you have to make it the best raft so you can go home. But if it's not the best raft that you can make, then you're going to be trapped here forever. Oh, my gosh. I literally forgot about that. We have to make my room literally super duper insane. Because if our raft is not the best, then we're going to be stuck on this raft forever. Oh, no. Yeah, me neither. So let's start building. We're going to have to build the speaker super duper high. Yeah, we sure are. The speakers are huge. Yeah, they really are. So I think I'm going to build up all the walls this high right here. Well, look at this. The first side of the wall is almost complete. Wow, you're so fast. Yeah, I know. And just like that, perfect. It is literally complete already. So, Pomni, we still have like three more walls to build. So let's do this. Huh, for the inside, I'm thinking that I get two floors. One for me to sleep and one for a living room. Well, I just finished this wall so we can start building the inside soon. Oh, yeah, we sure can. Nice going, Pomni. Well, I'm about to finish my wall any second now. And perfect. I literally just completed it. Nice. Well, we still need the roof, so how about you work on that? All right, yeah, here. I'll work on the roof, Pomni. And after we're done on the roof, I think we're actually going to have to color my room real quick. And after that, we can start building on the inside. So let's place the blocks just like this. And oh my goodness, I can barely see where I'm even placing. I know. It's gotten so dark so quickly. Yeah, it sure has. Well, now that the whole entire outside is complete, let's start painting real quick. And I'm going to paint it all black. All right, Speaker Man. Well, we can't forget about the red eagers on you. Oh, yeah, we can't forget about that. We're still gonna have to build some speakers. So, you know what? I think I'm gonna do that right now. So, here. Let me just place a block right here so I can jump down real quick. And I'm gonna start working on the first speaker. I think there's gonna be two. Alright, cool. Oh, uh, guys, are you almost done? I really wanna get off this raft. Oh, uh, I can, yeah. We're almost done. Alright, cool. I can't wait to see what all these rooms look like. Trust me, you're gonna like them a lot. Alright, I better. Well, Pomni, we're literally almost done with the outside. So, soon we can start working on the inside of this. Alright, well, I'll start working on the floor while you work on the speaker. Okay, Pomni, yeah. Good idea. Yeah. And just like that, one of the speakers are done. But I still need to place one more. So here, let me place a block down here real quick and let me drop down. And now I can start working on the second speaker. So let's place it just like this. And perfect. The speaker is basically complete, but I still need to place some red. All right, and the floor is almost complete as well. All right, perfect, Pomni. I can't wait to see it. Oh, wait a second. I literally cannot even fit through the door. Are you serious? Uh-oh, it seems like we're going to have to make the door wider. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. Whoa, whoa, Pomni. This is so nice. Yeah, well, I think we can start working on the interior now. Yeah, I think we can do that as well. Well, on the first floor, I'm gonna place down a couch and stuff, and on the second floor, I'm gonna place my bed. So, let me open the blueprint real fast, and let's see, huh? Where are the beds? I think they're the object, and perfect! Here is a bed. So, let me walk upstairs, and I'm gonna place it right here. Alright, that is a great spot. I think Kate is gonna like this room. Yeah, me too. Well, finally, let's do the living room. So, I'm gonna grab a couch, and I'll place it right here, and perfect! My room is fully complete! Wow, this looks so amazing! Yeah, it sure does. Great job, Pomni! Thanks. Speaker man, I really hope Kate is gonna like this. Yeah, me too. Well, here. Let's go over to Kate's room and uh, hello, Kate. Are you there? Uh, are you guys done yet? Yes, Kate. We're literally done. We completed my room and Pomni's room. All right, perfect. Well, if these rooms are good enough, then you guys are gonna be able to go home. But if they're not, then you're gonna be stuck here forever. Well, Pomni, do you think we did a good enough job? Yeah, I think we did. All right, well, hopefully Kate thinks so as well. All right, well, the outside of Pomni's room is very nice. It looks exactly like her. And when you go inside, there are some plants, a teddy bear, and there is a bed. Okay, this is a pretty good room. I like this one. Yeah, he likes it. Well, let's go ahead and let's head to Speaker Man's room. But if this room is bad, then you guys are going to be stuck on here forever. Oh, no. Hopefully, we did a good enough job in my room. So, it seems like it's a speaker, which is very fitting for Speaker Man. And you have a couch right here and some stairs going up. And what is up here? Let's see. And it seems like there is a bed, but oh, no. 
You guys forgot to color those blocks right there. Uh oh, uh, can't just ignore that. Oh, uh, okay. Well, Speaker Man, I actually do really like your house. Wait, what? You actually do? No way. Yeah, I do. And you know what? I think you guys built the coolest rap, which means that you don't have to stay here forever. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Okay, thank you so much, Walla. Well, uh, can you teleport us home now? Well, guys, I'm gonna teleport home, but uh, you guys have to go home on this rap. Bro, what? Are you serious? Yep, see you guys later. Oh my gosh. See ya, Kay. Oh gosh, I literally had the craziest dream last night. I had a dream that I had a speaker man family. Well, good thing it's not real because I cannot deal with a family. Like, imagine if I had a baby and a wife and stuff. That would be so terrible. Well, here, let me go get my breakfast real fast. Oh, good morning, honey. I got your breakfast already. Wait, what the heck? Who are you? Speaker man, I'm your wife. Huh, you're my wife? What do you mean? We've been married for five years. Five years? Huh? I don't even know you. Wait a second. Who is that? Oh, hey, yo, daddy. That's Speaker Junior. Speaker Junior? Is that my son? Yes, I'm your son. Do you not remember me, daddy? Uh, no. I don't even know who the heck you are. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait a second. Where are you going, son? Speaker man, what's going on with you? Uh, nothing's going on with me. What's going on with you guys? Did he break into my house? What? No. This is our house. It's not just your house. Yeah, dad. We literally live here. Oh, uh, honestly, guys, I don't care if you think you live here, but I need you out of my house right now. Speaker man, calm down. No, I'm not going to calm down. I have no idea who you guys are, so get out. How about you just come over here and eat some breakfast with me, and we can figure out what's going on. Oh, my gosh. All right. Daddy, I don't like you anymore. I'm going to cause havoc to the city. Wait, what the heck, son? You're going to cause havoc to the city? Yeah, daddy. You're super duper mean. You made me cry. What? No, 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 son. Do not cause havoc to the city. Too bad. Dad, dad, bye. I'm going on on my own life. Wait, what the heck? No, son, get back here. What the heck just happened? Speaker man, what have you done? Oh, I guess Speaker Junior's out to cause havoc to the whole entire city and live his own life. Oh, no, this is so terrible. We have to go get him. What? I don't even know who the heck he is. He is your son, Speaker man. He is my son. Oh, my goodness. Oh, guys, this has literally been the weirdest day ever. I just woke up and apparently I have a Speaker man family. And apparently I have a son that's going to cause havoc to the whole entire city now. So, you know what? Speaker wife, I guess I'll help you. All right, good. We have to stop him. Yeah, we sure do. Well, speaker wife, let's go. No, come on. We gotta take the car. Wait, what? Take the car? Yeah, the car. Come on. Oh, uh, what the heck? I never knew that I had this car. What? What do you mean? We got it on our anniversary. What? We got it on our anniversary? Yeah, we did. Whatever. We just gotta go and find Junior. Uh, all right, yeah. Here, let's go find Junior. All right, speaker woman. Well, what do you think our son Junior would be? Well, maybe he could be at the bank. He really likes his money. What? He likes money? Are you serious? Yep, he's just like you. Uh, all right, wait a second. I could have sworn I just saw him walk upstairs. So let me just do this until we go there with all the money. Wait a second. Did you see that? I swear I just saw an explosion. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's smoke. Oh, my gosh. This is bad. Speaker one, stay right there. Oh, hello, Junior. Are you inside of the vault? Oh, look who it is. It's my daddy. Junior, what the heck? You exploded the whole entire Brookhaven vault and stole money? Yep, I sure did because you don't want to be my daddy anymore. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Son, please return the money. And I'll go back and be your daddy, okay? I do not want anything bad to happen. No, daddy. You made me cry, and I'm stealing your car now. Wait, what the heck? You're stealing my car? Hey, <laughs> hey. I'm going to be a millionaire. Junior, come back here. Oh, my gosh. Speaker one, this is so bad. Bad. He just robbed a bank and stole my car. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe that this is happening right now. Our son is causing so much havoc. Yeah, he is, but he's probably going to cause even more, so we got to stop him. Yeah, we sure do. Well, let's figure out where he is so we can stop him. Meanwhile. Ah, uh, yes, I made it to the ice cream store. And now it's time to rob it. <laughs> hello there, man. Oh, hello there. Wait a second. Are you Speaker Man's son? Ah, uh, yes, I'm Speaker Man's son. And I'm here to rob your store. Oh, my gosh, bro. You're here to rob my store? Okay, okay. Take all my money. No. I don't want your money. I want your ice cream. Now, give me ice cream right now. Oh, okay, bro. Okay. Here you go. Take all the ice cream. Take all the ice cream. Mm, yummy. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. That guy's so crazy. I need to call Speaker Man right now. Oh, TV woman. We've literally been searching around the whole entire bro cave, but we still can't even find Junior. I know. We've been searching for like an hour. Yeah, we sure have. Wait a second. I'm getting a phone call. Uh, hello? Who is this? Hey, Speaker Man. It's little Timmy. Your son literally just came into the ice cream store and robbed it. He literally took all my ice cream. Wait a second, little Timmy. My son robbed your ice cream store? Yes, he did. And I need you to get over here fast. He's about to leave. He's about to leave? No way. Oh my goodness, TV woman. Junior is at the ice cream store and he just robbed it. Oh my gosh, he's gonna be in so much trouble. Yeah, here, quick. Let's run to the ice cream store. Wait a second. Look, there's our car. <laughs> Wait a second. He's in the car. Oh my gosh, he's so tiny. I didn't even see him. Yeah, me neither. Junior, get back here. I robbed the ice cream store and I'm going to lock myself inside of the house now. Wait, what? You're gonna lock yourself inside of the house? No, wait, Junior, get back here. Ha <laughs> ha, I get to eat my 
ice cream and peas. You are being such a bad boy. Junior, come on. What is in the house? Yo, Daddy, this is my house now. Hey, <laughs> hey. And you are not allowed to come in. Bro, what the heck? Where did he even get that gun from? Oh, I just went to the gun store. And look at this. I get to eat all the ice cream I want. Sugar rush. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Speaker woman, what are we going to do now? I don't know, but we have to find a way inside the house. He has a sugar rush. Yeah, he sure does. Well, let's see. Wait a second. The garage is literally open. Oh, well, that was super easy. Yeah, it sure was. Well, let's go inside. And Junior, we're here to stop your sugar rush. Wait a second. How did you get in here, Daddy? You left the garage open, you silly goose. Oh, my gosh. You guys got me. Now, give me your ice cream. Yeah, and you're going in a timeout. Oh, uh, guys, I already finished the ice cream. And I am not going in a timeout, Daddy. I am leaving. Wait, what? Oh, my gosh. Put that gun down. Oh, my gosh, Junior. Don't shoot that gun in the house. Yeah, listen to your mom, son. Hey, hey, I'm running away again. No, get back here, son. No, you are not. Come here. And I'm going to run into the Starbucks and I'm going to destroy the car. Wait, what? No, no, no. Did I destroy that car? Oh, my goodness. This day is literally so crazy. Come on, Speaker Man. We got to stop him. Yeah, we sure do. He is so close to Starbucks. Hey, 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 hey. No, son, stop it. Oh, my goodness. I have destroyed the car. Junior, stop it right now. Yeah, Junior, honestly, I don't think you deserve a timeout. I think you deserve jail time. I don't want to hear it from you, Daddy. You literally said that you don't like me. Well, yeah, and this is why. Because you're crazy, and plus, I didn't even want a family. It was just a dream. Well, you know what, Daddy? I'm not going to jail. Oh, uh, yes, you are, son. Hey, wait a second. Put me down, Daddy. Oh, my gosh, I just pooped in my diaper. Oh, that is so gross. Okay, well, I guess the police officers are going to have to deal with that. No, Daddy, don't. Don't take me to jail. You have to learn from your consequences. No, Daddy. I don't want to go to jail. I'm sorry, son. Well, Mr. Policeman, I would like to turn in my son. He's approximately like one years old and he poops himself. And he robbed the bank and he robbed the ice cream store. All right, we'll take him in. Oh, it was that easy. Oh, okay. Here we go. Hey, put me down, old man. <laughs> I'm sorry, son, but you have to learn for your consequences. And maybe if you become a nice baby, then you can get out of jail. And here is your jail cell. You are going to be here for the rest of your life. Wait a second. The rest of my life? I'm literally one years old. Bro, police man, no. We can just keep in here until he learns his consequences. Well, he robbed the bank and he robbed the ice cream store, so that means he has to be in here for life. Sorry. Bro, what? Are you serious? You should have never turned him in. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I probably shouldn't. Well, son, honestly, I'm sorry, but it seems like you're going to have to stay in here for the rest of your life. No, daddy. I don't want to. Well, guys, I guess that's the last time I'm ever going to see my son ever again. Well, now I can just go back to my house and chill. Uh, Dad, I literally just escaped. Wait, what the heck? You escaped? Yes, now don't tell the police officer. But there was a vent inside of the jail cell and I jumped through. Oh, my goodness. Why would they put a vent inside of a baby jail cell? I cannot believe it. Well, Daddy, to get revenge on the police station, I am going to run them over with a tank. Huh, a tank? Where are you even going to get a tank from? Oh, I'm going to go get it from Skibbity Toilet. What? Skibbity Toilet? No way. Oh, my gosh. Son, get back here. I'm not going to allow you to buy a tank from Skibbity Toilet. I'm going to follow you. No, you're not, Daddy. You can't find me. Oh, uh, son, I literally see you right there. You're hiding behind that thing holding up the sign. Oh, man, whatever, Daddy. Well, I guess you can follow me. Come on. No, son, I do not want you buying that tank from Skibbity Toilet. Well, too bad, Daddy. You can follow me and watch me buy it. No, son, do not buy it. Nope, I'm going to. Bro, are you serious? Oh, my goodness. Hello there, Skibbity Toilet. Hello there. Do you have the money? Yes, I have the money, Skibbity Toilet. Here you go. All right, this is your tank. All right, thank you so much, Skibbity Toilet. And, Dad, get away. Not of my watch, Junior. Hey, get back here. I am going to run over the police station. No, Junior, come on. Stop the tank. Oh, no, this is so bad. I gotta get to the police station fast so I can stop Junior. Hey, Mr. Policeman, quick. Watch out, a tank's gonna ram into this place at any moment. Oh, no, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, quick, run. And now it's time to destroy the police station. Oh, my goodness. Who the heck is driving that thing? My son is driving that thing. You should have never arrested me, policeman. Now take this. What the heck is that? He just shot at the building. What? What the heck? Hey, son, stop it. No, Daddy, I will never stop. And you know what? You have been so mean to me. So now it's time to get revenge. Wait, what? Oh, no, no. Put that gun down, son. Any last words, Daddy? Yeah, police, man, arrest him. All right, hey, get over here. No, you're not gonna arrest me. Take this. Oh, my gosh, what? You just shot the police officer. Yep, I sure did, Daddy. And all today, you're being super mean to me. You literally made me cry. And you made me so sad, Daddy. So now it's time for my revenge. Wait, what? Uh, what? 
What is your revenge on? Hey, put down the gun. I saw the vista, baby. Ah! Oh, where am I? Oh, my gosh, guys. I just had the weirdest dream of my life. And the dream was that I woke up from my dream and that I had a family. And I had a super crazy baby. And me and my wife tried to stop him and then I got shot. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that that just happened. Well, I'm going to go downstairs and get some breakfast. What? Oh, speaker man, this date is going so good. Honestly, I'm really starting to like you. What? You're starting to like me? Oh, honestly? You're pretty funny, so I'm starting to like you, too. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe this right now. It's like we're a match from heaven. Uh, okay, whatever you say, speaker woman. Well, speaker man, I have a question for you. Uh, okay, what is it? Will you will you date me? Oh, my gosh, speaker man. Wait a second, what the heck? TV woman, what are you doing and, here? Uh, why are your eyes full of hearts? I am your biggest fan, speaker man. What, you're my fan? Hey, you aren't his biggest fan. I'm his biggest fan. No, I am, speaker woman. Oh, uh, no, I am. No, I am, and I'm going to kiss him. Mwah. Whoa, what the heck? Why did you just kiss me? Oh, my goodness, speaker man. Are you cheating on me with her? No, I don't even know why she kissed me. Yeah, right. I was a little bit asking if you wanted to date me. You know what? I'm out of here. See ya. Wait, no, speaker woman. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. Uh, TV woman, what is wrong with you? Why would you kiss me directly in front of her? And we aren't even dating her or anything. Well, because I'm your biggest fan. And I will do anything for your love, speaker man. I'll even shoot someone. Bro, what the heck? You shoot someone? Oh, my goodness. You're literally my crazy fan, girl. Yeah, I know I am, speaker man. Well, come here and give me another kiss. No, no, no. I'm not going to give you another kiss. I gotta get rid of you. What? You gotta get rid of me? You can never get rid of me, Speaker Man. Oh, uh, really? I can't. Well, uh, here, trust me. I will by the end of the day. No, Speaker Man. There is no way that you can get rid of me. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Put down the gun. No, I won't. Now go on a date with me. Go on a date with you? Oh, my goodness. I really want to get rid of you, though. Oh, man. I guess I'll go on a date with you, but after the date, you have to promise that you'll leave me because you literally ruined my relationship with Speaker Woman. Well, Speaker Man, after our date, I'm not going to leave you. Instead, I want to go back to your house. Bro, what? You're going back to my house? What the heck? Now, come on, Speaker Man. Follow me to the date or I'm gonna shoot you. What? You're gonna shoot me? Oh, my goodness. Well, guys, I guess I have to go on this date with her. Well, trust me. By the end of the day, I'll literally get rid of her. Hey, what are you saying back there, Speaker Man? Uh, nothing. Let's go on the date. And welcome to our date. I can't wait for you to be my boyfriend. What? Be your boyfriend? What the heck? Yes. Now, go ahead and sit down right now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll sit down. Yeah, that's what I thought, Speaker Man. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that this is happening. Baby woman, why are you my crazy fangirl? Because, Speaker Man, I'm just crazy in love with you. And I am your biggest fan. I want to marry you so badly. And trust me, Speaker Man, I will do anything for your love. Bro, what? You want to marry me now? You are so crazy. Hello there, guys. Welcome to Brooks Diner. What would you like to eat? Oh, hello there, mister. I would like a cheeseburger, and I want you to get him a love potion. Wait, what? You want him to give me a love potion? All right, a love potion? Oh, uh, yeah, that is on the special today, so I guess I'll get you that. Bro, what? No, no, no. Take that off the list. Are you sure you don't want a love potion? It seems like your girlfriend wants you to drink it. Bro, this isn't even my girlfriend. This is TV Woman. She is my crazy fangirl. Well, okay, I'm sorry, miss, but no love potion today. No love potion today? What did you just say to me? Oh, put down the gun, TV woman. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I will get him a love potion. Don't worry. Your cheeseburger is coming right off. Yeah, that's what I thought. And Speaker Man, when you drink this love potion, you are going to be so in love with me. And I am not going to be your crazy fangirl anymore. I am going to be your girlfriend. Bro, I'll be my girlfriend. Oh, man. What have I gotten myself into? Okay, guys, here is your cheeseburger, and here's the love potion. All right, Pookie Bear, drink up. Uh, honestly, I do not want to drink this. Speaker man, I said drink it. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Put down the gun. Hey lady, put down the gun or I'm calling the cops. No, I'm not gonna put it down until Speaker Man drinks the love potion. Well, I'm not gonna drink the love potion, so, uh, hey mister, please call the cops on her. Alright, I'm calling the cops right now. What did you just say? Did you say you're calling the cops? Yup, and you're gonna get arrested. No, I'm not gonna get arrested, and I'm getting out of here. Speaker Man, come with me right now. Wait, what the heck? Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, mister, tell the police man to chase us, please. Alright, I will. And, uh, TV woman, where are we gonna go? Now we're gonna go to your house so I can give you so many kisses, Speaker Man. What? Give me kisses? Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. But wait a second. Did you even drink that love potion? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I think I did. <sighs> okay, you better have. And if you didn't, then I'm gonna have to use this gun. Uh, okay, well, good thing I drank the love potion. Alright, Speaker Man, well, let's just go back to your house. Come on. Alright, uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> TV woman, we're at my house. Yes, finally. Now we can have some alone time, Speaker Man. Uh, okay, well, I'll meet you upstairs. Hey guys, this is so bad. Hopefully that guy actually called the police on her, and hopefully the police men are gonna be here soon. Oh, Speaker Man, where are you? I'm ready to watch some TV. What? Watch some TV? Oh, uh, okay, yeah. And I'm gonna give you so many kisses. Kisses? Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll just sit right over here. What, Speaker Man? Sit right next to me. Come on. No, TV woman, I'm not gonna sit next to you. I'm sorry. I said sit next to me. Oh my gosh, 
okay, okay. I will sit next to you. I'm sorry. And now it's time for me to kiss you. Hello, police. Open up. Oh, my gosh. The police got here just in time. Um, wait a second. Where are you going? I didn't kiss you yet. Please help me. Please. Give me a moment. It's a crazy fan girl. I need you to get rid of her. Man, put the gun down. Uh, uh, okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Policeman. It's not what it seems. I was just about to kiss Speaker Man. Nothing else was gonna happen. Yeah, that's a lie. Because I heard from someone that you're making Speaker Man do stuff by threatening him with a gun. What? No, that's not true. Oh, uh, Mr. Policeman, it is true. And right before he got here, you literally put the gun on me again. All right, yeah, that's what I thought. You're getting arrested. What? I'm getting arrested? No, hey, let go of me. Yep, this is what you get. Now you're going to jail and you're going to be locked there forever. Wait a second. No. Speaker man, let me get a kiss before I get arrested. Please. No, TV woman. You're a crazy fan girl. And you're going to stay in jail for the rest of your life. Oh my gosh, Speaker man. I will be back. Don't you worry. Wait, what? You'll be back? Yes, I will, Speaker man. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. That did not sound good at all. I think she's literally going to break out of jail. But honestly, I don't know what to do anymore. I have to get rid of her once and for all, but how? Huh? Let me think. Wait a second. What if I went to the tank store and I bought a tank and if she came back to me, I could literally run her over. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. Maybe after I run her over, then she'll stop being my crazy fan girl. So you know what? I'm going to head to the tank store right now and I'm going to purchase a tank. <laughs> Perfect. I made it to the tank shop. So uh, hey there, mister. I would really like to purchase a tank. All right. What tank would you like to buy? The green one or the green one? Uh, well, let me think. Well, I think I only see the green one, so how about the green one? All right. Perfect. Well, that will be about $10,000. Wait, what? $10,000? Oh my goodness. Yes, $10,000. What do you expect? I'm giving you a discount. Oh, man. All right. Well, I really need the tank, so I guess I'll buy it. Here you go, mister. All righty. Thanks a lot. The tank is yours. All right. Perfect. Thanks a lot, mister. And guys, now that I have this tank, I can drive it back to my house. And I'm just going to set it up right outside so I can protect myself. So let's go. Wait a second. What the heck? Yes, I finally found a way to escape my jail cell. Now it's time to go back to Speaker Man's house. Wait a second. Uh, hello? TV woman? It is literally me and this tank right behind you. Wait a second, Speaker Man. You have a tank? Yeah, I have a tank. I literally just bought this so I can run you over. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man. You bought this tank so we could destroy the city together? No, I bought this tank so I can run you over and hopefully make you stop being my crazy fangirl. Why do you want to run me over? Yeah, I sure do. And you know what? I'm going to do it right now. Wait a second, Speaker Man. No. <laughs> this is what you get. Oh my gosh. What happened to me? Oh my goodness. I think it actually worked. Oh, hey there, TV woman. Are you still my crazy fangirl? Oh my gosh. What happened? happened to me? Well, TV woman, you were my crazy fan girl, and you were super in love with me. Oh my goodness, I should have never drank that love potion. That's probably why I was so in love with you. I'm so sorry, speaker man. And wait a second, why do I have these orange clothes on? Uh, because you literally got sent to the prison because you kept pulling guns on me. Oh my gosh, speaker man, I am so sorry. I feel so embarrassed. Well, uh, I'm just gonna go home now. Bye. Well, Pomni, what flavor of ice cream is that? I got bubble gum. Bubble gum? Oh my goodness. I have the best joke for this. Really? Uh, all right, what is it? Oh, Pomni, why can't agents risk eating bubblegum ice cream? Uh, why? Because they can't risk blowing their cover. <laughs> oh my gosh, Speaker Man, that's so hilarious. Yeah, I know, I'm so funny. Wow, Speaker Man, that was so hilarious. Jax, are you being sarcastic? Yes, I'm being sarcastic. That was the worst joke I've ever heard in my life. Well, I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, at least someone likes my joke. All right, well, I'm just gonna go get my ice cream then. All right, Jax. Uh, Jax is so boring. I don't really like him anymore. Wait, what, you don't like Jax? Isn't he literally your boy? Friend. Yeah, but he doesn't know how to have any fun. Oh, huh, what? Are you serious? Yeah, and you can make me laugh, Speaker Man. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm super duper funny. Well, I was thinking and wondering, do you want to be my new boyfriend? Wait, what the heck? You want me to be your new boyfriend? You're literally cheating on Jax? Yeah, but don't tell him. What, are you serious right now? Um, I cannot believe that this is happening. You're literally cheating on Jax right behind his back. Shush, Speaker Man, be quiet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Guys, I got my ice cream. What are you guys talking about? Oh, uh, nothing, Jax. Actually, we were talking about something, and it's very important. It's very important. Uh, okay, what is it? Uh, well, Jax, I like Speaker Man a lot more than you, so he's gonna be my new boyfriend. Wait a second, what did you just say, Pomni? Uh-oh. So you're cheating on me? Uh, kinda, I guess. Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. I'm sorry, Jax, but I just don't like you anymore. You're not funny like Speaker Man is. Oh my gosh, Pomni! You really made me mad. Wait a second, Jax, where are you going? I don't know. I'm going somewhere. Oh my goodness, okay. Pomni, this is kinda bad. Yeah, it's sure is. I didn't expect for him to react like that. Well, how did he really expect him to react? You literally just told him that you're cheating on him. Well, I thought he was gonna be like, okay, bye, but he seems super duper upset. Yeah, he sure does. Well, hopefully he doesn't take revenge on us for you cheating. Yeah, I hope he doesn't. Well, Speaker Man, what do you want to do now? Well, Pomni, honestly, I was thinking about going to the pool. Ooh, that sounds like so 
much fun. Yeah, I know. Well, here. The pool is right over there, so let's go. And we're going to have such a blast. Okay, I'll be right there. I just got to change into my bathing suit. Uh, okay, Pomni. And honestly, guys, I cannot believe that that just happened. Pomni literally just shit on Jack's right by his back. And I really hope nothing bad happens. Well, I'm just going to hop in the pool right now. It's Geronimo. Oh, uh, the water feels so nice today. Oh, uh, speaker man, I'm here. Geronimo! Wait, Pomni, what the heck? Oh, my goodness. Wow, that was so much fun. This water is so refreshing. Yeah, it sure is. Well, Pomni, do you want to play a game in here? Yeah, let's play Marco Polo. All right, I'll go first. Okay, my eyes are closed. All right, Pomni, well, I'm going to go right over here. She won't even be able to get me. Okay, Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. Uh, speaker man, why do you sound like that? Uh, Pomni, that's not me. Wait a second. Oh, my gosh, Jax, what are you doing with the sword? Wait, Jax is here? Hey there, Pomni. I can't believe you cheated on me. Oh, uh, hey. There, Jack. I just wanted to let you know that because you cheated on me, you better watch your back. Because I'm getting revenge on you, Pomni, and you are not ready for it. Uh, Jax, put down the sword, please. That's scaring me a bit. No, I'm not gonna put down the sword, and you guys better be prepared. <laughs> oh, wait a second. What the heck just happened? Pomni, that is super duper creepy. Yeah, sure. It's Jax is gonna take revenge on us now. Yeah, he sure is. Oh, no. Pomni, this is so bad. I honestly think that we should get out of the pool, and maybe we should go hide in my house. Yeah, that's a good idea, and hopefully he doesn't come there. Uh, yeah, hopefully he doesn't. Well, here, let's go back to the house. Uh, and quick, get inside my house. But wait a second. What in the heck? It seems like I have a new neighbor. And that neighbor has a castle? That's kind of strange. Yeah, it sure is. Oh, man. Okay. Well, Pomni, mean, let's just go inside my house so we can hide. Yeah, all right. Let's go. Oh, hey there, Pomni. I've been expecting you. What the heck? That's Jax's castle. Yep, and I'm coming in. Wait, wait. No, 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 Jax. You cannot come inside. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing? Ah, uh, get this bag off my head. Hey, Jax, where are you taking her? I'm taking her to my castle for revenge. Wait, what? In your castle for revenge? Oh, my goodness. Because this is so bad. Jax literally just kidnapped Pomni. And I have to save her. Oh, man. We're out to somehow get inside of this castle. Oh, wait a second. The front door is literally locked. Are you serious? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe this right now. Well, here. I'm going to have to check all around the house. And hopefully, there's a way for me to get in. Oh, speaker man, where are you? You're next. Wait a second. You just tell him next. Oh, no. This is not good at all. Okay, okay. Well, let me see. Is there any way for me to get in? Oh, my goodness. The front door is literally the only way. Oh, speaker man, where are you? Oh, my goodness. And Jax literally just walked out the front door. Okay, okay. Now it's my time to run in. And he's going to stop my house. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Well, let's see. Where is Pomni? Huh? Well, she's not in this room. And she's not in the living room. Oh, my goodness. I really have to fight her quick because if I don't, Jax is literally going to come back and he's going to spot me. Maybe she's upstairs. Oh, uh, no. She's not even upstairs. Are you serious? Oh, man. Well, I think I saw a basement. So I was gonna go downstairs. And maybe she's inside of there. Well, here, let me go down real quick and look. The entrance for the basement is literally right here. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go down real quick and oh my goodness, this is so scary. Hey, Pomni, are you here? Yes, I'm down here, Speaker Man. He trapped me in a room. Wait, what? Pomni, quiet down, okay? What room are you even trapped in? I'm trapped in this cell right here. Wait, what? You're literally inside of the cell. Oh my goodness. Are you all right, Pomni? Yeah, I'm all right. It's just kind of cold in here. Well, here, let me try to get her out real quick. And, oh my goodness, the door's literally locked. I can't get you out, Pomni. Pomni. Oh, no, this is so bad. Hey, what is all that ruckus coming from downstairs? Pomni, I think that was just Shaxx. Okay, okay, I gotta hide real quick. Well, let's see, is this a good hiding spot? And no, I don't think it is. Well, let me check over here. And oh, my goodness, okay, okay. This is the best hiding spot ever. Hey, Pomni, who are you talking to? Oh, I'm just going a little crazy in here, Jack, so I'm talking to myself. All right, Pomni, yeah, that's what I thought. Well, you better not get any ideas of escaping here. Because this is what you get for cheating on me. Oh, don't worry, I love my cell. And Jax, quick question, how did you get a castle this fast? Oh, Kane just teleported this castle. Here. What? King did this? Oh my gosh! Yep, he sure did, and you're gonna be trapped out here forever, Pomni. But I need to go find your friend Speaker Man because I don't know where he really went. Well, good luck inside your cell. Oh, Jax, you're so mean! Pomni, I'm literally right here, okay? Well, I'm gonna have to try to get you out of here because you're literally stuck in a way a second. There's literally a humongous axe on the table, so maybe I can use this to open your cell. Wow, well, Speaker Man, you're so smart! Yeah, I know. Well, here, let me grab her real quick, and now I can try to open the door. Alright, Pomni, stand back. Alright, Speaker Man, get me out of here! Alright, Pomni, I'll try well, here, let me try real quick, and oh my goodness. I think it's working. Let me see. Ready, set, open, door, and oh my goodness. The door literally opened. You can escape now, Pomni. Yeah, you saved me, Speaker Man. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Mwah. Wait a second, Pomni. What in the heck? Why did he just kiss me? Because, Speaker Man, you're my new boyfriend. Wait a second. What did I just hear? Uh, 
Uh-oh. There you are, Speaker Man. Get over here. Oh, no, Jax. I'm sorry. Run! You guys are both going to pay for cheating on me, and you know what? I'm locking the door. Oh, no. This is Pat Pomney. We got to find a way out of here. There's no way out of here. You guys are trapped here forever. Ha, 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 ha. Jax, you literally went insane. I know I went insane. You should have never cheated on me, Pomney. But wait a second. Uh, where are you guys going? Pomney, quick, run up these stairs. We got to escape from the room. Well, it seems like that room is locked also. No, what? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna go back to a dungeon and be a good girl and boy? Or are you gonna meet my sword? Okay, Jax, calm down. I think what we're gonna do is run even more. Yeah, get out of here, Jax. Hey, I can't believe you cheated on me. Oh my gosh, get over here. Bobby, come on. Wait a second. This door is locked too. Why are there so many dead ends in your castle, Jax? You're meeting my sword now. Oh my gosh, run. Oh my gosh, he's literally crazy. Yeah, he sure is. Oh no. Let me use my axe and let me try to chop down the front door. I'm perfect! The door can open now! Oh my gosh, run out quick! Wait a second, where are they going? Hey! How did you open the door? Get over here! Oh no, he's coming inside of the house! Quick, lock the door! Hey, wait a second, let me in! No way, Pomni! He literally just escaped out of his castle, that was crazy! Jax, I'm so sorry for cheating on you, but I think that was the best option after seeing what you did! Oh, Pomni, I'm sorry! I'm just really jealous that you cheated on me because you were my one true love! So you know what, Pomni, here, I got you these! Will you please be my girlfriend again? Please. No, Jax. You literally trapped me inside of a castle. I didn't even know you had a castle. Wait a second. So you're not going to come back to me? No way. Not even a million years. You know what? I'm done, Pomni. I'm going back to the Amazing Digital Circus, and you're not allowed there anymore. And you can just stay here with your boyfriend, Speaker Man. And, and me and Kane will be the only ones at the Amazing Digital Circus. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Bye, Jax. And Pomni, now Jax is gone. And I can't believe that you cheated on him.